PKA 594 with our guest Finster. Taylor? This episode of PKA brought to you by Blue Chew, Lucy, and Lock and Load, the finest cum pills in existence. Finn, you're looking smashing today. Mm. I appreciate all the effort. Thank you. I like yeah, I, the, the last time I was on, I was like writing notes down to talk about, but you just wanted to look at my tits. So like I it made them better. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I worked on this time. Hey, you look great. Thank Very you. high effort. I saw Hi. I was just scrolling through your, your Twitter, seeing what you were up to. And you're very jokey. Did someone actually buy a body pillow of you for thirty four hundred dollars? I'm so glad you saw that. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> that's those... quite a haul, dude. I, I, oh my That'll god! That'll buy a lot of the... fake titty cutlets and shit. You yeah. said you wouldn't tell. Did you, know, you, you, know, you know, body pillows can come with those like like the same things I'm wearing. You can buy a body pillow that has these, and okay. I didn't know that until after it sold. But now, dude, it's a creepy little industry, but. Certainly is. This this but I, I auctioned this body pillow. I thought it was good. It, like one of one. I took this photo in like a latex dress with it and everything. And it was up on like an auction on live stream and someone bid three and a half grand for it. A body pillow of me. That's insane. Did you in, in, did, did you have industry. any any conversation with that undoubtedly gentleman? No, I still haven't <laughs> talked to him. The, uh, it, the We were like checking to make sure it's real and then I'm going to have a talk to him. But apparently he's like a regular <laughs> normal dude. Like no, he's, he's he's, <laughs> yeah, no one buys $3,500 pillows who's normal. Yeah. Well. That JPEG over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, now that you know, you can put like fake titties on them. 3500 is pretty low. Like uh, next right? one's going to be a five grand pillow for sure. Oh, yeah. I got it should come with like you could, I don't know, spit on it or something. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. The conversation we had a conversation about trying to make it stainless. For, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Dude, was, I don't it get it. It right off. <laughs> <laughs> Hydrophobic. Yeah. Well, that's a great little little career move. Now you're yeah. in the I don't again know a completely be. untapped market. Look, we're in the jizz we biz here. We we will cast no aspersions about mm. your, your your kink pillows. Oh no, <laughs> we're living in a glass house. <laughs> <laughs> We have made the silliest product on earth. So mm. <laughs> anyway, anytime someone makes like before we made this product, we could be like, oh, look at that person selling gamer P. Now we're like, you know, you gotta you gotta grind. <laughs> <laughs> person that, that lady drinks a gallon of water a day, guaranteed. It's part of her income or <laughs> whatever her name uh, is. Uh, you know, uh, there's a big streamer called Amaranth who started selling her farts in like a jar. Really, that really works. I, yeah. right? that, that seems like it'd be easy to cheat, unless there's like awful. a verification video with like a QR code that shows her farting into a numbered canister. I wouldn't trust it. I'm just yeah, an informed how, consumer, though. How I, funny I would she, it be if yeah. it came out that it was just a guy that she hired? Yes, yeah. <laughs> farting into jobs. Why she would just she, hire she just drives to Home Depot every morning and is like, "Yeah, I got a job for all of you guys." <laughs> <laughs> just sell everyone like lavender or something like that. Yeah, that's what they smell like. Yeah, yeah. Just there's no way there's there's anyone farting in those. I will say this about Amaranth. I, I, every time I go on to uh, what is it called, um, uh, influencers gone wild, um, or, or whatever it is, where like you know everybody's OnlyFans content is there for free. Um, she is right at the front page of that thing with like multiple fake dicks and like a real high end setup that she's got there for for her like fantasy uh, league that she that she runs. I'm sure. I've never heard of an Amaranth, but I did a Google image search on her. Not she, bad. She, she's oh, yeah. together, huh? She she is huge on on Twitch. I think, like millions of followers. I think you really want to look over it on on, on OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, I don't know. What, Does that show what, how many followers you have? Is that public? It depends. Uh, she she's tweeted how much she makes though. I don't know how many followers are on it, but she makes one point four million. I'm sure you could divide or something by the price of it. She makes a 1.4 million a month. Yeah. A month. A it's month. Bananas. Do you have an OnlyFans? Oh, it's my exit strategy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't blow your wad. <laughs> well, tell me. And, and how, do you sell underwear? Just just asking for a friend. Mm. I got. There's a no, not yet. <laughs> mm. But you know, I'm sure someone would want that. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's got to be the least attractive version of it. There's yeah. been balls in yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, there have to be some of our viewers who don't know you already. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I give my backstory. I, mean, I think they so, figured it out. Look at this. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, three years. You know like how you play those games where you're like, oh, for a million dollars, would you suck a dick? 
Or yes. someone three yeah. years ago offered me ten grand a month if I dressed up as a girl for the for for the next few years, and then I just took it. That's how I started. Wow. Ten That's grand me. a month every month. Are you? Do you not get that? That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was I was picturing some Saudi prince who got you started in this like and then you were like oh man it's not just the Saudi prince who's interested it's, it's Taylor the whole world. you're not alone on this island I bought every word of oh, it. You, oh 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 okay <laughs> well shit sorry just, the only I'm one who saw yeah, through the, it immediately re the retard mystical. mode tonight sorry yes <laughs> I mean <laughs> my transmission has one speed Taylor just because there's one guy. <laughs> Just because there's the one guy who will buy the $3,500 body pillow. I'm not sure there's Saudi princes that are no. looking to sissify Birmingham boys out there for 10 k a month. I, I think they could do it way cheaper, frankly. You think so? Okay, you're right. Yeah, that would have been a high bid. Because he would, because that guy would undoubtedly want a harem of, of like attractive young lads dressing yeah. up. Not just one. That, that one guy paying everyone to do all these crazy acts for millions of dollars, you know? What a, what a hilarious guy to be like be a billionaire and just see that like titty streamers are upsetting people and so you single-handedly fund it as a movement like just there's gotta overtly. be an investment to be made there just like it's like, like look how like, bad, mad these incels are the 10 grand yeah. to these titty girls i feel like <laughs> i just bought 10 percent of twitch and put them on the home page a funny backstory would be like you know i was kind of a men's rights advocate and I was convinced that men could do everything better than women, <laughs> including this, including being a titty streamer. Oh, I mean, so far, so good. Right. right? Yeah. Like, 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 like Finn crushes a lot of the titty streamers. Uh, like, 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 I always say, if you want to like feel like happy about if you had a bad day, maybe, you know, things didn't go my way today. Hop on over to the ASMR section of Twitch. Find that girl who has three viewers and you'll feel so much better because she's licking ears in front of three people. And two of mm -hmm. them are her family. Yeah, and the it's like one you. other person. The father. other one's you. <laughs> the other one's you. <laughs> this is easy math. So I barely have any competition unless she's from Alabama. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is depressing. I've never gone to the ASMR section of Twitch, but I imagine seeing someone lick ears for two people, like oh. probably getting bullied. What a sad that, thing to do. Yeah, kind of everyone would take Amaranth's job. A million a month, you look a few ears on camera, but the, oh, yeah. the, the process to getting there, whole oh, She's good at it, too. Yeah. She can lick the fuck out of an ear. Every, she can't we'll, stick around. They'll play so. her, like, replays. Like, she won't even be live, and, sh and she'll be, like, the most viewed ASMR girl. She's just playing a recording of her licking some ears yesterday. People rewatch like, yeah, ear licking? Yeah. yeah it's for, wild. For some, some people. <laughs> she, she, um, every time I see her, she's dressed up as Black Widow from um, uh, Avengers, and... Uh, she pulls that look off pretty well, pretty convincingly. My favorite clip of her, though, is um, she was like live streaming from like maybe VidCon or some kind of a some kind of a thing and dressed as, again, Black Widow. And like a fan tried to high five her and she was just not. Having it. <laughs> it was it was a really nice cringe moment. It was great. Well, I mean, yeah. imagine some of the creeps who have gone in for a high five with her. Oh, I wouldn't want to. Yeah, if. if if I'm her, I don't want to touch fans. Have you ever seen this? This is like an old meme from like probably 15 years ago. But that like Hardee's Lakers competition where like if you bought a right burger from Hardee's, you could win a chance to like see the Lakers girls. Oh. And every single winner is exactly what you think they would look like. Mm. Like morbidly obese, didn't change T-shirts since they went to Hardee's three weeks ago and won the competition. And now they're there. And like you could, there's like an old meme of it had it like a descending order where the first one, you're like, that's a normal looking guy. Like the girls are on either side standing there. The next one, like, Oh, whew, bit of a ghoul. Oh, that guy's, <laughs> that guy's four foot eight and bald. Uh, and then by the end, you get to it, and the women are visibly grimacing, like doing hover hands over a man who like is actively trying to grope them. Like, awesome. like <laughs> it is it is a funny, funny thing. We, but there were also a couple sad ones in there, as it goes. Dude, she's a, that, that Amaranth, she's a cosplay. You know, you were talking about the cringe moments. She's in a bunch of those like famous Twitch cringe moments that you wouldn't even expect it's her because she looks so different. Like, she, do you remember that one girl? The way, oh, God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Dude, I like exactly his style. The photo, one of the photos I was thinking of. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Dude, quick on the draw, Zach. Thank you. The Lakers <laughs> girls lunch date. <laughs> those pain smiles. <laughs> yeah, they, they you, can get into smell, you can smell that room. 
I like this guy. That's I, the I, biggest short sleeve shirt I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Oh my biggest gosh, you're right. Short sleeve shirt in existence. <laughs> this was made oh. to fit an ogre. <laughs> yeah, he pulled that off his neighbor's Camaro on the way here. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. yeah there's, there's, it, do you remember that? Do you remember, do you remember from a while ago? There was that one. Uh, there was that girl who went to a gym. And she got kicked out, and she immediately complained that uh, it was because she was white. No, you ever that's seen pretty that? funny, though. That's Amaranth. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> she's done so much shit that I keep... Oh, God, every time I see a clip of it. Oh, is are it you, not a joke? Are you friends with her? Do you know her? She follows me on Twitter, but it, uh, we're not, you know, Twitter. You're not tight or anything. Friends. I feel like you're in yeah. the community of, like, hot chicks I'm, on Twitch and OnlyFans and stuff. I'm trying to weasel my way in there, yeah. It's a big okay. industry. <laughs> what, what if that was what? What if that was Finn's goal the whole time? Just like weasel his way in there and fuck all the cam girls. That's the goal. Oh my god, he's I, halfway I, I, finished. <laughs> <laughs> we have to remove this bit from the show. You're blowing the the whole scene here. <laughs> no, it's gonna have to be edited out. You're like no, that. I, one, you're like the one guy who like snuck into the sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> I no. got on my like my no, video I'm notes. <laughs> My video notes for so long have been like, do one of those like sneak into girls like like you've you've ever seen those dudes that go to like college parties or something? Oh, that shit's so funny. It's just no, it's just uh, <laughs> my as soon as my opportunity presents itself, I'll I'll take it. But oh my god, the um oh god, what were we talking about before? I would pay the yeah. amaranth. Here's what I would donate a lot of money for you to do. Mm. Um, nothing creepy. What I would want you to mm. do is go get your driver's license renewed. In girl, and mode. then come to my house, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then just head right on over. Yeah. Oh, Here's what I would do get your passport updated. <laughs> <laughs> they last for 10 years, man. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. tell a joke. Yeah, it's a commitment. You've given them ideas, my terrible chat. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like on uh, Impractical Jokers, they did that to they do that sometimes. They'll like shave every hair on their head, and then all right, now go get your passport done. Oh my god. I had the opposite of that. I went through because these these eyelashes are like um like they're on. If I take all the makeup off, these stay on for like three weeks. Like they're, they're eyelash extensions. And then uh I've had to do a bit of traveling before. So I keep going to like the borders and showing my passport where I just like with short hair, like I'm just standing like trying to look as tough as I can. Yeah. And then I come up with like long hair, the eyelashes and everything, and the uh, it takes me a while to get through passport control usually. Yeah. What a pain <laughs> yeah. in the ass. Yeah, I keep forgetting that's your that's your hair. <laughs> it's yeah. so easy to forget. That's the that's the biggest commitment. You just made. man bun it, right? Like throw it yeah, in a man bun, like, tra- a, a, a fake mustache. Goes, so many of these. The uh, <laughs> I get a good stuff going everywhere in a fake mustache. You go there with like a fake man voice. Hello, like, <laughs> like you just, just make it harder on yourself. Inexplicably, <laughs> this like, is I'm, an outrage. Or a, ter- a terrible French accent. You're clearly faking. <laughs> Still standing on someone's shoulders in a trench coat. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. People, are close. they're probably looking for some like European spies trying to slip through the the the, the interways these days. Not Russian, in the UK. Russian agents abound. Yeah, in the UK. Sure, why not? We're kind of safe, I think. Here, yeah. no, not, not in any conflicts yet. Yeah, all right. They're they're on their own island. They're chilling, doing their own thing. Mm. We're, mm. we're a peaceful lot, besides the rest, you know, history. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm glad For the we, past hundred years pretty <laughs> peaceful. Well, we wanted to have you on um because you know it's a big it's a big day in the news with women's issues and, and we thought we shouldn't be three guys sitting here talking about mm-hmm. uh, Roe, Roe v. Wade um without a without uh, a lady present. Mm, so the closest you can get is this is the closest we could get. Yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> want an actual lady. That would suck. <laughs> we don't yeah. have a very deep bench. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're putting on a fucking show here. We couldn't just like, well, you know, you know yeah. what I mean. Um, and we're obviously the three of us fundamentalist Christians, so you know where we come down on this. That's yeah. right. Woody got that from his parents. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, I got. I just pretend to take choice from women. Taylor, you may be the most the the most read as as it uh as it as it pertains to the bible and maybe in general uh, of us all here um i i heard a little little thing yesterday on the on the internet on the internet uh they said that the only mention of abortion in the bible was like essentially an extract an instruction manual on how to perform one do you think is that accurate i've, how did I've the- never heard of that before i mean the one of the there's there's multiple verses about it but most of them like abortion wasn't a thing 
then. Like it mm. wasn't an understood thing. And so it's like, I mean, there were ways that you could, I'm sure, like stick a stick up there or something horrific. I think they would drink like uh, stuff as well. Or poison, things. something like that. Push but like the, 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 the verses they lean on heavily, the, the biggest one I remember from growing up in religious school and church was like the before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. That's mm. a verse talking about where Christians will say their argument is like, well, you are a fully formed soul. The Lord knows who you are from the moment of conception. And so you are a human. You're a unique human. And I knew you in the womb. And so like that's that's what I always heard growing up. Probably a what couple is, other ones. What's mm. a Bible era abortion look like? What the fuck the, do they do? Gruesome. <laughs> no, I, I think you're probably drinking some some herbs and uh, bark that's been you know mixed together by some shaman lady or something, and it's triggering uh, you know. Uh, I mean, that's how so I many more something happened. like that. I, yeah. I just uh, really, you think they invented the Plan B pill back then? I, I think they, was, yeah, food, but I bet absolutely. they had something. Yeah. I'll bet. I'll bet so much money. <laughs> I mean, because I mean, like all most of pharmacy, it, which is five dollars. I, I, I like, feel like most of five. It is all right. Um, see, see, I just guarantee that, like, thr- I mean, aspirin comes from the bark of a tree, and they had that shit in the Middle Ages. So, like, I'm sure that like half the population had this issue occasionally where they're going to have a baby and maybe they don't want to. I'm sure they figured out what to do about that, and it was probably some sort of concoction they mix some roots and flowers or something like like some sort of yeah. natural cocktail they they mixed up and drank. Well, it's like how they figured out a lot of prescription and like pharmacological drugs now is back in the day. They're like, oh, they take this leaf. They pound it into a mortar and pestle and then they eat the dust and it makes their nausea go away. So they're like, oh, well, let's research. Oh, there's something in this that actually helps with that. Let's isolate that. Like that's how so many medicines came yeah. out. Yeah. They, they may not know exactly what, what's happening on a fucking biochemical level, but they know it works. Yeah. Just like they knew that like <clears throat> lead plates, pewter plates made your tomatoes taste a little better oh so much better but it was just the acidic of the Ooh. tomatoes leaching bits of lead which tastes sweet and it makes it's you retarded so over time yeah yeah but in small doses it makes for a hell of a meal in small yeah. doses it just makes you like salt you treat lead like salt <laughs> just a little <laughs> bit of lead you know, and just a bit of lead on the top you just know the guy that figured out like lead and like making pewter plates he's like i'm helping so much like I'm, I'm really helping out. This is a plentiful material. Um, plates for all. Not no longer <laughs> plates just for the rich. Now we can all go insane eating our berries <laughs> when we turn sixty-five. I, I saw some interesting stuff with the Roe v. Wade thing. I, but just to be clear, I think we're all like pro-abortion. Uh, however, you want whatever tagline you want to throw on it. I think we're yeah. for the woman's right to choose. At the very least, at some point. Like, like, mm-hmm. like, I don't know about, like, like, I think we're all probably against those, like, scary partial birth abortions that Sean Hannity tells you about. But um, I, yeah. I don't, I don't think they've done those for, for a little while, uh, regularly, at least. And, uh, and uh, this thing seems pretty scary for a lot of people. I don't, a couple things that I saw, though, were interesting. So I remember when Ivermectin uh, was this idea that, that, oh, that the, the dummies on the right think Ivermectin will cure their COVID, and they're taking <laughs> horse medicine. Can you believe those hicks? And then, like, big tweet came out yesterday and kept getting, like, like spread around. It's like, just so you all know, um, this horse medicine that's for ulcers seems to cause miscarriages in women. Weird. And it's so easy to get your hands on. And it was just like, you guys just you just did the same thing, except yours works. <laughs> like, 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 it's still horse <laughs> medicine. You guys are taking horse medicine now? Um, Dude, everyone's was, taking um, horse medicine now. Yeah, I, I hope nobody... <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, this, I, we just have dog medicine around the house already. They're human-sized yeah. dogs. Judge me, if you will. That's yeah. fair. No, I gave anything... my dog some ivermectin today, some heart guard. That's a Did Seinfeld really? episode. You take, yeah. the doc- a the, you take the dog to the doctor, to the vet, and tell him it has the symptoms that you have. <laughs> yeah this dog That's is, is <laughs> this dog is depressed and suicidal <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of lost his purpose in life and <laughs> he's having dark thoughts at night yeah <laughs> teddy teddy is thinking about killing himself teddy, <laughs> he he his girlfriend better. Now he's sad. i think a, a xanax <laughs> might help <laughs> drug seeking behavior at the vet <laughs> <laughs> i bet they'll hook you right up at the vet like maybe that's that little known thing that like the vet will just hook you up like like, like he knows his he knows his business I mean, i'm sure considered that because i bet the vet can prescribe more than doctors can maybe the amounts yeah, right like, like all right so you got a thousand pound heifer that's depressed huh 
<laughs> All right, get a wheelbarrow for the biggest Wellbutrin on earth. <laughs> he hands you a pill that's like a fucking hockey puck and tells you to take a chip off every day. <laughs> I had like, and and like, I mean, there are probably tranquilizers and stuff that you don't prescribe to people. Yeah, but they I, have access to it. My only um, um, experience with that is when we needed to tranquilize like a a wild bull that had gone crazy and couldn't be dealt with. It was like a thousand pound animal. And uh, we just went in and told him what it, we thought it weighed. And he filled a syringe with stuff, put a cap on it and handed it to us. And then we went back home yeah. and you loaded into the dart gun and darted the bull. It's a bull. He's not going to go to jail. Like just kind of eyeball it. What is it made out of? Like the tranquilizer. Is it the same stuff? Like, you know, the like, uh, ketamine, what do they use? Same ketamine? stuff that we, we have Maybe. fun with, you know? I, I wouldn't be surprised. I know the the bull, like it, it's not like James Bond, right? So like he just kind of stood at first. He got shot in the ass with a dart, and he was like, what "The fuck was that? <laughs> you think that hurt me, bitch? I'm gonna fuck those other horses up." To, he'd already gored like two horses and fucked up some dogs. It's, oh. it, was a, it was a bad motherfucker. They sent we sent cowboys in after him, and it fucked up the cowboys. What? <laughs> like <laughs> real cowboys that you when you go to like the sale the sale barn where they sell cattle, there'll be like posters like "Trouble Cow, Call in the Cowboys." And like two like legit cowboys with like horses. Not and, legit and enough. Not legit <laughs> enough. They got fucked up. They got fucked up. But we darted it. And how, like, how did they ten, get fucked up? Did they like were they, they on horses? To, I'm picturing them on horses. They were on horses with dogs, and the the bull went into the uh, woods to hide. They went in and after it, and in the thicker stuff, um, the bull was able to fight. So he was able to gore the horses and get in close against them. Uh, and See, they that seems use like the, a stupid move. They shouldn't have gone in there after, yeah. but they couldn't get him out. They the dogs had been in there fighting him for like five ten minutes and he was fighting the dogs effectively like three of them his ears yeah. were like kind of torn to shreds uh, like ribbons but the dogs were not having a good time either yeah all it those was a dogs wild day probably it died right no they, i mean they ended up living it nothing died but like the horse got gored and uh and we ended up they left they were like we're done and my dad i think my dad gave him like three hundred dollars four hundred dollars or something like like what they had what for their what wounds their, they, they didn't do their job up. the horse was fucked up but uh you know he's got he got vet bills now. But anyway, we darted the thing. Dude, if one. I call an exter exterminator and he goes into my basement <laughs> and he comes out covered in bug bites and a snake <laughs> yeah. off his arm, it's I'm awful down him. there. <laughs> it's horrible time. Why didn't you warn me? <laughs> I wasn't joking about. We have a wolverine infestation. There's a bunch of them. You've, uh, didn't you say you've never seen arachnophobia? The movie? No, I've never. Yeah, seen Yeah, there's that a one. great scene in that toward the end where. Um, um so. who, who's the who's the who's the who's the big actor um dan um Act from no 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 from uh from from um roseanne who played dan um oh john goodman john goodman john goodman's this exterminator who comes in at the end to deal with the killer spiders and he like mm -hmm. sprays them with his poison and the spider acts like it just took a bath and runs away and he's like we're gonna have step things up a notch and he's got like goggles and acid and stuff by the end it's great it's a horror comedy it's good. I'll watch that. I love John Goodman. I wish he would do more stuff, but he probably can't because he's so fat. He lost all that weight. What are you talking about? Oh, that's he's wonderful a, news. He's Maybe a slender he'll man. Wait, you haven't seen John Goodman lately? <laughs> he's he. I always think of him like Jonah Hill, where like if I see him thin, I assume it was a you know flash in the pan <laughs> six weeks. instance, and then he's back to being fat for his next role. Because no, at I least for he, Jonah Hill, it seems like he's better for a lot of the roles he gets pulled into. Oh man, he's melting. Yeah. That's right. I think he had a heart issue or, or something. I heard him talk on Stern about it, like like what triggered the weight loss, and I think it was health related. But but yeah, for years now he's been trending down. I wonder if Good he had him. skin removal surgery. Then he cares. Like, yeah. hmm. Not in his neck. Certainly <laughs> not in his it neck. It doesn't look like he's had a face. That's character. Short, but I, 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 when I see heavy guys, they're like, oh man, then I need that skin removal surgery. That sounds terrible. No, bro, that's the prize. That's the prize. If you work hard, you reward yourself with that skin removal surgery. Yeah. Then you'll be tight. I'm looking at, at like reupholstering like uh, some some gym equipment, maybe putting some like cool like, <laughs> stuff on them. <laughs> and I'm thinking about using women's skin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, vinyl is fairly cheap. Leather's mm. more on the more expensive side. Nobody should do cloth. But what about human skin that's been nipped off at the fat people place? That would work. We There's like a nipple lot. on your incline bench. Oh. You should get a tattoo. I want two. A man's nipple. <laughs> oh. You need to get like a tramp stamp. Can I get like a speed bag that's, a, that's an old titty? Man, this is a 
a real like uh, Silence of the Lambsy Jim. You're gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it puts the lotion on its skin, <laughs> or it turns into a bent over row machine for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's gonna be a heavy bag. Yeah. I wonder what human skin would be like if you tanned it out. I bet it would be shitty. Like it's it doesn't seem like it'd be hardy enough. Like a cow's leather, like human leather, it probably sucks. It's a, like a jerky. I think in the yeah. tanning process, it becomes more hardy because, like, I've killed a deer with a knife, and it's like, I mean, they're really it, their skin's like ours, like it's it's nothing. It's like it's not there. Oh, that could but be. I've had deer skin gloves, and they're pretty dirt, like they're real leather. Yeah, and I've had like I've seen like deer blankets and stuff. Like it turns into that too. I think the tanning mm -hmm. process makes it hardier. Okay. If I were to have human gloves, I would want albino gloves, like Michael Jackson gloves. Ooh. No, I want him with the disease he had, so they're a little speckled. Vitiligo, I think. I mm. like that. Like a patterned glove. Okay, I didn't know he had that. I thought that he got like uh, skin bleaching. Skin bleaching. I think I, it's my impression he had vitiligo, which is why he got skin bleaching, so that he wouldn't be patterned. He'd be matching. I like that. Uh. I like that idea. It's it's one I subscribe to as well. Yes. There's a. When, so if people don't know what Zach, can you find a picture of vitiligo so people have some idea what this looks like? It's One cool thing one. that when you have vitiligo, what makes it um, sort of like rub whiter is rubbing it. So mm. a lot of people where it might naturally happen in like the oops, you can't see yeah, in the crook <laughs> of your elbow or whatever. Yeah, that's vitiligo. Yeah, your hands. And you moving. can see like maybe the back of his wrist or something, a spot that doesn't get rubbed very much is, is not impacted yeah. at all. But his palms, his grip, the things that he uses, it get, it kind of gets rubbed off. <clears throat> anyway, there was an MMA fighter that turned white. His whole body was getting rubbed from Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighting. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was almost none of his original skin coloring left. It was pretty cool. I wonder, how pe I wonder if there are varied feelings about that. Because I would love to talk to the guy who's like, um, what are you talking about? I've always been like this. <laughs> 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 I don't know, Mr. Rector. Um, you, I, I, I bet that guy's got to exist. The guy who's like just embraced it and become yeah, transracial. Wow. The, <laughs> you I, can I see it's only around the I air. Think it's this the is the guy, and I think he just became a white person. That like, used to be a black not, man. This isn't his final no, form. Looks like, like an Asian guy. I think he's Mexican or something. Oh, Asian Zach says. All right. But yeah, it's hard he, to tell. If he, he turned from an Asian man to a white man, like I, I went from the the mohawk. He looks like he knows how to like drift streetcars. Oh, okay, <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Like, have, have you seen a guy, uh, guy who could drift? Speaking of the like the the skin changing things, remember a couple of years ago the Sammy Sosa pictures? Oh yeah, what he, happened to Sammy? If you can find a good one, Zach, of Sammy Sosa, he like he's turning. Like he's getting his skin is so much lighter, but it's almost turning like pinkish purplish hue, Ooh. like over time. It's it's bizarre. Let he's me find a good species. One. Mm. Yeah, mm. It, it's like clearly he's having something done here. I'll put a link in there. There's a bunch of like progressive pictures here, but I think he's doing what? Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh wow, he looks like he's had a facelift. Like his eyes tilt up. Kind of, like I, I feel like is it just his body fat changing, or has he had plastic surgery done? His forehead with zero wrinkles while he's doing a little smile. Yeah, he's probably had some stuff done. But like, look at the skin difference. Like yeah. it's like it's it's pinkish. It's maybe that's the red hat pulling it out, making it look more pinker. It looks like makeup purplish. a little bit. You can see like it looks like makeup. You can see like a his is why you spot it. Like you know, right like right on the underneath of his eye, it gets like more red. Uh -huh. Like he just might be wearing like really weird foundation or something like for cameras. I hate it. I don't want to look at it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I want to remember him like he was on the left, losing battles to the preeminent Mark McGuire in the late yeah. 90s. Both those cheaters. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, does baseball have non-cheaters? Hank Aaron. Wasn't he? Is he Is he dead? No. Really? no he's, here, he's here in Atlanta, and he's angry. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's dead. <laughs> I didn't know he, he, he died last year, but yeah. Damn. Oh, no. <laughs> well he's an atlanta hero isn't he yeah yeah i guess so but before your time so it wouldn't really matter a little bit a little bit i would absolutely cheat if i was a professional baseball player and i could get away with it 100 percent. 
I feel like cheating is part of baseball in the same way that fighting is part of hockey. Like mm -hmm. you're almost supposed to molest the ball a little bit. If you're a pitcher, like if yeah. you like you scruff it up, you dirty a little bit, you see what you can get away with. They all do it. And the penalties are light. Mm -hmm. If you're a hitter, you know, you have pine tar or whatever, lather across your bat. It's, I don't know. It's cheating. is is a, it's a gray area in baseball. Did you, did you guys cheat in school? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Universally, yeah. yeah. Hey, with mixed results. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You Sometimes ever get caught? I cheated my way into a bad grade. Well, I have a caught story. I, I I was in college. I was going to night school, and I was studying Russian history. And I missed the test. It was like wasn't my fault. I, I had this long commute from work just to night school. And if there was any kind of weather at all, my two-hour drive would become like five. And I just couldn't make it in time. All right, so I'm taking the test the following week. He takes me and puts me in this like little supply closet with a desk. And I'm taking the test there all by myself with my backpack and everything. Like you wouldn't leave all your possessions in the classroom unattended. So I... I brought it. Of course, it has like the things I need, like a pencil or whatever. And I realized I have my book there with the answers in it. And this is not an open book test at all. So I put the book on my lap under under the desk. And I'm just straight up like taking the test. There's no one. I'm, I'm by myself in this closet. Been there. <laughs> badly. Have you? So then without knocking, the professor opens the door and walks in on me. I do this thing where like with my knees, I push the book to the bottom of the desk mm -hmm. Damn. and he knew, <laughs> I knew he knew and he knew I knew that he knew <laughs> like, all of that went down. And I think he was like, this is Russian history. A carry on. <laughs> <laughs> what a cool teacher. <laughs> <laughs> he just didn't ruin my life, which was kind of him. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Dude, in high school, I had like an arrangement with a guy in math class because I didn't want to do my math homework. I was very bored by it. It was like sophomore year. And I don't remember what the other class was, maybe like physics or something that I didn't mind. And he was in that with me. And we sat next to each other in both. And in the math class, the way the teacher would get homework every day because there was daily homework, he would start coming down the aisles, going up and down, up and down. And we were both in the back. And so when he came down, to check the the paper of my friend all he did was take a look and then like be like okay write in his book like so and so did it and then as soon as he goes to the next person his back's turned me and him switch homeworks and then he checks the same homework again i get my credit and we did the exact same thing in that science class so and it was like not hard homework we were even avoiding it was like maybe 20 minute assignments but it was just a a thing of like oh like if we could just do this for no time, absolutely. We're doing that. What? I remember I, I, in an Italian class in college, I wrote down a bunch of like all the conjugations for the first test for all the language stuff because I fucking hated it and I didn't want to learn it. And I remember like test one, I'm like the sneakiest of sneaky. Like I'm barely, I have my test down because it's like a pamphlet style test, like eight pages or whatever. And I just have my, my little card stuck under there, like every page, pull it out. Look, by the end of that class, I'm like that book on the table, like looking at the card, like trying, <laughs> trying to figure it out. But she liked me. She, she, she probably knew the the difference in scores, which were not good scores, mind you. But like the speaking tests we did, I was like flirting with F's every time because my knowledge was so low, and the the written tests which is the same fucking language. She'd be like, oh, well, you got a B minus. That's literally inexplicable. Like that, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But yeah, that, that I, class uh, sucked. I don't think I ever cheated in a class that was actually like an important one. Me I, went so far, I went so far as to go into the teacher's grade book and change the grades of previous tests that had been taken. So I, you That's don't need great. to cheat on oh the test God. if you can go straight to where the, the records are, are kept, right? It's big brain cheating. That's like war game <laughs> shit. Big you want your mission impossible? Fucking small... snuck in. <laughs> Small brain handwriting, though. Small brain handwriting. Okay. Um, she did this shit in pencil, which I thought was odd. It's like, it's like it literally allows you to change things. And the, that's what that, if it'd been pen, I'd been like, nothing to be done here, but it was pencil. So, like, but trying to carefully erase these tiny little squares and then like get the new grade in without it being like, what the fuck happened here was clearly beyond <laughs> me. 
<laughs> and uh, but I was smart. I didn't just change my grades. I, I gave myself like maybe I'd made like a 73 on a test. Let's make that an 83 on like three or four important tests. I did the same thing to like four other kids. Gave them boosts. Yeah. Yeah. So she came mm-hmm. to me and she's like, I know it was you. Everything. <laughs> she's like, it's just lies. I'm still lies <laughs> on top of lies <laughs> on top of lies. <laughs> and I just sat there and I went, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it appears that I've been the victim, as have been many others here. <laughs> I, I just wonder why the grade book wasn't secured if only (laughs) put a padlock on that thing (laughs) my my mom was like was it you and i was like of course it was me (laughs) that's cool you could level with your mom yeah (laughs) my mom would have beat you (laughs) so guess what i have a surprise for you check your grade book (laughs) (laughs) my mom's like my mom's like, she knew it was you, but she couldn't do anything. I was like, I know that was the best part. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. She hated me. She hated me after that. That was math, obviously, if it weren't um, obvious, I guess. I think it was um, that was like eighth grade math. So that was like, like algebra or something. Algebra one, maybe something like that. I hate yeah, you got away so with boring. cheating in an, an important class. I didn't really get away with it. I mean, I'm she pretty sure she managed to get all the grades. You oh, got so. off on a technicality. See, see. I don't know what she did with the grades um, because she would have had no way of maybe she could go back and find the test somewhere kept and like get the scores correct. But that seems like way too much busy work for her to actually do. So I have no idea how she graded us all. If she doesn't know what our true test scores were on like three or four tests. Yeah. Piece. Maybe I don't know what she did before. Like if you erase a five and put a seven in there, you can kind of make it out maybe. Yeah, and I don't remember exactly how I changed it, but I definitely was like boosting several of us up, like not the hundreds. I'm not insane, but but yeah. you know, like like making bad grades into good grades. Finster, did beans. you ever cheat in school? Yeah, I mean, I had the the most boring cheating story because there was again like a language class, and they just you had to. It was like a, a recognition or like a memory test, so you wrote down mm-hmm. a big thing in French, and then mm-hmm. the te- you give it to your teacher, and they and you just read it back from memory. But they, he just it's French, so it's bullshit. So he just slid the paper. I was having trouble, so he just turned it around. He was like, you know this. You know the answer to this. <laughs> they just let us cheat. So my French scores went like, in that test, I got like, you know, we did a few of those. So like three A's. And then the test where we all have to sit in a hall writing down all the notes was like D's. <laughs> so <laughs> I averaged a C. So it was solid. That guy was cool. Yeah. He yeah. hooked you up. Great. We had uh, like five different French teachers. They kept quitting in, in like dramatic ways too. We made a lot of teachers cry. Not me. I'm a very nice person, but you know, we're I was out of went to a terrible school. <laughs> what, what were uh, what were some of the crying teachers started by? Oh, we had a home. We had like a would you, you call it like home? Act, it's the cooking teacher. Mm-hmm. It's all the ways the bullshit subject. But she was this like really. I don't want to be mean, but <laughs> she was like this really old, like decrepit. She had like the if you were gonna draw a cartoony character of like hag. Like she had mm, one yeah. t- one front tooth that was really big, but in yellow opposed mm, to the other ones. She had oh, a British. mole. A, yeah, she had <laughs> <the> stereotypical <laughs> Brit. She had a mole with a hair on it and shit. And people would just bully her about it. Oh, I have to oh, pluck that. Oh, mm. you have to pluck her your hair. <laughs> yeah, let me get that for you. Yeah, Wait, are you what it, what the it, hair or the tooth in the stuff? Yeah. I'm, getting the, oh. <laughs> I'm getting the mole. I'm yeah. getting the whole mole. Oh. <laughs> Little nail clipper thing. Oh, <laughs> I, I remember a, a keyboarding teacher, like middle school. They make you do typing. It was like in middle school typing, I guess. Yeah, go to uh, class on typing. Yeah, in middle school, it was like, all right, you're gonna learn how to type and everything. And so they give you like those orange plastic pieces of rubber that you lay on top of your keyboard, and then you mm-hmm. tip tap away. And it was fucking keyboarding, so it was easy. Pretty much everyone was like knew how to type. But this teacher was morbidly obese and. I I took the class twice and because it was just a class they just put you back in sometimes and she had the same band-aid on her face <laughs> in the same area for years the same oh. band-aid on her cheek on her face and there became like rumors about what that band-aid was covering for this keyboard teacher and like you you could like you could talk to your friend in that class and be like hey what do you bet I can get her to come over to your to my desk and it was like, you think you're going to get her to stand up? I'll take, I'll take that bet for anything, dude. And then, and then he'd just be like, Miss Smith, I don't know how to type. And she's like, you'll figure it out. And then the, like, just, just sitting in her chair. She would not fucking get up. 
from her chair. I think I saw her stand one or two times ever. She was never at the assemblies where like we'd have to sing about God and shit, not standing there. Like just she lived and kind of rotted into that chair. Nice. And everyone taught themselves how to type by playing that fun game where like a word shows up on an asteroid and you have to type the word real quick before it destroys your ship, of your That's alien so ship. Fun. Yeah, it was a good game. I didn't get to play that game until high school. See, I learned in middle school too, and we had typewriters. We learned on oh. typewriters. Yeah, yeah. No. But the thing about a typewriter is you can't cheat on that bitch. You either learn to type or you yeah. don't. <laughs> like you, 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 you like, and you like pull your piece of fucking paper out of that bitch when you're done and show it to somebody. And they're like, this is pathetic. <laughs> like, yeah. like, yeah, I don't know how to type. <laughs> typewriter. You look young for an 80 year old. I know, right? <laughs> no, they were, uh, they were mechanical typewriters too. So like. When the whole catching, the, like pull it back. No, not even. They had the the rods that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like it did everything. It, it's everything's mechanical. It was fun, but uh, but no, we, we uh, that's how I learned to type. Oh, I did like the my opposite. Keyboard. Like it, and the when I was young, they didn't teach everyone how to type yet. That wasn't the common skill that like every kid had. So I would write out my papers, and my father would have his secretary just like. What was two hours of typing for me was like 60 seconds for somebody mm -hmm. qualified. And she would just light speed, like transpose it to typing. And that's what I would hand in. <laughs> I, I remember that too, like doing book reports in like grade school. It wasn't writing about Huck Finn that stressed me out. It was like, oh, this is four paragraphs. <laughs> oh, I got to type this tonight. All right, we got to buckle down. Period. <laughs> Space. Enter. And then like every once in a while you accidentally hit the insert key and you don't know what that means. Now <laughs> now, now it's eating up all you the other text easy. when you try. When I it. hit a letter, that went on the paper. There was no <laughs> room for error in this in my in my typing. I, I specifically remember a time when I was in like fifth grade that neither my mom or my dad or me knew what the insert key was on <laughs> word. And so I was just accidentally in the very beginning of my paper and I had to like look ahead and rewrite the whole thing because it was just inserting the the words. And I was like asking my dad and mom, like, please, what do I do? I'm, I'm so close. And they're like, you're gonna have to retype it. And I was I remember oh. <laughs> we <laughs> I I I knew a guy, it wasn't me or anyone in my family, but he didn't know, like, you know, that your cursor gets behind a letter. And he didn't know how to delete it. He didn't know how to move the mm. cursor forward and go, and then delete mm. it again. So he would just keep going until he ran into that letter. Then he'd go forward <laughs> <laughs> and use the letter that he had been pushing this whole time. <laughs> oh, come on. I need something with a K. Something with a K. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That was so funny. Yeah, yeah I, I can remember that now. I haven't thought about that in years, like getting really stressed out about having to type stuff on the computer in grade school because it was just in an insurmountable task, it felt like. And you're 10, and so you can see the sunlight outside and hear the other kids in the neighborhood playing <laughs> in the woods and stuff while you're in there. How were your I loved grades, it. Taylor? Did you get good grades in high school? I, I suspect you did. Yeah, yeah, I got good grades in high school. Uh, I, like I got good grades throughout pretty much all of school. Super ranked in your school? Were you like top 10% or? No, I I basically, I did like the opposite of what a bunch of kids did in that like a lot of kids tried to get as many APs they could their senior year as possible. Mm -hmm. And I got up, I pretty much had finished everything that was required by junior year. And so I made my senior year the easiest possible thing imaginable. Like multiple study halls, multiple gyms. I took the the advanced placement of like one or two. No, just one thing, I think, actually. I think I took like AP history or English. But yeah, I did not give a fuck my senior year. Once I got to there and I saw like a lot of my compatriots, it was a couple guys actually who I knew were really smart and were going to really good schools. And like I was talking to them and they were like, yeah, I really don't give a shit. I'm already into fucking Yale. Like it doesn't yeah, matter yeah, like, whatever the school was. It, I don't know if it's the same way in the UK, but in America... I feel like your junior year is kind of when they decide which college you can get into. Mm -hmm. Your senior year barely counts. Yeah. And once What's I was like, I'm going to Mizzou. Like oh, a I'm state sorry. School. The oh, yeah. 11th versus 12th grade, and we stop at 12, unless you go to college. That's quite a while for this. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Huh. And if you're not going to like a really nice school, like I went to a, like a state school in, here in Missouri, 
And so like once I realized like damn like I, there's no reason for me to like work really hard. Like it's I'm in top <laughs> public school though. Like it's, it's a the good top choice. public school here. Yeah, yeah, it's a good choice here. And like I, I really realized like it seemed foolish to me to go out of state needlessly when I. And I'm glad I was confirmed on this because I talked to friends who like regret going out of state. But I remember like junior year, people being like, yeah, I'm going to go to fucking Boston College. And it's like, why? Because hmm. I like Boston. It's like it's forty two thousand dollars a year. Like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. And Wait it's a like, couple years. That's that's all your living expenses yeah. to live in Boston. And Mine? it's like you went to Boston and got a business degree. <laughs> you could have gone to Mizzou and paid eight yeah. or paid 12 percent of that total cost and gotten the same fucking degree nobody's going like oh my god you want to work in the ma marketing division here at this solace corporation you got a business degree from boston well you have horrible uh roi sense so you're not hired mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> i with hope uh, i like the plan i did with hope and in hindsight i still like it you guys can copy it if you want I told her that i will pay unc is the the top state school in north mm -hmm. carolina University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. I was like, I will pay that much, that much for a UNC degree. You can go anywhere you want. You can go to community college for two years and bank it. Mm -hmm. You can go to whatever, like the University of Boston and take on student debt. But I will pay the equivalent of a UNC education. And she picked UNC. So it became I would really have simple. very smart from her. Taylor, Taylor, would you have been like me, like, like really leaning toward the community college thing and banking? No. No, I would have gone. No, no, no. Stick with me here. He's going to trust you, so you don't even have to go at all. <laughs> you can go get a job, and he's going to give you like $30,000 I'm a, a I'm a, just a drug dealer at the school, <laughs> making oh. huge amounts of money. No, I, 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 like, I know so many people. Like The smart move genuinely was community college for the first two years, then going to a traditional four-year university. The people I know who did that, like – they just they seem like more they got a they got a healthier relationship throughout college with like all the partying and everything than people mm -hmm. who went to the four year experience did. That's interesting. I, I'm actually really curious about that. So I will line up that the financially smart move is to do that. Nobody knows or cares where you got your first two years of college. They yeah. want to know where your degree is from. Community college transferred into your favorite school. Like all that stuff is the same. It's where your degree is from. Cool. The only question mark i have is what if you're a guy who's like influenced by your peers you know if, if you could land at whatever like mizzou or unc or a place that has quality students maybe you become a quality student whereas if you go to community college where half of those people aren't serious about school and don't even finish that mm -hmm. like young woody might have fell in with that half that, that's a good point and like it could almost be self-fulfilling because like the I, I like now that you say that, like I think about people I know who did the community college route, dropped out of community college, never got a four year degree. Not that that's the end of the world, but I like, you know, uh -huh. a couple of them are successful on their own. But the people I'm thinking of who went to community college and then did the two years of school and who are very successful now, it's like, yeah, they were going to be successful no matter what. Like it was because of their like foresight and intellect that they were like, Oh, I can bank a huge amount of money and kind of get a head start on the rest of my peers and my age group. Oh, I'll invest. Cause these are the same guys now that I'm thinking about it, who invested in homes way earlier than everything else. Like everyone else was still wanting to live in the city and party in apartments. And they're like buying reasonable homes for rental properties and in, in the suburbs. So I, I think you're probably right. If you're, if you're someone who wants to be a good student, you will be. I remember not that I was like a glowing student or whatever, but I, I have a pretty high level of just resting stress and so, like, I, I couldn't enjoy stuff if I had, like, an assignment sitting over my head. And I had a lot of friends, a couple of which got kicked out of college never to return or get a degree, who would be like, oh, I got a final tomorrow. Fuck that. And it's like, dude, you are – there's a letter of warning from the administrator of the college right now on the coffee table here. Like, like you, you're going to – I know someone who did that explicitly. They just got drunk, fucked around, and they got kicked out of school. I do, too. The yeah. best guy I knew at, like – Barry Sanders console game football <laughs> didn't go to any classes. <laughs> that guy, no one could touch him at whatever it was, Sega. But uh, but he, that's what he did instead of go to school. Did, did you guys ever have classes with the athletes at your school, like the football players? Mm -hmm. did, did was it a good experience? Did they try? We didn't have elite athletes like you did. They were regular people. 
Okay. There, there was this, I, I was in a sociology class. It was literally the last class I had to take to graduate college. And one of the guys next to me was in the same boat and he was like an O lineman from Mizzou in 2012 or whatever it was. And the, the biggest human I'd ever sat next to in person, like the most like country corn fed failure in the world. And like, it was hilarious because there was some bullshit social class that we had to take to get the credit. And it was like, what do you think about this movie about women's struggle? And I'd be like, yeah, I, I thought it was good or bad. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. And this guy would be like, like for, he would get asked a question. And first thing he would do is take out his gallon of water and drink half of it. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then he'd be like, yeah, you know, I, I could, I could not, it did not keep my attention. Like, and it's like <laughs> the, the film we watched for homework. I could not keep it. I got maybe halfway through. Wow. And it's like, <laughs> it's like, that's not the right dude, answer. At least lie about it. And the woman, you know, some, some, like a pre SJW, this was before all that, but the purple hair, the overweight. And it was like hilarious just seeing this guy not give a shit. Like, I wonder if he got I, I'm away with drafted that. by the Ravens. So I don't, really <laughs> give, I don't really give two fucks about this lame ass movie. You're trying to I, I was about to say, is he the equivalent of like a really pretty girl who like didn't have to develop those other aspects of himself because he get treated differently by society? Yeah. Based on this. Yes. He had like to see what he looked like in a chair was absurd. <laughs> <laughs> like just like you you see him sitting in a chair there's the it looks like he's levitating there's no chair there like, <laughs> it's just his big back covered the whole thing but yeah that was hilarious was he exceptional on the team was he a standout mizzou player he, apparently i didn't follow the football team that closely but he was one of the guys that like got drafted in a way that wasn't like practice squad i, I think i remember oh okay because a lot of guys get that practice squad Would, draft if you could get this is kind of a topic change but if you could sure. get like some of the um like like retired workout equipment from the Mizzou like college gym would that be like a cool thing? Oh yeah, dude, that equipment yeah. is like top tippity top of the line. It's uh, what is it? Is it? It it's starts with S. Painted sometimes too. What's yeah, the one that starts black with and S? gold? Is it Sorinx or something? Or yeah, Sorinx? I know what you're thinking. Yeah, of. Um, it's like I know they have it real nice lifetime fitnesses. Last night I found um some stuff that came out of the uh, Minnesota Vikings um locker rooms when they like Sorinx. Sorenex, yeah, it's I found a Sorenex cage from the Minnesota Vikings um, locker room last night with their like color scheme and the Viking head like That's on awesome. it and everything. Yeah, it was a little expensive, um, like like triple what I was going to pay. Um, so not, and I'm not a Minnesota Vikings fan. If it was like UGA, I could be tempted. If I could yeah. get, get the, like like that same shit, but like all UGA. But stuff it will stand it. up to your 2,500 pound squats, Kyle. Well, let's hope. <laughs> you know, you know, let's hope. Oh, uh, we don't want to hurt ourselves. Um, I saw a video just a minute ago that, that was in our uh, Discord. Hmm. Let me lay this out to you. <clears throat> there is a concealed carry class going down. Where? In your mind, God damn it! Why does it matter where? Okay. <laughs> a guy walked. <laughs> I thought that was part of the story. Okay. <laughs> All right, just establishing that. Guy walked in and tries to like starts rifling through someone's bag, their gym bag, which has their gun in it, and he's like, "Hey." That's my bag. Fuck you. And uh, so they they tell him to leave the class because he's causing a disturbance, and they call the cops. The cops show up outside, and uh, two officers try to arrest this guy. He swings at one, and that guy loses his balance, and then he clobbers the other one, knocking that one down. And then he takes about one more step, and then everyone shoots him. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> There's a scene when you go like frame by frame in the video where like four people all at the same time go, like extend their arms with hands yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got like what a the, terrible place to commit a robbery like the local like police captain or whatever it's like at this time four of the employees and officer daniels <laughs> discharged their weapons into the suspect help was rendered but he was he was an uh, uh by he, that he, point he, he had oh, become my. a fine mist <laughs> <laughs> there was probably the 67 yeah. bullet holes that did it. Yeah. Jesus in the, I've, I just, I've, I've just clicked on that uh, video. There's, a, you could probably show like a freeze frame of it, but it's nuts. <laughs> it's like, it's like six people in a circle, like a, in like a semicircle around this guy, all like that. Oh yeah, my Jesus god! Christ. Oh, I want to see this video. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You that that might be. It, but... That's one of the worst places on earth to try to, uh, to try to rob. Um, you could see when, initially when he's like kind of hassling them and maybe going through a guy's bag, 
at least one of them's hand immediately goes for his pistol. Like, are we going to have a goddamn problem in the class today? Like, he's so excited. Yeah. <laughs> they all are. <laughs> he, he, he tried to rob the guy in the Mizzou sweater. It looks like <laughs> that Mizzou or Steelers, I can't tell. But, uh, that is the worst COVID mask I've ever seen. What, what is that, a bandana that's four feet long? <laughs> it's, it's a stylistic choice <laughs> it is like people talk about the little seals breaks that happen between your nose and your cheek mm. oh oh no it's the mizzou guy who got shot yeah. oh yeah he got owned pretty good mizzou fan couldn't mm. handle himself. oh my god <laughs> the the title so good. <laughs> that is the so funny five is hilarious <laughs> You're probably wondering how I got myself into this. <laughs> <laughs> they don't well, totally show him being shot. No, no, they don't. Life leak doesn't exist probably. anymore. It depends where you're. Most of the uh, I, I use YouTube for that with that police activity channel because it shows people getting shot most of the time. It's wild. Oh, I didn't know they showed Life that. Life leak on gone for real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe well, two, maybe two three years now. I didn't know why did why did Life leak get got. <laughs> I mean, is, is there not a law around like <laughs> showing stuff like that? I don't know how it works. <laughs> now it's a uh, what was the one you just sent? Rumble? Is that where you get wild videos now? Uh, I'm th- I, that I that wasn't wild that. enough. That wasn't I'm wild enough. Disappointed, though, no. really. I was... World Star Hip Hop or World Star, I guess, is what it is now. <laughs> I, I usually find a, a subreddit Chaotic. for 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 the brand of insanity that I'm looking for. You know, you, if whether you want war stuff or street fights, I sent you guys that street fight last night where the one kid takes on five and fucking by the end of it, they're all on the ground except for one, and he's about to face off against the last one, and it cuts, and you're like, "Come on, come <laughs> <laughs> get the fucking uh, sweep." Where is that was like a clip battle. from a movie. <laughs> it was like a clip from a movie. It was it, like like only one of them was there to fight, and it was that guy. He fucked them up. <laughs> no, I love internet crazy videos. It's been, that's how I spend most of my time. Hard to find good ones. They're like a real 1% of the 1% sort of thing. It's always like some dude's got a shaky camera or they don't actually show something happening. I, yeah. I don't enjoy what I used to. I used to, like, the shock value of what could be on the internet was a big deal to me. Oh my God, this guy died. I saw a sniper shoot mm-hmm. some guy in Iraq mm-hmm. and the, the victim just fell so straight down that the, the on off switch was shocking to me now though like i've seen everything there's it, it you can i guess still shock me i'm not going to say it's inconceivable but by and large there's nothing new for me I, i've seen all the ways people can die yeah i don't i don't want to watch those videos anymore like it's upsetting yeah, it's, to see people there's get no lathe die. accident gunshot uh bludgeoning that isn't just redundant for me at this point yeah I guess you i'll tell weird. you what i like i like um <laughs> Lathe accidents. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I you do I, like lathe accidents. <laughs> I really dislike he, lathe accidents. He's a huge fan of lathe accidents. Don't let him lie to you. It is Don't be like, no, Woody, phone. those are PTO shafts. They're all spinny grabby things. No hmm. spinny grabby things for me. I like <laughs> it when when people stand in the road and then cars finally have had enough of that, and then you get to have people versus cars. And yeah, that's my favorite. Cars undefeated. Undefeated. <laughs> undefeated. I'm, I'm watching one right now get smushed. I, I want to see yeah. a car get beaten. I want to see some like retired professional bullfighter just olay it into a street light. <laughs> 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 that would be impressive. <laughs> but yeah, that, I, I know what you're talking about. Those videos and like the best ones of those videos, it's like somebody in front of a car like spitting on the car and like yeah. slapping the hood and like kicking the tires. And it's like, you realize he's in a 3000 pound machine. Like, <laughs> like you, like the amount of arrogance to think like I'm invincible. Like you don't know if the person behind the wheel is a lunatic who was like, I've been waiting for this. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm going to be a hero. And then barrels through a bunch of people. What are these like, too confident to say that I feel like I, you could outmaneuver a car. It's got too wide of like a turning rate. Like they, they're slow to start up. I don't know if I could dodge one coming real fast, but like, you know, yeah. if you were like, depends where you are. Well, I'm not sure all right. how fast is the it, problem. It feels like I could do it. It's all right. Like, I need the right environment, right? Like, let's say hypothetically, I'm, I was going to say in a parking lot where there are so many escape options. Yeah. Right? And there's some parking lot filled with cars, to be clear. Would that help? Maybe he just smushed me with the cars. What environment would I be good? Maybe a parking lot with lots of street lamps. 
right? I, I, this seems like a mistake because you're, you're going curves. to park. This is like fighting sharks in the ocean, Woody. You're going to fight a car in a parking lot? <laughs> yeah, you this fight a car fun. in your living room. <laughs> yeah. Like, like Kyle, you know the, the little the curbs, right? That, that you can't drive over them. But this is not a truck. We said car. We were very clear on the car. Okay. And then the street lamps that I can hide behind. I feel like I, I got moves. All right. It's like the YouTuber boxing match. We need to make this happen. Someone get a car. We'll put Woody in the ring. <laughs> right. I want somebody in a Miata to take on me <laughs> in the parking lot of my choosing. <laughs> well, I wouldn't I wouldn't fight a Tesla. They're, they're too fast to like immediately yeah. go. Acceleration. Acceleration. And they could yeah. sneak up on you. Right? That's yeah, the thing. They're too I, quiet. no warning. It's an outstanding yeah. drive by shooting car. A diesel car or something takes like you know a few seconds to get up to a deathly speed. Oh, yeah, an I ice cream that. truck, like something where you know where it is at all times. Well, I, I feel like, <laughs> like you'd be confused over this. I've seen a few videos where like this played out right in the streets. One person wants to damage a car, the other person's in the car, and they're like, you know what? I'm gonna run you over now, and mm -hmm. it doesn't last long. What generally mm -hmm. what happens is they back up enough that they can get a running start and then turn however they want, and they run the person over in the end. Like, I always, like those ones where they're like, like on the hood of the car and they like back yeah. up like that. Let me see that. But. Well, and sometimes they do the thing that it's they like see that, in it's movies. It's always sunny in Philly where the gun goes bang, 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 bang. The, the car does too. It's just like, <laughs> oh, he tried to go to the left. Yeah, my car does that real well. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't get tired like you do. Yeah. Like, like, you know, from the movies and Kyle, you've seen enough of these videos. Like sometimes someone will be in hot pursuit running from a car and they've seen on, you know, Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise, like, jump back into the hood. <laughs> and, like, Tom Cruise rolls off the top, doesn't break an ankle, and then he runs the other way. Like, these people, they jump on the top. They kind of slide up, but then the car accelerates and then, and then just stops, pitches them forward, like, dashed on the concrete. It's like, oh, that's, that's what reality is again. Yeah. Like... It just also, it got real too quick for that guy. You know what he I just like hit to... the pane of glass with his back real hard. <laughs> like, that's still painful. <laughs> and I'm I was talking about away. videos. I said I've seen it all. I like it when the underdog wins. I like it when the little guy beats the big one or the bully's victim finally like <laughs> had no business yeah. being a victim in the first place. Or, or like Kyle mentioned, when the, the Toyota one five and the, the one win somehow. <laughs> that, that's cool. Huh. Yeah, those no, bullies, I like, those, I like all those videos too. Um, I, I I'm not afraid of being tricked by a fake video that's set up. I can usually tell though. I think like like if I see like a lot of spinning kicks or something, I'm like, ah, I don't know about this. But I've seen so many of those great great clips of like, especially when I saw. You usually hate seeing the white knight stuff, but some guy was being an asshole to like other men, and they were all just kind of tolerating it. And then finally, he like hauled off and hit a woman in the face for seemingly no reason. You know, it was a long enough clip that like she didn't mm -hmm. seem like she was being cunty enough to hit. Could be wrong. And uh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> then he, everybody piles in. He popped her a good one. And then like every man within like, I don't know, 50 feet <laughs> just swarms him. And there's not he's he's on the ground so fast that, that there's not a lot of punching to be had. It's mostly kicking and stomping. And they're so mad at him. They're so <laughs> mad at him. <laughs> the the stomping is what I don't like about a lot of those videos. It's like mm, someone will get knocked out cold and it's like, ooh, good win. And then it's like, oh, it's not a vi <laughs> video's a third Overtime. of the way through. The video's a third of the way through. Let's watch this. And then it's just a puddle of blood and viscera on uh. like the corner of a, a shitty nightclub. Yeah, like, I oh, saw one that was too it. much for me, too much for me the other day. I saw um a trans woman get in this guy's face on a bus and man, I don't know why she thought that that thing was going to go her way, but Jesus Christ, I don't, I've never seen somebody get punched in the face that many times. Oh. There was just so much, they were like, she leaking. And <laughs> she was, she was leaking. <laughs> I, I <laughs> bet you, I can give you a good explanation for that. The, uh, it's, it's nuts. So I've met a lot of trans women now. Okay. The effect that estrogen has on your, you, it's, it, it, it's like they're not there anymore. Estrogen just tanks your shit. You need to train so much harder because my, uh, like, Marisa, right? Uh, German uh, German girl that I know is just jacked. She's she's trans as well. She's got, like, muscles mm -hmm. twice the size of mine. She just really is into that, like, hyper fitness thing. I can beat her in an arm wrestle, or I could. I, I could beat her mm -hmm. in an arm wrestle. Like, um, and I'm not a exactly super strong dude. Yeah. Big a muscle. Let's see it. Oh. Well, because you've That's got the, the test flowing through you. Give you the really? extra strength. The testosterone. Yeah. Yeah. Muscle, I've been, solid. 
Thank you. You guys are like the workout crew that I know. I, <laughs> I can't get into that shit. But I've lost weight though since the last time I was here. Yeah, keep I describing you. yourself. Yeah, I lost like 20 pounds. <laughs> what are you nice. 20 pounds? 23? I don't know what the conversion I lost uh, just over 10 kilo kilograms. Congrats. That's yeah. that's a serious amount of weight to lose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially are you doing diet? any like like post diet celebrating or are you staying good? Oh, I did. I, I did that immediate. Like, okay, now I can. Now I can start fucking up. Do you celebrate weight loss with like <laughs> gluttony? Yeah, with that's, lasagna. That's, <laughs> that's, that's why I'm in this cyclical pattern. <laughs> He's like, all right, one year sober. <laughs> oh man, I've lost five pounds. Pizza time. <laughs> time to celebrate these five pounds lost by eating four back on right now. <laughs> I think everyone has that like bounce back thing though. Well, like, you lose a bunch of weight and then you go like, okay, I'll I'll have the like not even that bad. Like I'll have a subway sandwich or something, and then it's like, ooh, it's addicting immediately. But uh, it's me as injury. I'm sorry, I'm cutting you off on your topic. But uh, that was done. <laughs> when was I it? work out, I eat well. If I can't work out, then that leads to me like, well, flipping the table. Fuck everything. <laughs> I'm not into <laughs> fitness anymore. I, I know how I, that is. I have that same thing, not with, I don't, so I, I regretfully, I didn't work out much. I started running at the start of it. Uh, and then I quickly realized that like, I was burning like a few hundred calories on that run and it was taking up a long time. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> so I just stopped doing, it. I just did like the really small calorie deficit for a while and it just worked. And I, I I'm, I actively don't want to gain muscle. <laughs> like this, yeah. it kind of upsets the, the, the illusion. The aesthetic. Yeah. 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 So eh, I didn't need to do that, but the, um, Oh my god, man! The, the it's it's rough. Whenever I need to work a lot, I yeah, that's where I fuck up. I'll I'll order I'll order food and I'll have the worst stuff because it's just like a you know mm. you have the a pizza just to get through this one task that you got to do that day. Yeah, yeah. I've done that. Like, <clears throat> like I'll be good all day, but I get hungry late at night, and then you like look at DoorDash or Postmates or whatever it is, and it's like. Choose a healthy option. And it's like, I'm not going to pay $40 for vegetables. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, thank you. I want, I want a full pizza just for me. And then like, this is probably a fat thing, but like after I order the pizza, I get excited about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I get, <laughs> I'm like, I really look forward to the pizza getting there. That's what you do for the next like half an hour. Just like, he's coming. I just, he's I on just his anticipate. Way. I just, <laughs> Dude, the, oh, I, I wrote this down because I saw I saw this movie. It's a thing in America that like every American movie, whenever they're like, "Oh, guys, let's uh, sleep over, let's go order pizza," and they order like for one person like two pizzas. How the fuck is that real? Is that a thing? It's in every fucking movie. Yeah, when you have oh, a just... real party, you're getting shit tons of pizza. Mmm. And wait, wait, he said two pizzas for one person. Did I hear yeah. it backwards? Yeah, oh, no, Taylor's no, like, no, we get a lot of pizza. How much <laughs> is two per person not enough? <laughs> I, I thought he said you're throwing a big party and there's only two pizzas, and it's like, oh no, no, no. Usually, the like uh, the American, you want one pizza per person. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> but if you did like a third of a pizza per person, that'd be about on target. It's yeah. incredible how like skewed the British. Like, the it might be every country about America. <laughs> like, yeah. Because we've just got the worst stereotypes on you. There's a, the, oh, you know, you're saying about like late at night ordering stuff. Mm -hmm. For me, where I live, it's barely anything's open late. But the one thing that is open late are like these dessert shops. They're just shops that only oh, serve yeah, like yeah. waffles, pancakes, like stuff like that, like cake. They have, there's one near me. I don't want to duck myself, but there's one near me that goes like their sizing options go, they start at medium. It goes medium, large, American style, which is <laughs> slanderous. <laughs> American style. I'm yeah. going to be a big fat fuck tonight. American like, style, please. I'm going to Google if this restaurant's like so near me that it's going to dox me. That's okay, no, it's not. They're everywhere. So there's a restaurant, there's there's a convenience store or something it's literally barn. just called Chubby's. <laughs> and it's just all american style candy there's tons of that american style candy is the best candy like i'm not super nationalistic or anything but nobody can fuck with our candy no one comes close I agree. look hold on i i so i really love uh you know the sour skittles you know those i love those and am i gonna show my ass Ooh, i don't like this <laughs> This is how we increase your watch time, by the way. <laughs> but I, I asked for them to send me a bunch because you can't get them here. Right, let me plug my headphones back in. Oh, nice. I haven't, but, I haven't had a Skittle in fucking forever. They're amazing. I love them. 
Yeah, no one can like with American M and M's more. It's not even close. I, every so often, like I had a friend who was from Yugoslavia. He's be from Serbia today, and uh, he's like, "Do you want to try like some Yugoslavian candies?" And after a while, I'm like, "Well, ah, this is what a is dead this? battery." Poor <laughs> 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 like, ingredient would be like bison or something. And I'm like, "The fuck kind of candy is?" This? <laughs> like, this... Well, it's the worst chocolate on earth, mixed with a little radiation <laughs> and that's what we get yeah no american candy number one like you think that the reese's corporation has run out of ideas don't you dare they'll find <laughs> ways to inject more palm oil, palm oil and more sugar into that just like they yeah. did with the reese's fast break and they changed the game with the fast break everyone knows this. <laughs> they changed the game <laughs> they fast change break the is game. better than the cup than the oh than yes you. So someone, if if one of Finster's viewers, if you're sending sending him candy, <laughs> some Reese's fast no, breaks. Ah, but well, that that might have to be a winter ship. It's mm. gonna, it might be too hot. It might show up all melted and shitty because it's outside as chocolate. Mm. I don't know how hot it is over there right ah, now. It's fine. No, it's always cold. It's a freezer in every in every, everywhere you it's, are. It's winter in England. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's funny thing geography. Uh, you know, it's funny to ask you like you're from England. What day is it there? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it is a different day right now. <laughs> Compared to you. It's the yes, it is a different yeah, day. Oh, oh, that's that's the, one, of the, that. <laughs> one of the one of the few times it works. <laughs> I guess for Australia it almost always works, right? It's like Seattle, but as shitty as this. No, I, I, well, we, we were talking about it before the show came on. <laughs> like Birmingham, the place where I live, I was saying how it's the Detroit of the UK. It really is. Everyone hates it. There's, really? I was looking at yeah. it. Okay, I, to give you a, some perspective on it. So my friend was like, oh, I'll come around. They're, they're American. They're like, oh, let me come around. I'll come to the UK. I'll do a UK trip. And I recommended them a place to go Brighton. It's lovely. Uh, I, just a, scream out okay <laughs> it's fucking timing the uh, <laughs> i had um so they were like oh let me come let me come and i i, I said no you can't come to me we'll go somewhere else because mm -hmm. i linked and then i linked them a study or like a, a survey that got done it's like 75 percent of birmingham residents are miserable <laughs> oh. it oh. specifically used that wording i mean i what? stay inside all day i love it what's but... so bad about birmingham birmingham like like tr crime or like what what's uh, bad? it's all it's like it's just a, a city with nothing to do in it and it's really high crime and it, everything's kind of like beaten up and shit so okay so it is kind no, of that's like not a great though. combo i, I haven't heard mm. anything good yeah that's that's oh god it's yeah that's why i recommend brighton brighton's lovely Bright, there's a fun story about brighton is that like in the war hitler didn't bomb brighton purely because he liked it so much <laughs> So it was like, so I might, good I might want, after this wraps up, I might want a vacation there. <laughs> so yeah. I want to keep it nice. What it's a great property there. It's got mm -hmm. a house in Brighton. Mm -hmm. How far away is Brighton from where you are? I guess from. I mean, I'm in England. Everything's like Birmingham. two hours away. <laughs> <laughs> that is go to the other side of the country in like three hours on a train. I've heard real estate's outrageous. It... Did you kind buy a place? You're renting a place? I bought this one. So I bought. Ooh, I, wow. I, nice. I bought. Yeah, so it, oh, oh, God, yeah, but the, um, so I Googled this, uh, you know, like there's a trend about tiny houses or there was a trend about yes, tiny homes. Yeah, sure, yeah sure. I remember that. I Googled what makes a tiny home and it's like anything under 600 square feet and I got interested in it and I, I, I looked, I did all the floor, but I've got like a 3D scan on my phone. I 3D scanned my whole house and I measured how big it is. My house is 650 square feet. My two, two story house is 650 so you, do you look down feet. on tiny house people? I am <laughs> tiny house people. That's you're, 650. you're like a nine percent, six, eight percent bigger than a tiny house. Wow, look at this yeah. guy's got oh, a pantry. Yeah. <laughs> it's important. That, that line is important. You're like that person. When when do you when do you technically become a dwarf? Right, like four four mm. ten, four nine. Yeah, there are some like yeah. five foot tall people who are like, hey, how tall are you? Like four eleven? No, 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 I'm five fucking feet tall. <laughs> Don't you dare <laughs> try to measure though. me. <laughs> Don't measure me. Get that tape measure away, asshole. How, how, how tall are you guys, by the way? Six, Six foot, foot with shoes. Whoa! <laughs> the exact Six same foot time. without shoes. Yeah, Taylor's oh, actually wow. taller than me, but I'm still six foot. <laughs> in most of the shoes that i wear unless it's uh, six foot unless i'm wearing like sandals you know the I, I i had a moment on stream where i i've 
for all my life, I've been five foot eleven. However, mm. <laughs> I never actually measured myself. I just stacked it up against other people that also said they were five foot eleven. Mm. I'm five foot nine. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, oh my goodness! What a weight was, to oh, <laughs> I I bought a laser. Or I bought my dad a laser measuring thing, which are mm. great, by the way, if you like like woodworking and shit. But mm-hmm. I was like, I'm gonna settle this shit for because uh, my stream like makes fun of me saying I'm five foot nothing. So I like, <laughs> I was like, no, I'm five foot eleven. I might even be six foot. I'll prove it to them. And I like did the little scan the way it's like a brick with a laser beam sitting out. So you just kind of like hold it, put a book on your head, put it there. Boop, five foot nine, <laughs> five foot nine and a half. I'm so- absolutely not doing that bit. It was like yeah, it was like one... five foot nine point four, and then I like straight my back up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, might be, I, I have measured six foot at the doctor's office, just not every time. I don't believe that shit. I, I do not believe that shit. <laughs> every the, time. Uh, I measured six two at the doctor's office, and I knew it was a mistake, but yeah. I went with it. Just, so, just Coke bottle glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of platform shoes I had on, but she's like, you're 6'2". Like, so I go ahead and stand there. I'm going to get your height and weight. All right, well, the nurse will be with you shortly. And just leave. Just some guy. <laughs> but, but she, maybe I was on the scale and she measured to the floor or something. Like I don't know how that fucked up. But yeah, I'll, I'll I remember I've gone to the doctor way. and like got. I've never been like worried about the height one. But the weight one, I've gotten on there before. And I remember like when I was like 21 or something at the doctor being like, I should take my shoes off, right? And they're like, no. And I'm like, I'm going to take my shoes. <laughs> like, just, you know, I don't, these, these are probably, these are huge. These are probably seven pounds each. You know, I'll leave them on. But just put that in the notes. I, I went to the <laughs> doctor and they're like, how much do you weigh? And I'm like, I don't know, like two or three, two or five. It's like 211. And I'm like, you know, I keep a flashlight, a multi-tool and a phone mm. in my pockets. That yeah. you, you should know. Shoes are also on. these these silver ingots and. Uh... <laughs> I did eat twice on the way here. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Wait, <man. laughs> yeah, oh, that would be a horrible bit where they're like, "Hey Taylor, I'm going to donate this amount. See if you can use that 32 inch belt. Show us <laughs> that 32 inch belt." And I'm like, "I can't." <laughs> now try the 34 one. No. Oh god! <laughs> just, just, just to be, no, Dude, this this whole outfit was sent to me by like a viewer. It's like a it's Ariana Grande's. She it was something she wore in a video, not actually hers, but you know, it was same sort of style thing. It was custom made for me, so I had to get all my like measurements sent to uh, to to this person that's going to order it. Oh, that's a harrowing! <laughs> I did not enjoy that process because like, uh, and then I mean, it's good for good for weight loss, but like. This actual outfit. So the last time I wore it, I wore like a corset to like, have it, but I'm not wearing one now because this is shaped like how I used to look, and I'm a square. Yeah, that. So like, I've got the whole like little. Look at that. Very nice. Neat. But you're you're wearing it better. Thank you. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it it is funny. Yes. I've, yeah. I've gone out on a walk in this, dude. I got lost <laughs> in this in Birmingham. Jesus. So God, that could have ended so poorly. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't. Um, if, no, I mean, I'm, there's so many weapons. There's <laughs> so much weapon. Yeah, but I'm you better have your knife when you go for your slut walks? Yeah. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> this is what you call women doing errands. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask, Finster. What, Traveling, really. For people who don't know, Finster is a knife guy. What is the best knife you can reach without getting out of your chair? Oh, they're all there, so I'm gonna have to. Oh, it wasn't really a tough one, huh? I mean, okay. Well, this one is a uh, this one's a art form slim for. It's like carbon fibers, quite really beautiful oh, little knife. It's like nice. a, it's hollow ground, all that. It's like, oh god, I'm a, oh, I'm spotlight. Okay, it's it's this really beautiful little thing. I know the one that you're interested in, though. Should I grab the that this one? Look. Now I'm interested. What is it here? I might have. T- oh, it's in my other fucking room. Ooh, the, uh, that- see, he's gonna roll that chair all the way to the other room. <laughs> <laughs> what do you I got? Like knives here prepared. <laughs> I do uh, this one, the Shinkansen. It's like a little front flipper thing. The oh, we again. I can take up so much space on this show. I've got to buy you a knife or something because the uh... oh, <laughs> so fucking many. <laughs> <laughs> Is this one? It's Wii knives. It's like all uh, one solid billet of titanium. It's made out of M390 cool. steel. All that. The That's cool. I, I do like my knives, man. I do like them. 
it's, I can't hang with you with, without getting out of my chair. I have a, yeah. a Leatherman P3, a P2, I think, uh, a, a multi-tool, which is kind of cool. I have this, which was actually a gift from FPS Russia. Oh, I remember that guy. <laughs> uh, this SOG knife. I think I got Ooh. it as a Christmas present once. So that's kind of cool. And uh, that's really it for knives without getting out of my chair. I also have high quality, I think, Ginger scissors. Are those like the hairdressing ones that cost a ton? They're for like uh, people who are really into quilting and stuff. But Oh, what? is it yeah. quilting that they're used for there? No, I just wanted a pair of good scissors. Th these are scissors that no one else in the family is allowed to use. <laughs> I, I just wanted to check. Okay. <laughs> no, I would, I'm not into quilting. I'm actually not into any of the sewing things. But the things I would be interested in, there's two. Subversive cross stitch. Zach, can you Google subversive cross stitch? I see this on Reddit and it cracks me up. So you're familiar with cross stitching. That's when they take the thread and they make art out of it. Mm -hmm. It's typically like houses and like beach I don't know, scenes. Or... I'm, I made my home ec teacher cry. She didn't teach us. <laughs> <laughs> but subversive cross stitch is when they do that, but they write like Cunt. dirty things and stuff <laughs> like that. Let's see what he finds. Yeah, that, oh perfect. God. Perfect. If I were into sewing stuff, there would be that or... Sometimes I see the crochet things or like the knitting, like Snufkin's working on, and I and that like I don't think I like doing it, but I really want the outcome of it. I would love to have a sweater like that. I remember I, I know someone who was working on a movie with Judy Dench, and uh, she, they saw that she was doing some needlepoint or something over there. I think it was a pillow, and uh -huh. uh, when they went over to look at, it, it was, oh, may I see what you? And she turned it over and it said "cunt" right across <laughs> the front. I mean, I just, that's all it said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. that that stuff is entertaining to me. So. Is that a point in age that you hit? <laughs> there's, 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 there's some stuff that's like uh, reserved for uh, being alive, being around too long. <laughs> what? <laughs> like getting into knitting. Which part of the knitting? It, I, no, it's those, I feel like those ones are. Oh, yeah, man. that's a great one. Good vibes only. <laughs> this shit's funny to me. It, it, like, there's something yeah. about the juxtaposition of what typically like an innocent grandmother who's somehow yeah. a virgin grandma would make, and like the subversive <sighs> aspect of it. Like, it, I don't know. That's me, funny to me. You should get yeah. me PTSD. You want to hear a grandma story? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't told this to the internet. You got a slutty granny? You, hold on, <laughs> you, dude. This one's one of those ones that I may regret telling. Okay. So basically when my grandma finally, like when, when, when she passed away, she's very nice. But the, uh, when she passed away, she was this sweet old lady and she was, she hoarded a bit. Like she just had a bunch of shit. We had to clear it like an entire garage, a garage, like worth of fully crammed, like three car garage, like just worth of stuff, like proper, like hoarder there. And she just wouldn't throw anything away. So eventually we had to come in, clean it out. It took weeks and everyone, it was sort of our all hands on thing. Everyone had to come and help. Whole families there come and help. And one day, me and my mom go over. We start clearing out sort of a bedroom, taking out all these coats. You find like little gold trinkets in her pockets and stuff. And then her like bedside drawer came up, and I opened this big bedside drawer with like what should have been filled with socks, little hand knitted stuff like that, caramels. And, yeah, the Werther's original stuff like that. It took. It took up the whole length of the drawer. Nice this thing that I found. <laughs> this, I mean, me at fifty. Oh my! What color God. was it? A weird, like it was. A, it was realistic shape. It was real, like the, oh. the like it was a, one of the hyper real ones. Which Caucasian. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh God! <laughs> I'm trying to understand. It. I, I, look, to decode this for me. This was a the length of a drawer. Are we talking about like a twenty four inch realistic dildo? Oh no! With Oh, I got so scared what he was going to show. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, <laughs> it was like, uh, I'd call it like a forearm. I don't know. Like like no. bigger than you'd... Maybe it's a memory thing. <laughs> like I was just right. so shocked by it. Grab, oh, go my grab God. It. Go grab it. Let's see. Go grab it. <laughs> yeah. You didn't keep it? No, I mean, I'd left the room. <laughs> I think my mom... My, we're, we're all in good spirits about it at the moment. I went, ah, yep. We were going to find one eventually. And then uh, apparently I only recently got told there were apparently a lot more that I oh. was saved from seeing. But mm. that was a fun juxtaposition of how I how I knew her, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, there's a, the, 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 so that whole like knitting thing, the cross-stitching thing, I just, oh, my God. The, 
there's got to be some things you're into when you're older, because that's like a strictly old person thing that new people are gonna are like taking over and doing like parodying it basically, right? I, I yeah, to me, subversive cross stitching is a young person's thing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's the parody of it all. That, what that's you, the part I like. What is uh, mm -hmm. is the Roe versus Wade thing going to go all the way through, or, or is there going to be some sort of way to stop? Because they, first of all, I think it's absolutely it's it's already essentially done. Like they've already admit, and they also came forward and said that those leaked documents are 100 percent authentic. Yes. So like what we saw is what it is. So they're they're pulling it back, right? Like 100. percent Oh, I believe that Roe versus Wade is going to be overturned. That's what I'm saying. I didn't understand pulling it back. To me, that meant it wasn't going to happen. Oh, oh you're I, pulling I, Roe I, I meant Wade overturning back. Roe versus Wade. Yeah, I follow. Yeah. I yeah, just yeah. didn't phrase it well. Um, I agree with you. I think that it, Roe versus Wade is going to be undone. It will start getting bounced to the states. Uh, I also think it's an unpopular issue for the Republicans that politically it hurts them. Mm. And this to me is a little like when they hated gay marriage. Uh, dude, this is all pain, no gain. You shouldn't take this one up. And they're going back there. It's a hurting issue for them politically, which... It's been the left making all the unforced errors lately. All like it, if you imagine someone judging you really harshly and calling you racist, that guy's a democrat, right? If you the some of the most unlikable people in our society right now are virtue signaling, left leaning, like uh judging whatever, calling the comedy you names. Gestapo. Sure. And uh, uh, now the right is finally making their version of these mistakes where they're like telling you that you you have to have that baby you don't want. They're telling you that you're not allowed. Gay people shouldn't get married anymore. They're making up nonsense like the bathroom bills. Oh, that's four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, people know that I think it was was they weren't letting cross dressers and anyone all, that had a was, penis go into the wrong bathroom. It was uh, trans people oh. it was directed at, right? Yeah, yeah. There, there was a lot of good memes that came out of it. A lot of uh, like very hype, like someone that looks like me, like pissing in a, in a urinal. And it's like this is the future conservative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, like that was a that dude. There was literally never any problem that they were trying to solve, and, and no one has ever been arrested mm -hmm. because of that law. It was just political theater, and it's a losing issue. It hurt North Carolina. Lots of businesses pulled out. We lost the All Star Game. Shit like that. Yeah. Oh my god. I didn't know that was that big of an impact on that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, banks didn't come here that were on their way. Like, Google was going to open, or maybe it was Apple was going to come here. Someone. They pulled out. Like, it had, like, billions Movies of dollars Movies and of TV impact. shows, like, con musical concerts, <laughs> like, 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 like yep. you know, it, they really can't, they can cancel your state if, if you get out of pocket. Holy uh, shit. So, uh, but but this time around, I don't know what's going to be done. I, I, I will say, I enjoy whenever stuff happens even if it's bad stuff i like the theater of it all and man uh, there are a lot of really upset people i have never seen uh, elizabeth warren so upset someone someone tweeted like i guess her tribe believes in abortion <laughs> something like that <laughs> like, like, or something like that but i saw her and she was like struggling to speak clearly she was so upset <laughs> about the it, abortion thing yeah yeah so and, what's it uh, gonna do like make it a state. It's gonna thing bounce to the states. Yeah, it's gonna bounce to the states. Mm -hmm. And so if I, if someone in Georgia, for example, wants an abortion, I believe North Carolina is the closest. Um, oh, Georgia's a no. Georgia would almost certainly be a no. Yeah, yeah. What, I, I think there are trigger laws in a number of places already that, like, like, so that like as soon as they do their thing federally, the state law is immediately uh, like like in place and ready to be enforced. Georgia uh, previously wanted it to be six weeks. Which is even shorter than it sounds because it starts like before conception. It starts at like the beginning of the period. Like, I, it's confusing to me why pregnancy begins before she even fucks anyone. But there you have it. And uh, yeah, right. Because when they say yeah. six weeks, they're talking about from, I guess, the beginning of her period, if I have this right. Which is not, they're not talking about from conception. That's not oh. six weeks pregnant. It's the beginning of her cycle. I, I thought they were all about the whole like, Life begins at conception thing. I thought they. Yeah, that's always what I've heard too. I, I not think, how long the pregnancy is it, goes. Is it possible that maybe you're you're thinking about how essentially it could be four weeks before they could even know because of a missed period, and so then like like from subtracting that from mm -hmm. you know a potential like six week thing, it's like yeah. Oh, so you got two weeks. Yeah, I have heard that. Right. 
Yeah. B- because like you had no way of knowing that you were pregnant unless you're what, what are you going to test yourself daily for babies? <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you take your baby test? Yeah, I'm clear. No, I'm right about this actually. When doctors say a woman okay. is six weeks pregnant, the embryo started developing four weeks ago. The first two weeks were just when it was released. Oh, from so the it's, ovary. So it's like the plus it, it's like the, the lining of her womb. Is that is that is that like I, I, I don't understand this. Uh, this isn't making sense. It's to me. like yeah, pregnancy. It's confusing. In, in, in their case, they consider how far along the development is from when it came out of the ovary, not from when it met sperm. It I wouldn't have guessed sense. that either. I learned that this year. But I probably learned oh. it before and forgot it. Well, that's but, wacky. But I thought it was when the egg was fertilized. But you're saying that like an egg is good enough. Like, like don't you fuck with that egg. <laughs> oh, whoa. I don't get yeah, that. They, when they no. can, when they say someone's six weeks pregnant, they don't mean they fucked six weeks ago. They fucked about four weeks ago. So the egg counts. The egg count. So does that mean sperm count? Is that how that works? Mass genocide every time you, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've killed trillions. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense because because yeah. the egg and the sperm on their own, they're not going to do Fact shit. Yeah, you no, know, I, I, yeah, I believe you. I'm just all saying right. that doesn't make any sense. All that aside, like, like I think we're all like like uh, like pro-choice here. Um, um, some of us more than others. Good lord, uh, <laughs> I, I'm uh, I, I'm I'm not I'm not too thrilled about this decision. It, it really does suck. I but but you know I, again, I always side with that thing where it's like I, I see that I saw an ally in the crowd, uh, and and he said, uh, I don't have a uterus. I, sh- I don't have anything to say about this. It's none of my business. And I want to be like, well, first of all, get the fuck out of here then. And mm. second of all, like Roe versus Wade was decided by, was it seven men? Was it seven men? <laughs> You're trying to defend the thing that seven men decided about women's uteruses. And uh, so like, stop attacking men when so many women were also the cause of what's happening right now. This yeah. is not men versus women. There are a lot of men who don't like this either. I doubt there are as many men who don't like it as much as there are women who don't like it, if that makes sense. It's a women's issue. But Never. that doesn't mean that we don't have opinions anymore. Oh, they only want your opinion if they... If and what about, a tra- what about a trans woman? They're fine woman? with my opinion. Can a trans woman <laughs> have an opinion? Uh, that's what I would want to know. Can a tra- He said something like, <laughs> I don't have a stuff. uterus. <laughs> he, this, this liberal ally said, I don't have a uterus. I don't get a say. And I wanted to be like... Then go home. What, what about trans women? Did they? Are you saying that trans women have no say in the reproductive rights of women? Um, um, um. <laughs> what, was, what would he do? Uh, I don't know what one. the right answer is. What? I mean, the left answer. The left answer. <laughs> the left answer. The one that won't get me in trouble. <laughs> yeah, like, like, like all jokes aside, though, it's it's pretty wild. Uh, I never thought this would happen. It was always that thing that's like, oh yeah, if like the whole Supreme Court got taken over, but all of these people who are on there, you know, they're playing the clips now of them being like. Roe versus Wade, settled law. And, you know, like every single one of them said it when they were brought before Congress in one way or another. And, you know, if you've seen those um, when they when they run them through the rigmarole there, mm-hmm. you know they don't get asked once, twice, or three times. They get asked 30 fucking times every angle of approach possible with this verbal jujitsu they try to throw on these guys. And they still are like, you know, I, I don't know a lot about that topic. I'm When I'm looking at law, and then they've got their – Answers pre-programmed and it's perfect, mm-hmm. but all of them essentially said, not essentially, literally said that Roe versus Wade was, you know, settled law precedent. And now I guess it's a different story. And <clears throat> I guess that worst of all yeah. opens the door to taking things away like um, gay marriage. I don't know, uh, maybe uh, gays in the military, stuff like that. Like anything that like the the hard right would like to eliminate. Mm-hmm. You think the gay marriage yeah. thing will happen? I think it. I, I'd like thirty percent chance that I yeah. Feel like I haven't heard anyone yeah. mention that in like ten uh, years. Like it they, became legal and it was like okay. What's the like uh, the approval rating on that? I feel like it's it's got to be. If I was gonna guess, well, it's got to be like eighty ninety percent. I, I, I think Zach told with. us that the majority is for um, the the sixteen week like um, like 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 uh, deadline on abortion. Like 54%. he says, fifteen weeks is what he wrote. Fifty four percent of America says fifteen weeks. Um, mm. 15 weeks doesn't bother me because so there's all these things like if the brain's on the outside, I'm okay with like fucking afterbirth for all. I'm I not. We've <laughs> talked about that. <laughs> but but um, uh, I do feel like you know, these late term things need to be rare exceptions. And I think they are. But I, I don't know how to write it in law. If you say like, for example, when the mother's health is threatened, 
then she can just be like, I don't know, I'd be pretty depressed if I had a baby. And and it's hard to write yeah. it into law in such a way that, that you get it perfect. So I, that, that's tricky. Um, but there is also a, look, you can't sit on this too long. You know, like it, it, it when we get it down to six weeks, it's like, oh, shit. It's only two weeks after she's missed her period. Sometimes that happens normally. Yeah. Like th- th- this, this is a... Uh, and, and what you're supposed to get yourself in the doctor's chair for this procedure when you're like within five days of knowing that you passed a, a, a pregnancy test. And like, that's too short, too, too, too short, but add nine more weeks to that add two months plus to that. And it's like, well, you were kind of sitting on your hands for a while. You missed mm-hmm. several periods. You, you like, you should have taken a pregnancy test and knew what was up and ha- that gives you time to deal with this. Yeah, yes. I, you could have had a real woman to talk about how this all works. On. <laughs> like, no, this is good. This is good. This is even better. Yeah. Just, we won't know anything more about this than when we started. If you could just nod <laughs> along when we say things so that if, so, oh. if someone watches the clip, yeah. then they just see a woman agreeing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing when you were talking about like a bunch of Americans, a bunch of school. Ju- I would just sit we're around and look pretty like that. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> we've got a little Japanese girl who's going to fill in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if this is the one you were looking at. What like t- people's takes on abortion haven't changed as much as I would have guessed since like the 70s. Like no, the even in 2021, it's like 48% say legal only under certain circumstances. That's the most popular view. Then 32 say legal under any circumstances, and then 19 say illegal under any circumstances. And, you know the, and I guess that last percentage, that last point, they couldn't decide. Maybe yeah. I don't know. One of the things that, that that's an issue with an, with, with um, something like this is those outliers, because like the right will bring you those pictures of babies that have had scissors inserted into their skulls and then the brain sucked out when all you had to do was pull, push one more time, or they'll show you um, uh, what's the other thing that's horrific. Oh, the the the, the, stati- the statistics where like these ladies are having four or five abortions a year, and it's like this is just your birth control, and and and, and, and of course and of course she's not paying for these abortions like the taxpayer is. So it's like, wait a minute, I'm I'm funding this prostitute's five six abortions a year. That's that that's taxpayers are funding that. How many years has this been? Three years. Okay. <laughs> that would be wild. Right to choose, I guess. I don't know that. I feel like you picked a really extreme that's, and rare corner case. That that's what I said. But mm-hmm. to begin with, is, is that, oh. that you, you end up with these like weird outlier cases. Like, and I, I like the partial birth abortions. I believe are weird outlier cases too. I think that doesn't happen unless it's like. I don't know when that happens, but but the right will throw it forward. Like this is just what they do sometimes. They're about to yeah. have a baby, and then they're like, you know what? Never mind. Kill it. Like they wanted to do it cruelly. Yeah, yeah. But like the reality is like when someone has an abortion after eight months, that couple wanted a baby. That couple probably named that baby. That is a mom and a dad in serious mental distress because their baby wasn't viable. Like that's Mm -hmm. what happened. Most of the time? Pretty much all the time. Like, like, Well, I know a lot of like. I'm I'm talking about eight months plus, right? Like it, it, it. do people foul up and deny what they're, what's happening with their body at three months? Yeah, I could guess that. At six months, eh, I'm starting not to buy it very if, much. At eight, if, dude, these are people yeah. who were excitedly looking about their baby. They gave that baby a name. They may have painted the fucking nursery. The, the, to paint them as people who were just like really into cruel abortions is a lie. Yeah, yeah. Unless yeah. it's like one of those porn stars who does like pregnant porn. So like she just goes to eight months every eight months. Right? <laughs> oh Jesus! Uh, you got to maintain. See that's her, shrewd. That's look. that's shrewd maneuvering. Yeah, mm-hmm. what a horrible about. job that would be. <laughs> You're just <laughs> pregnant your whole life, no payoff at the mm-hmm. end. Just I, I you mean, guys are way eat, less. You get to eat whatever you want. <laughs> like 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 everybody's want always want to like rub your belly. It sounds like a w- real win win situation to me. I, is there any <laughs> discomfort with pregnancy? Like like when you boil it down. No, no it's, it's everyone great. Knows this. You glow. Everyone knows it's great. You want pickles a little bit, and you're fine. Yeah, bigger boobs. Bigger a, boobs. Jar, a jar of pickles and some stretch pants, and 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 like, come on. Yeah, it's a Nothing notoriously tough. easy process. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would. Be, I, all I know is that we wouldn't complain so much if we did. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't not. complain at all. It would be like the garbage. Would it, you know when we take the garbage out, we don't even mention it. It just gets taken out. That's how childbirth would be. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> here he is. <laughs> yeah, 
You Ready for work one day, come back. You should have woken me. Nah, we can get it out of the way. Me. Here's your coffee, by the way, honey, and 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 your baby. Yeah, I, I did this uh, morning. <laughs> I did have this you, morning. Have you seen those little electrodes you can get placed on you to like uh, stimulate cr- really yeah. bad cramps? They do it to dudes mm-hmm. every now and then. They'd be like, you think you can deal with childbirth? They just fucking crank it. <laughs> What's God. true? Yeah, yeah I mean the guy like at uh, it, couldn't uh, really simulate too well. Impractical Jokers. He did it. Really? And, <laughs> yeah, and they turned it all the way up on him, and he still had the wherewithal to be making jokes. <laughs> like uh-huh. as, as it was happening, he was like, "Whoa, this is pretty crazy." I don't think that's the same though. Like, like, like I think if you had to shit like a cantaloupe, that would be uh, that would be on par, right? Mm, mm. That could be. It. Well, now, now I'm getting it. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound rough. That no, that's that's rough. gonna be a new thing. Is like I'm gonna just like subtly undercut the difficulty of being pregnant in the women <laughs> in my life, where I'm like, man, I've heard it can like. Take Take days for your body to get back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> I heard. I heard it doesn't actually hurt. But <laughs> I, on the body fat loss, how long should moms like get a pass for being heavy after pregnancy? Four months. Four months. I don't know. What is the reasonable? I've never really thought about this. No, no, no. I, I think um, you know, based on the medical opinions of our uh, our friend Mr. V. Um, uh, he, he informed us that the modern, uh, prego is way <laughs> too fat and she has gained this weight because a society says, oh yeah, eat up pregnant girl. You need to, and it's important that we do that because like back in the day it was the opposite. It was like, stay slim during your pregnancy with these pet pills. <laughs> like, like, and it's like, wait a minute. Are you feeding pregnant women fucking Tape amphetamines? <laughs> amphetamines to like keep them slim. Like they did that shit. And it's like, all right, but we've gone too far the other way now where it's like, Hog out. That baby needs five thousand calories a day, like a world champion power lifter. Yeah, that baby like, needs refined sugars. <laughs> yeah. When in reality, you should be on some like what pregnant women eat should be some sort of like healthy like micro macro nutrient based sure. thing. That's she's like growing a fucking human being's brain inside of her stomach. So like maybe Hagen Doss and McDonald's isn't the the go to. I yeah. don't know. I give um, them a pass on anything they like gain when it's happening though. The whole like weight loss after is like, eh, you, that's debatable. But while it's happening, when you when you are pregnant, fuck, I don't care, dude. If I if it takes mm-hmm. me a whole Domino's to get through a Minecraft video recording, uh, if I was pregnant, <laughs> holy shit. I'm yeah, but, but like away. not for nine months straight, right? Like we'll, we'll oh. forgive like a night of gluttony, but like don't make a whole lifestyle out of it, lady. Like, like oh, yeah, it wouldn't the be baby weighs her. seven pounds. Okay, <laughs> you're eating two pounds of food a day. This isn't adding up. <laughs> that is like that is something I like that you realize like as like friends you know significant others get pregnant is like the ones who do it like really healthy it's like oh th- that person didn't gain nearly as much weight as this other woman they're who, like, took it they're, as they're like, like doing a, cardio while they're pregnant yeah yeah there's a lot of the, and it seems at least among the people I know there's like there is a concerted effort of like oh I want to eat this and do this so my kids healthy and like give them every benefit they can not just like hugging dogs and pickles <laughs> like. Yeah, that, would, it, that wouldn't be I don't, I don't know. I, I, another reason why I don't want any children because like it's hard to find a, a woman who would gestate one properly properly. Yeah, to your standards. <laughs> to my to my high standards. <laughs> you meal prep for her. <laughs> <laughs> How would I punish her if she if she cheated on her diet? Oh uh, you're going to the cardio cave. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you have a chain to an elliptical. <laughs> Derek says you're gonna have if you're not two pounds lighter on Tuesday, honey. I'm taking away the prenatal vitamins. Multiple <laughs> <laughs> game. Your fat ass has been spoiling your pregnancy. <laughs> you clearly don't care about the baby's health, so why should I? Inside that stalk of celery is a key. <laughs> <laughs> a key to get your fat ass up those stairs. <laughs> <laughs> that, that whole like uh, chain to the elliptical thing. You know they used to do that in prisons like a while ago. That was like how they did prisons in general. It was all that you got. The, they were strapped to it. No, it was. You know how they came up with the term treadmill. Mm-hmm. No. It's because the uh, they had prisoners walk on a mill. There was a mill like with gears, sort of thing, like steps, mm-hmm. and it would just turn. And that's what they did for a while. Like use them as a power years. source, like to just no. They were, they were just assholes. They just forced them to do it. For oh, no what fucking the fuck? If, if you're not powering something, what's the point? Yeah, I thought they'd be like a rock crusher that it was getting like. That's my favorite scene from like Conan the Barbarian. 
<laughs> like, like in the very beginning of Conan the Barbarian, Arnold Schwarzenegger's a kid. He gets captured by uh, the, the, the bandits or whatever, and they lash him to this wheel where he walks in a circle forever, grinding like like, like, like a flower or whatever. And like, there's just like a quick like, <laughs> like, like, like um, thing, and now he's a grown man, and he's Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I remember <laughs> as a kid being like, I just don't know if that's an effective full body workout. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm not buying it. I'm he needs to like it. push it routine. and turn around and pull it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He needs to be doing like like leg stuff and like 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 I don't know how he's managing it, but uh, but he just came the out the strongest like, pecs and the weakest lats. I listened to his uh, to his motivational speech, and when he, he's talking about like the director of maybe it's that movie, and he, he was he was like the director said if there hadn't been an Arnold, we'd have had to build one because there was <laughs> nothing like Arnold that existed. It's like I had to lose muscle just so I could swing the sword properly, and I trained for weeks with sword masters. And it's like every time he had to do something, I, I that's what I like about that guy. It's it's like, well, I had to do it, and I only I was already only sleeping six hours a day, so I, you know I just did it. Like, like every step along the way, he just oh, kind yeah. of grinded his way. Can you imagine stuff. being his sword trainer? You're like, you're going to want to lift it up and embrace for and swing at me. He's like, <laughs> how is that one? It was, it was good. <laughs> you pass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you pass. Because he's like, you know, he does let's, uh, have you ever seen Conan the Barbarian? It's pretty boring, like no, to a I modern haven't. audience, I think. It's uh, it's the movie that my mom and dad went on their first date to, to see at the drive in movies. They went to see Conan the Barbarian. And uh, I asked my mom, I was like, how was it? She's like, I don't know. I fell asleep. <laughs> She's like, didn't even make it through like the movie. Fell asleep in the car. There. So you just bought your mom's story that they went to the drive-in movie. Yeah. And she had no recollection of the movie. And she was innocently <laughs> sleeping. Hmm. I mean, either thing could have happened, but she didn't hmm. remember the movie. It wasn't good enough to keep their That attention. I can believe, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Either of those things could have happened, I suppose. Although it was a small car, so yeah, yeah. I don't How know. How much I don't fucking know. was going on at drive-ins? A lot, it seems, I think. Seems like it would be. You think so? Yeah, yeah. I think that's like, the, or at least some necking. Oh, some necking. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if There's it's the same. Of... You got like uh, those like places they'll go and park cars, and they'll just like it's like a whole community. They'll go. You'll take a car up with your girlfriend or something, and then you just do it there. There's like an area for like it. A lovers lane. Like a tail yeah, yeah. trope. Is that a I... thing? There? It's like a movie trope, like what he said. Yeah, like, oh, you're going up to Lookout Point to yeah, fuck yeah. on prom night? Like, <laughs> would you know where Lookout Point was man. in your neighborhood? Anyone here? No. Uh, no for me. No for Kyle. No for no, Taylor. That, that Finster. What was it? Like, whatever, Lookout Point, Lover's Lane. Like, where you went to fuck. We had yeah. one of those. Yeah, that's why I brought it up. I, I, you I, one I, of I, those. Yeah, I went there with a friend. Bad, bad choice. We went we went there with a friend. Like, we, uh, we got food, and then we just went there, because it was just a good view, and then we mm -hmm. discovered... <laughs> five of the cars they're all just steamed you know so the, the, like you and your view. guy friend hanging out <laughs> yeah what a view there's like a, <laughs> fucking, there's a fucking mini cooper rocking with a guy's ass on the window <laughs> 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 can you imagine trying to do anything in those tiny little british cars you can barely oh. sit in those uh, they're, all, they're all pretty much the same besides like pickup trucks i guess You've got to really and have run. like an SUV or something with the where the seats lay down flat to, to mm -hmm. actually have any back like, seats of sex in a car. Yeah, yeah, like a big back seat in an SUV. You could like do some cowgirl big stuff, truck. but but like you, you really need like some fold down. I remember that Seinfeld episode, Hoochie Mama, <laughs> where the the, <laughs> seat, the van says if this if this van's a rocking, don't come a knocking, and uh, George's parents are in there. Uh, <laughs> Serenity now, yeah, <laughs> that was a good one. No, I think I've only like messed around in cars like a couple times when I was a teenager because I think normally there's just somewhere to go that was better than a car. Yeah, and uh, it seems like getting caught like goofing around in a car would be super like embarrassing and stuff. And and as a guy, like like after you're maybe older than seventeen, like now you're risking like some sort of sex crime, like like just <laughs> having have, if you're in your car with your dick out. Yeah, I was pissing in this bottle. Sex criminal. <laughs> and it's just like uh, <laughs> I think I'll hold it. Yeah, you're you're right. Like when you're an adult, it's like oh, let's use the car to go to a, a home. Yeah, like and, and but as an adult man though, there's like slightly different rules like like i can't talk to children like not, like, not your dick out like, like, like. <laughs> <laughs> i was wearing my bicycle shorts all right i don't, I don't see what the big deal is <laughs> you're wearing women's bicycle shorts and you're <laughs> penis no i don't out. own a bicycle but no. what's the point <laughs> what's the point i got what are you wearing a hoodie 
<laughs> There's no attempt to keep the Odie in a helmet. Yeah, that, no, I've said it before, but like when the little kids in my neighborhood are like, hey, 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 I'm just like, don't look at me. I'm not allowed to talk to you. Because <laughs> I know if an adult looks out their window and my ass is in the street, like bent down so I can look at their little faces and I'm like trying to play along and be friendly with them. It looks sketchy. It looks sketchy. <laughs> what's, what's, that, what's that man talking to those little kids for? I don't know. They probably waved to him. Nah, I don't buy it. <laughs> I don't buy it. I don't buy it. <laughs> Why is he inviting them into his garage gym? <laughs> <laughs> but what, one of them tried to push past my leg one day and come into my house, like a like a little a little boy, Whoa. a little a, a little black boy had been like you know doing the ding dong ditch thing to my mm -hmm. my doorbell, and it was wow. all in good fun. I wasn't mad at all. He was very he looked eight or something like like like, and I like got by the door and I listened so I catch him. I could hear his little feet uh mm -hmm. feet on the the asphalt outside and like right before he could even ring it i like yoinked the door open like in his face and i was like ha ha gotcha and he like jumped back and laughed and everything and, but and then he like recovered and before and i was like hey you can't be ringing my doorbell he goes what y'all doing in there and like tries to push <laughs> past me into my home <laughs> like and i literally have to and like hit you know he's like his head is like Dick crotch height. level and he's yeah. bumping into me and i'm just like you gotta back up <laughs> i'm like you, you call the go. police <laughs> on a five-year-old black kid and the news gets all i'm not afraid of him i'm afraid of how it looks for this like little child to yeah. be like pushing into this felon's home in the middle of the day <laughs> <laughs> like i don't want any part of this dude that is scary i would i would i don't know what i would do just close the door and be like, "Which house is yours?" All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go have a little I, conversation I, here. I said Don't something. Me. I said something like, "You can't come in. You can't come in." And I think I said, "I'm working, so please don't ring the doorbell." I know it's funny, but go get them over there. They'll like it. I did something like that, you know, and like like they didn't bother me anymore. And also, <laughs> there's a house across the highway. That's <laughs> it's <laughs> full of candy. Really good. You see that hornet nest? You know what that is? Candy. Yeah. <laughs> it's candy it's candy Walking storage <laughs> yeah send them to the swimming pool tell them under that big rubber mat they've got over the pool there's gold <laughs> <laughs> your kids die every year because of those mats yeah lift them yep. up they, they fall in they can't find their way out uh-huh or they like used cling to, be... to you like a parachute oh yeah, can. yeah yeah you get sucked in there used to be those stories about people getting their assholes sucked out by the filters, like I the, think, the pool things. But I don't. I don't is that real? From Does that Final happen? Destination. That I think thing. that's just from it's. It's always sunny in Final Destination. I, I, Zach, could you do a little research for us? When's the last time somebody's <laughs> butthole got all eaten up by a pool? It has to be at least once. Oh, <laughs> at least happened. once it has to have happened. You know, but what I imagine I that more like, likely what would be the point of having a suction that powerful. It didn't happen accidentally. Mm. I bet. I bet there was someone who was like. Uh, did you did you know anyone in high school who tried like fuck a vacuum or anything like like, yes. like right like 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 maybe someone real close no, to you it's me no <laughs> it was a i, I just, thought the dude was cool like i was fine with this guy the whole school turned their back on him when he tried to fuck a vacuum and i was like i see the logic i don't know why everyone's giving him shit like i i i I'm still on team whatever his name was. <laughs> I am too. I, I I have definitely stuck my dick in the vacuum a time or two. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't get anything out of it personally. Um, I, you know, I, I really should have used that suction attachment and not the bottom with all the spinning. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you just had it. All, you have it on and leaning on the ground like yeah. it's a fucking wood chipper. <laughs> <laughs> I said it to shag, and <laughs> you said it to shag. I love it because I knew that was you know sex, and it, it didn't work out. It didn't work out at all. It, it's I, I, you should see what I'm left with now. Uh, it's, fucking, it's very clean. So. It's a fucking mess down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I never, I never gave that one a go. Um, circumcision never <laughs> caught no, your eye. Stuck it right in the end of that, like, like that, that. Uh, I don't know. They're about this big. It was a tight fit. It's the, the, <laughs> end, of the end of the shop pack or something like that. And I was like, wait a minute. Turns out getting your dick sucked is not all about suction. <laughs> and, uh, and I immediately was like, all right, well, this isn't the thing. And then I think I moved on to like fucking couches or something like that. You know, like, like. Maybe Between getting, the like, couch some, cushions. That's yeah, the you, you got the couch cushions, and then you maybe add like some saran wrap and what you know, some like lube from around the house. This is like, experienced prison Kyle talking. Yeah. Young Kyle didn't know all this, right? Oh, I bet he um, did. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I knew that. Well, what I what I don't like and didn't like then is like fucking dry couch cushions. It doesn't feel good. Of course um, not. 
not into that. Um, I like lubrication. So um, I definitely remember, I don't know if I used like a sandwich bag or something. That, there was lots of experimentation. Oh, we really wanted to fuck wow. something. I You're just jacked just off. Better than me. I didn't, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't, this was like last year though. So I, I already knew that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. You like to take a stroll down memory lane and fuck your couch every so often. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> couch looks at me with such shame in its eyes. <laughs> Clean yourself up. <laughs> oh, I tell you, you like Scotch guard, you bitch. <laughs> you Scotch guarded little boy. Oh, After this, I'm going to spill next Mexican food on you. <laughs> <laughs> when you're at the, like, buying a new couch, like, this the Scotch Guard protection plan. It covers cum, right? I need to be sure about <laughs> yeah. this. Just what about asking. the fabric tears <laughs> from fucking? Yeah. <laughs> but certainly, so was that, the was that the most creative? Covered, right? Was that the most creative thing you did? Do you think, Kyle? Fucking A sandwich bag cleaning? couch. Oh, huh. oh, you know those little, um, those little plasticky gel things. And I think they're meant to be like. Uh, like fidget toys, but it's like oh, inside that are hard out. To hold. Yeah, they're yeah. hard to hold. They look like they'd be great to fuck, but they're terrible. Mm. Really? Why? Yeah. I, 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 can you find the thing, Zach? I know I'm describing it terribly, but it's like I know this, exactly what it is. It's like this little plastic yeah. clear it's tube like, that's been turned inverted inside tube. Out. Yeah. Inverted tube that's like that's yeah. it. Yeah. Well done, Zach. That's exactly it. That's yeah, it. you can't fuck those. They're, you why? can't fuck it at all. It, it's it's literally the middle like, doesn't move. There's no friction oh. on the inside. It just it it it, just, it stays. It goes, oh, the middle stays. It's hard Stay to explain. If there's, no friction, there's, if there's no friction, there's no point. That's the central rule of most <laughs> sexual things. You and... understand, right? You're getting it from this. <laughs> I'm getting it. See what's funny? I know exactly what you're doing when you're doing this. I saw you trying to explain. You go, you know, when you... No. No, 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 no one's getting it. But yeah, that... No, with the... They used to give those out at like uh, Chuck E. Cheese, like a bad Everywhere. level prize. Yeah. The they invented those, those and they were like, what do you do with it? And like, and some huckster was like, what don't you do with it? And like, <clears> they just put them at, sold them to anybody and everybody would take one. Cause there's nothing to fucking do with it. Oh no. I think, well, what you do I, with it is you popped it to see what color the liquid inside was. Green. <laughs> I, I think they were good. If you put them in the fridge, like maybe like put over like a finger injury. That's the only thing I can even like make myself believe they were good for. They were terrible. Well, it was I a horrible you wanted- toy to give a bunch of children. Cause everyone popped them. I fucked mine. Yeah. Well, you tried. Tried. Yeah, that's sad. You well, you. Oh, I'm glad we're on fucking. I wanted to talk about this. I'm so glad I remember this. I yes. saw a Reddit, uh, like maybe an Ask Me Anything or something like. It wasn't Ask Me. It was a uh, one of the bigger subreddits. In any case, um, the discussion came up of like how long people were having sex, and it was like, oh, this is a perfect storm for people to tell each other what's normal about each other's bodies, and for the people who can actually fuck. To be like, actually, guys, I'm not trying to like brag here, but you guys aren't having sex right. You should know. And that's literally, and, and then the people who have three minute sex are like, that's how you're supposed to do it. There's nothing wrong with me. You, it, it hurts after four. And like, this is literally what's going on in the comments. There are people who have like, look, not the hour long sex isn't an insane thing. Like, like maybe not continuously penetrating a vagina yeah. for an hour, but like with position changes and oral and foreplay. I don't have sex that lasts less than an hour. I just don't like, like this isn't something I'm trying to get out of the way. And for a lot of people, it seems like it is. It's like, what you took more than three minutes. Like, what were you doing? Didn't it hurt? And it's like, okay, so lubricant exists. It's not a fucking joke. Yeah. Okay. That's the ice Poseidon approach. Remember when he, when he said, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He He was was like like, anti lube. He said that his girls wouldn't need it. And, and so you got like, (laughs) you had girls and guys on there on both sides of the issue. And like, one side was clearly trying to be nice to the other, and the other side was not allowing them to be. Like, like the side who had who, the minute men were like, "There's nothing wrong with us. Don't the laugh. <laughs> My wife likes two minute sex." And then the people who actually know how to have sex were just like, "No, really though. If you just lubricate the vagina, like, like maybe not even with lubrication, with some foreplay, you know, she'll get turned." They're teaching people how to have sex because these people don't know. Because some uh-huh. of them, are, I want to weigh in for people anyway. Everything Kyle's saying is right, and I'm 95% on Team Kyle here. The only thing is he makes it seem like menus shouldn't have appetizers on them, right? Mm. Sometimes when I go to a restaurant, I just get the quesadillas. 
You know, some not everything needs to be a full four course meal with the filet mignon and the desserts and everything. Sometimes I just feel like a light meal. It's a little slice of pie. Exactly. Yeah. No, I and feel that. Too. That's not what was being discussed. Though. They were talking about like, what is sex to you? What is your sex life? And it's like they were like two minutes of mediocrity. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, pretty much like, like people who didn't under, a lot of people who thought it was painful after like a couple of minutes. Uh, like on both sides again. Wait, who? Got the men and their penises men, are hurting and women. Yeah, yeah. Again, people well, don't know something's wrong stuff. with them. Of course there is. Of course there is. It it's one of those instances where like I bet a lot of them have those like awful anteater penises that don't open up enough at the end. So like just the just a little hint of their penis is poking out, like a little Oscar Meyer Wiener type type situation. Oh. You know how the end of it looks? Like it's like that, all strained trying to yeah, get out. Like a, like a diglet. Cold. Like a diglet. Yeah. Oh, there's a British mm -hmm. dude right on the call. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure he's got one. Never mind. <sighs> no, this would be fun. How many quarters can you fit in your foreskin? <laughs> <laughs> M and M's is the way to go. By the way, M and M's is the way. Oh, to go. but they, they oh, leave it all yeah. the rainbow colors. That's even better. Yeah, I don't know why I finished exciting. that as it were downside. Skittles <laughs> works too, if you don't mind the little little citric acid. I've got yeah, I was gonna say these like ones that are hyper sour with the like the white crystals <laughs> on them. <laughs> that don't do that. Quick on that. <laughs> <laughs> Skittles well might be my that least is, favorite so, candy. If there were Skittles so, here, if Skittles had no calories, I wouldn't eat them. What? Hard disagree. Yeah. Oh. What the hell? They're not that bad. They they're, they would never be my choice. If I'm going candy, I want a more chocolatey thing. I typically uh, go chocolatey. I have tried sugary recently. I know chocolate sugar, but like, you mm -hmm. know, think of like the Sour Patch Kids and it's like, you know, I yeah. forgot what I was missing over here on this side of the aisle. There's some mm -hmm. quality candy here. Yeah. Great. I, I, sour stuff. Fucking great. Hate it. By the way. I can't I can't I can't go over that. You don't like Skittles, Carl. This is where our Discord like DM flirting stops. <laughs> uh, you, know what? you know what? I hate Starburst too. Starburst too. Both of them. Yeah, no, no, no. Now you're wrong. Like, what? What colors are you talking about? The red Every, Starburst, fine. The red ones are not great. Pink and yellow. Not, are you retarded? I, I I might hate pink the most. Um, That's I absurd. Hate, I I hate that. Like, oh man, I can just feel it in my mouth right now, and I want to spit it out. Like, like they're so fucking gross. They're they're so overly sweet, and they like they give me a stomach ache. Like I'm always as a kid. If I ate like half a bag of Skittles, I had a stomach ache. If I ate like half a stick of uh, Starburst, stomach ache. It's just sugar. It's pure like sugar. Well, yeah. That's why it's good. You know what it is? I like it. Like yeah. the, the, I like, like chocolate. I like chocolate. Like like any of the candy bars with, with like peanut butter and nougat and almonds, any of that stuff. Like that's what I want. But I would rather just not even touch a Skittles or a Starburst. Or, yeah. I like Any cookies more than like candies. <laughs> oh yeah, all pink. Now I wanted good. the. Well, you I want the pink skills. <laughs> you can like slip the, some cookies the into your stuff. diet if you do it like pre-workout. You know, you get get that get that sugar rush when you go in there, and there's some carbs to burn up. You have yourself a donut or something. No, what I do is I eat slow digesting cookies and I eat them around the clock. Oatmeal raisin. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool. It's oatmeal raisin. One every hour. <laughs> it's for my health. <laughs> it keeps me regular. <laughs> no, see, it's healthy because I don't even like raisins. I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> it's not because there's raisins. I think I just don't like overly sweet things because that's like my favorite cookie too, is like oatmeal raisin. Like like I like that like sort of really? savory not overly sweet cookie. I mean, about, look, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not going to not eat a chocolate chip cookie. They're fucking delicious. But if I was that white chocolate them, macadamia nut from Subway in particular, <laughs> yeah, the white, the white chocolate them. macadamia nut. Like, like those, are, those are a, a, a man of means cookie is what I feel. They try to make you feel that way. The macadamia is the most expensive of nuts. Yeah. And it's worth mm -hmm. it because once they, you know, I don't think I've ever had them outside of just eating them in cookies, but in the Same. cookie, they have a perfect texture. They go so well with those white chocolate chips. Yeah, I think I had some ice cream once that had macadamia nuts in it. Yeah, something like that. Ooh. And I could go for a cookie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to see if there's one of those cookie delivery places around me. that <laughs> yeah. You know what you want, though? Like, like, I've never even had one. And I grew up for like people that are like roughly our age. Remember at the mall when they had those cookie stands and they had the giant plate shaped cook like a whole plate of cookie yep. and the whole place stunk of it like you couldn't walk past like lids without smelling <laughs> yeah. those gigantic 16 inch cookies 
They were so I, good. I've never had one. I never had one. Like, like it was one of those things that we'd walk past and I'd be like, can I have it? And nope. No, we're not stopping to get you a gigantic cookie. No, we're here for school clothes. Isn't isn't that the best bit of adulthood? Those those dessert places they ship those like warm cookie dough as well, Ooh. in like just a pan. Like they are like that big or so. Just oh, sounds delish. Five thousand calories a fucking order, man. They're so good. <laughs> so <Sugar>. good. <laughs> Sugar yeah. and butter. Basically. Oh, they they they. You know Skittles. I I read somewhere. I'm not sure if it's true, but like. They are apparently literally the worst food for you that's manufactured or something like the the refined like there's there's some refined sugary thing in it or whatever that makes it that pinnacle think, of worst candy. It, it's just like three different forms of refined sugar, yeah. right? Where it's like, oh, the outside that's a layer and of crispy <laughs> hard, refined sugar. On the inside, a slightly softer bit of hard, of processed sugar, and then in the center, a nice semi gooey uh, processed sugar. <laughs> like that, it's, it's the exact they hit all their marks for it. Have you seen that, uh, that Sam Hyde joke from many years ago where he's like it, disrupting people at a CVS playing with candy and he's like joking about what he's gonna get? He's like, ah, fuck all this. Sometimes I just get a big bag of sugar, and he just, <laughs> 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 just starts doing that. It's very funny. <laughs> um, oh, I like man. uh, I like chocolate chip cookies, I like uh, but 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 it's gotta be the oatmeal raisin one, I think. I think that's my favorite. And uh, now that you mention it, like like now that I am adult, maybe I should get myself one of those giant cookies. I never got one as a child. Yeah, mm -hmm. fulfill that. Like, yeah, that's the whole new. You grew up with the. Whole I'm also gonna go back. I'm also gonna go back to the fucking arcade. You know that machine where that that like the little shelf goes closer yeah. and closer with that big wall of quarters. I'm gonna shake the piss out of that bitch. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting all that money. I can tip it now. <laughs> I can tip it. You know, if you try to tip it, an alarm, the goes, alarm off. goes off. I, yeah. I, learned, I learned that at Chuck E. Cheese at like 11. Thought I was the <laughs> first kid to body check that thing. No. And those 16 year old employees, they come running like yeah. you broke into a bank vault. I mean, there's a lot of money in those things. Mm, like, and it's is. always just right too. on the edge of falling. Like, like, there's a couple hundred dollars worth of quarters in there. And, Oops. uh, yeah, but Taylor just do. made out with fucking thirteen dollars twenty five cents worth of stuff. That's That'd be a, a big deal as a kid. Like like yeah. a roll of quarters was all I needed to like run the arcade for hours. And at <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese, like you still needed tokens. You still needed quarters. Like you, you didn't have your little mm -hmm. fucking Demon Buster's pass. And so you basically had to wait in line and be like, I'm not going to be like all the other retards at this birthday party. I'm saving up for the Jurassic Park game where you sit in the van and it, it gyrates and it moves and you have the guns and you shoot the pterodactyls and everything. And then you just play that pretty much the whole time. Everybody else the, wasting time on I think it was ball. a Terminator 2 game where you had like sort of an Uzi yeah. type thing and the Uzi would like vibrate and stuff while you were you were killing. It was really fun. Have you, have you been, have you been to a crisis? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's everywhere. Have you been to like an arcade bar? Like they're, they're those for like adults? You I haven't? Have been to a couple of those. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're great. They're so great. You you do need to get re you can't just casually drink there though. You gotta get in like <laughs> drunk to the childlike <laughs> state that you used to be, you know, <laughs> to go and fuck around there. Oh, it's so they, great though. I, I have been to a couple of those. The, I've been to one where it was like an arcade and I didn't like it as much. And there was another one where like they had a whole level. It was in like the city of St. Louis. I don't know if, you know if it's still there. But like you could go there and like take these like little culverts, these cutouts, and each one had like a GameCube, an N sixty four, like all the old systems, yeah. like the Sega Genesis, and you could play those with your friends, which was fun. Except, you know how like Sega controllers and N sixty four controllers got ruined when you used them carefully within your own home, hmm. like that imagine like drunk people doing it like there was no in wherever you move that middle part it's your character's not going there that's a joke it's not gonna happen and i'm not gonna bring my own fucking satchel of of controllers like a lunatic there not that i have a satchel of controllers to bring but it's a different kind of game uh but but uh you ever have any uh bad experiences with those uh punch strength measuring things you know you go up and punch the thing and it's like ah you're hercules or whatever yeah i don't think i've ever done one of those Wow. I did one. I got very embarrassed very quickly. <laughs> oh, you quickly realize that like hitting something like that, if you if you don't punch things on a regular basis, that punching things is hard, mm -hmm. and uh, and also that like you can really injure yourself. I saw a, a gif a while back of some guy like breaking his hand, like he like missed, like missed. and like and hit hit the fucking wall or the the machine, <laughs> and just, like, just crushed his fucking because he gave he everything he had into like a concrete wall, and uh, oh. but. But the last one I hit, I hurt myself. Like I was in Austin, Texas at a bar and I tried to hit one and like it hurt. 
Like, <laughs> like, 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 I don't mean like my hand hitting it hurt. I just meant like the weird like resistance that it provides is not like, like I didn't know what it was going to do. I hurt myself hitting it. That's been like, did you get a good score? Oh, I was so drunk. I barely remember the night. I, I have no <laughs> idea. Um, it, I, I vomited that whole night, like, like for hours and hours. I spent the night in the bathroom that night. That sucks. Mm. That's a horrible situation to be in when you're like too drunk, sick drunk, and you're like, ah, this is all my fault. And that this hotel is room all was all self induced. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> yeah. I, and yeah. like, like it was the nicest bathroom I may have ever been in. Um, I, in that, in that fucking suite that I had paid for and, and, and spent the, spent all night in there vomiting. It was a good time. <laughs> so before Woody returns, we're going to hear from a couple of wonderful companies. Uh, Blue Chew. Spring has finally come, so let's help you do the same. That's right. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, confidence can take you far in life. It can also help in the bedroom, especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. <laughs> Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Days, very quickly. The best part, it's all done online. So no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversation, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. we got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free. That's free when you use our promo code PKA at checkout. Just pay the five bucks in shipping. That's bluechew.com promo code PKA to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew so, so, so much for sponsoring the podcast. Thank you, Blue Chew, for sponsoring the podcast with your dick bills. So uh, code PKA, get a hard dick. Uh, just pay the five bucks in shipping. Um, and thank you so much again, Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast putting their own thank you in at the end can't get over that <laughs> and tell 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 them the people that can work at blue chew have big dicks like <laughs> so check out blue chew uh this episode is also brought to you by lucy lucy nicotine is a company founded by caltech scientists and former smokers looking for a better and cleaner nicotine alternative finally tobacco alternatives that don't suck Researched and developed for three years to be made for people, not patients. Lucy has created a nicotine gum with four milligrams of nicotine that comes in three flavors. Wintergreen, cinnamon, and pomegranate. Cinnamon's the way to go. I've said that many times. Lucy also has a lozenge with four milligrams of nicotine and cherry ice flavor. Each and every flavor actually tastes great. And it's convenient and discreet. Their products can be enjoyed anywhere, on flights at work, on the go, even in the gym. It's 2021, so get rid of your cigarettes, unplug your vape, throw out your dip, and get some nicotine, some Lucy nicotine gum or lozenges. This is the real deal. A subscription to Lucy comes direct to your door each month. It's so simple, and you don't have to leave your house because Lucy has delivery down. Painkiller already, listeners. Go to lucy.co and use promo code PKA to get 20% off all products in your first order, including the gum or lozenges. That's lucy.co co, and use promo code PKA at checkout. Also, we have to give this disclaimer. Warning, this product contains nicotine derived from tobacco. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. So head over to lucy.co and be sure to use promo code PKA for 20% off all products on your first order. And, of course, this and every other episode of PKA is brought to you principally by Lock and Load, the finest jizz pills this side or any side of the Mississippi. They they work tremendously. You're going to love them. You're going to you, you might even feel more confident. You might be like hooking up with a lady and, and, and then you blow a wad she's never seen before. And, and now she thinks she does, does the just does it for you and now you got a nice reciprocal thing and she doesn't even know that you're taking peds you know so check it out be sure to take it uh as directed 10 percent off code pka you can also get anything else you want at gorilla mode uh derek's wonderful website so check out his pre-workouts his protein powders anything else you want code pka 10 percent off all of those as well so start coming like a man and buy some lock and load shockingly effective it's it's bafflingly effective. You're gonna love it. You're gonna like the way you come. I guarantee it. I uh, I don't think we've talked publicly about my idea for the um, the lock and load mascot. Now I just want to say that I've ran the idea for the mascot past both these guys, and they both they didn't even chuckle. 
They didn't think it was funny. <laughs> and 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 I, it wasn't I, on theme. It, Frank, I know it's not on theme, but I still think it's funny. So so basically, <laughs> it's a it's a sperm. Okay, mm-hmm, and he's mm-hmm. wearing he's he's got some big buck teeth, and he's got some 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 round glasses, and uh, he's flying a Japanese Zero, and he's the Kamikaze. Okay, he's the Kamikaze mm-hmm. because you know Kamikaze and come, and we spell it like come, and and, and I just see, like I, I, you didn't mention the buck teeth before. I did. <laughs> so I'm, I, so I'm I leave <laughs> every time. They are so important to me. <laughs> so important to me. Okay, well then I, I missed that earlier. <laughs> the buck teeth are going to carry it. Or those like uh, you no, remember those those glasses no. that Jackie Gleason wore? It, that's exactly what I'm. You know, I remember, is it Breakfast at Tiffany's? Where, where, where think, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where Ro- so. um, uh, Rooney or whatever? Mickey is, Rooney? Like, yeah, Mickey, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. doing that character. That's what I'm looking for as our mascot, but. A sperm cell. What are sperm individual sperm cells called? Spermazoids? Spermatozoa. No. A sperms. A sperm is, I'm gonna use spermazoid because it sounds kind of like uh, Zoidberg from, uh, and and I like that. Oh. Yeah. Like that that's, that's how the and that's kind of how the Kamikaze oh, sounds. Oh, sound. <laughs> sound. Whatever the fucking Zoidberg. Yeah. Sounds. Are you planning on doing ads? Why do you need a mascot? Yeah, well, yeah, I just like, yeah. like TV on the something? bottle. Like, 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 look, I was just having some cereal the other day, and there's, there's <laughs> that fucking tiger, <laughs> that 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 tiger on the side of the box. It's the great, and I was just thinking, like, you you could have the kamikaze on the side of the bottle. That's all I'm saying, or maybe some shirts with the kamikaze on them. You know, and you know, an even <laughs> an even easier one is Jesus we Christ. just. I actually just... don't mind that. The longer, <laughs> the longer you stare at it, the the better it gets. <laughs> I mean, we do have a tank on the container, but I, I liked, you know, your Tony the Tiger example. How litigious do, have do a we tank think on that General Mills would be How if we just it is. It? Zach, can you zoom in on well, that? No, no. What, but, but instead of General Mills, we'd be General Mills. Like, oh, why yes. is there a tank under, under there? Because, it's because we support Ukraine. Because it's locked and loaded. Yes. Right. It's locked and loaded. It, tank. Honestly, the reason there's a tank on there is because the bombs and guns don't go over too well unfortunately in products anymore so yeah, initially but, but, it was but supposed nobody, to be nukes but nobody <laughs> we were going to have a holocaust happening in the background uh, <laughs> uh, 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 you know. i didn't even know there was a tank on there it's so subtle i if you had told me honestly the reason there's a tank on there is we got a deal on labels and they already had tanks <laughs> no, that's totally, no we wanted something that was like locked and loaded and it was like guns it's like yeah let's put an ar-15 on the bottle that'll go over well right it's right like, bombs and it's like well didn't somebody just blow something up it's like like tanks uh-huh. like nobody's yeah, worried about no tanks. one is worried about tanks they're fine and then a war came out tanks are cool everybody likes tanks. Well, Maybe we could fly, and then it's not a Russian tank or anything. I, that's clearly an American tank. God, you I picked mean, a good fucking time to dip out of the FPS Russia persona. Oh, <laughs> we're not flown up to him. <laughs> oh, I see. I, I I talked about this the other day. I I think that like Dmitry would be uh, pro Ukrainian. I think now if if I had my way, that's how I would like do it. But if I had my druthers, he would be a hundred percent pro Russian because like that was one Obviously. of the ways. Yeah. Like early on, that was one of the ways that I trolled people to try to get like more viewership. I was like, it's great to like make the best content you have and have people enjoy that content. But if you can have like some people who just despise you for a silly reason, that's great too. Like you don't want them to like, actually hate you for you, but if you but yeah. but like if you do something silly that they hate, that's perfect. So like my mm. my whole YouTube background was like Stalin and the Soviet flag, <laughs> and so the comments would be like, he killed twenty million of my countrymen. He's worse than Hitler. You know the whole thing. Yeah, it's great. It's perfect. <laughs> Yeah, just Soviet Union shirt. Uh-huh. It's great. I liked yeah. it when you um, trolled the guns. Like he started as a Call of Duty player, FPS Russia, and you would only use Russian guns. You would make fun of these like American plastic toys. Yeah. That, that worked for me. I remember that. Yeah, the dual com with you guys, where you're like, I noticed you're using the AK. Why not the M6? Because like it was actually a commentary about Call of Duty at the time. Like, why not use the M16? Because it is gay. Or whatever, <laughs> <laughs> whatever the fuck he said. <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah, probably something awful like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, if if it happened and you were still FPS Russia, you would have to. I mean, you would lose your channel if you did. But like, you think? if you had some sort of like immunity, just leaning into it and pretending to be pro Russia would be the character. You oh, would. you could. Like you that could, would be what Dmitry actually did. 
Yeah, you could you get that trolling that um, issue would be like, like I don't think you get away with it, but no. um, for obvious reasons, it's a it's a pretty sensitive thing. Mm-hmm. You know, there's women and children being murdered and genocided over there, so not the best thing to take make light of. However, mm-hmm. that's exactly what that character would need to do with, with yeah. a scenario <laughs> like that. Unfortunately, I mean, I was always doing that, right? Like when Osama bin Laden got killed, I immediately bought an Osama bin Laden poster in there and made the title of the video "Osama bin Laden shot," <laughs> like, <laughs> like, so that I fit in with like NBC and CBN and Vox News and everybody else's. Bit. And of course, I used the close up of my target, which is like his like Interpol photograph, you know. Mm-hmm. So it was pretty official. And like, but the thing about it was, you didn't show up and you're going like, you're like, ah, oh, fuck this nonsense. It was a trick. You're like. Wait, what is this? <laughs> Wait, what is this? <laughs> like, like, that was generally like, like what I was going for. There's mm-hmm. a good, uh, there's a good, there was a thing happening, a good conversation happening because that's really fucking smart. There's a few YouTubers and streamers and stuff. Like uh, Mr. Beast was one of them that was talking about how there's no luck in social media. Like I, I oh, like no luck, huh? Yeah. Like how much of it do you think is like a luck thing versus just talent strategy sort of thing? Timing is big. Timing is big, but um. You know, striking while the iron is hot. It's not. It doesn't get hot often. Uh, for your particular brand of, uh, uh, of laundry, let's just let's keep keep it going that way. Um, but but when like you have a moment where you can do a thing and like do it, like like you do have to have some timing. But yeah, I, I agree. Like like I don't know about luck in general. There are some things that just fall into your lap. But those things happen because you were, you know, there at the time because you were like working toward already doing it. it it's rare that you're just sitting mm-hmm. in your room with your thumb up your ass and someone's like, hey, would you like a million dollars, Johnny? Like, no, you were probably already grinding in that yeah. realm and impressing mm-hmm. yourself upon people and they How chose you, you know? because of what you do. I, I get the timing part, right? I, I once had a question on like, a, I used to do this thing where at Feedback Friday or something where I answered Twitter questions and they asked me, who would still be popular on YouTube if everyone lost all their subs and had to start from that day? And I read into it with this, Woody, you wouldn't be one of them. You're only popular on YouTube because you started it before everyone else. You had this first mover advantage. And I kind of disagreed. I, I, I likened it to the NBA, right? If every NBA player got kicked out right now and they were to start again and just make the teams from scratch, I believe 95% of those people would get their jobs back. You know, and maybe not the same team, but they'd hire from the same base of people. Those are the people who are the best at basketball. There aren't a ton of people outside the NBA who are better than the ones in it. Why did I do well on YouTube back in the day? Well, shit, I uploaded every day and then twice every day for years and years in a row. That counts for a lot. Were my videos the best? Probably not. Probably someone made better videos than me. But Anytime you opened your channel or or your browser, there was something else to see from me and I could keep you interested. There weren't lots of gaps. That meant a lot. It's part of why Casey Neistat used to give that advice to bloggers, like upload every day. And they're like five days a week. He's like, no, every day, every day is how you, every day you grind, every day you work. And people would go from like three days a week or five days a week to seven and explode. There's something to be said for that. Yeah. When I get into someone, I, I exhaust their catalog. Mm. And now I'm waiting. You got me waiting now, dude. Like, what are you doing? And it's easy to like lose mm. touch with that guy if he's not coming mm-hmm. out every day. Um, I like Red Letter, Letter Media. They might be the my the the YouTube channel I'm most loyal to as far as like as soon as they upload a video, I'm watching it. Man, I wish they did more than one video a week, or sometimes two weeks. And mm. I'm, I'm like, come on, I, I want more and more all the time. If there was a video every day, I'd watch it. Mm. There's, it there's, the algorithm changed over the years, though. I. Like some sometimes you can just get channels that pop, like there's a channel that I've got that I I've uploaded like four videos on and there's a year gap between them. They mm. do well every time. They do like over a million views or so. It's just like the algorithm. It depends on what style your content is. If you're just farming like uh, watch time, it can work now. Like uh, there's there's a couple different like if it wasn't like that, then animators would just get fucked. Like those people that yeah. spend months on videos and they're like three minutes long. Yeah, it, it, back in the day, it was like that too. Um, Epic Rap Battles was a good example. You know, they would have a season, but they couldn't upload every day. You know, they would upload what, like twelve videos a year, twenty videos a year, and mm-hmm. and that was it. But they were still wildly successful. Every video got like thirty to eighty million views, which yeah. was even more back then cool. than it is now. Um, a very high effort for what was on YouTube at the time. Yeah, like costumes and effects and backgrounds. But, like social media isn't luck. 
Mostly. Of course, there's, there's uh, you know, they up here, hide your wife, hide your kids. They raping people like that guy. Like, there's some luck here and there. But Mr. Beast wasn't luck. Mr. Beast grinded and grinded. And yeah. Well, and to be fair, Antoine Dodson <laughs> didn't do shit, but like be weird in front of a camera. It was Schmoyo or whatever that YouTube channel was Shmoyo. who were grinders who uh, did like work hard every day. They songified his little news clip and made him like yeah, a famous person. You ever meet that guy, Antoine Dodson? Mm -mm. How, how did you meet him? <laughs> VidCon, LA. Ah. Did he carry on making stuff after that? He carried on selling t-shirts. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's mostly not luck. I agree with Mr. Beast. Uh, it's mostly guys who are out there grinding, out there working very diligently and intentionally, you know, even on social media. People think it's luck that you just explode by accident. Probably not. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think that, um, I don't know. I think good things happen. Lucky things happen when you're, when you're there, when you're there doing the thing. You know, I've made a lot of, like, like I was talking to my dad about, um, some shots. I, uh, he was talking about like I saw you do a thing one time with the gun that was like this, and he was he was telling some story from my childhood, something I'd done with a gun, and uh, and I was like, yeah, but I took a lot of shots. Like, like like nobody else tries to do that. Like if you, I tried it a lot, and sometimes it worked. Like the reason that it seems so crazy is that nobody even tries. So like being there and trying, that's how you get lucky things to happen. What's that Michael Scott quote? Michael Scott quoting Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> you miss all the shots you don't take. Yeah. Michael Scott, Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. Yeah. Or Wayne this guy, Scott. Antoine Dodson, I'm, I'm reading his Wikipedia. This guy had quite the journey. He, in an online Q&A with fans, he answered questions regarding his sexuality. Am I bisexual? No. Gay? Yes. In an interview <laughs> with CBS, Dodson told Shira Lazar that he had been a rape victim in the past. In May 2013, Dodson announced through Facebook that he had become a black Hebrew Israelite and is no longer into homosexuality and he wants a wife and family. Dodson and his wife announced her pregnancy in September in May 2014, they had a son. Dodson drew criticism shortly after when discussing the possibility of his son being gay. Although professing support, he included the phrase, if he couldn't be fixed. In 2015, he posted a video apologizing to the LGBT community. In an interview in April 2018 with BET, Dodson self him, himself identified as a bisexual man, yes. saying, I don't know what that's going to hold for me. And so this guy's been all over the board. Jesus. Oh, my God. I guess Yahweh let him down. Hmm. Must have. Must have. He pivoted into the black Hebrew Israelite and then back out of it. Usually Which, you're just in for life, right? Like, like I don't I don't see a lot of people dabbling in the black Israelite uh, religion. No. If you if you watch the videos of those guys like in New York City, they are aggressive. Like they will just start yelling at people. We talked about that clip, haven't we? Yeah. Where yeah. like the, the black Hebrew Israelite was just yelling at this Jewish guy in the middle of the street in New York, like the Holocaust, that ain't real. That ain't real. You believe that? And the Jewish guy's like, what the fuck? He's like just walking. Like, <laughs> what, what are you talking about? He's like they're berating him. And it's like, oh my God, that's that is menacing like why would you do that to someone oh i just thought of a great video idea for you fenster so um i have been i've been watching these videos <laughs> did that on. spur it yeah <laughs> it's a great video it's uh from the <laughs> you, lights again. well you were, you were talking about uh, uh on the street har harassment and so uh, mm. I, I jumped over to another video i saw where like mm. a girl wears like i don't know jeans and like just a top and she walks down the street with a hidden camera to see how many yeah. men like like hit on her and like say like like oh hey there hot cheeks or you're looking beautiful today that's the most common one that's the nice guy mm -hmm. thing looking beautiful today you know something like that and uh, that'd be cool yeah right I, I would love to see that with you just walking down the street and like have your buddy like in front right. of you like a camera in their backpack facing straight backwards mm -hmm. you know so you, you get like the head on of you walking and yeah. uh, and then like like see if guys flirt with you I want that. Yeah. The difference is I'm a again I know I joke that I'm I'm a five nine but like five nine still sort of average height. Well, I look like this. That's kind of out of range for like woman, I guess. So I'm a you know mm. I don't know. Do you fancy yourself I'm, unattainable? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had a well, I I've done like walking streams out before, and um I it, I think every single time someone said something. So it's, I guess, semi-common. I had one, uh, like, mm. a guy, like, beeped this horn at me, like, as I was crossing and all this stuff. And I, then I, but every time I do follow like it up, with like, oh, cops. thank you, man. You know, <laughs> yeah. thanks, bro. And then, oh, <laughs> drive off. It's I on, saw, 
There's was, a clip of was, it somewhere. was it a mega clip or something? It was one of those sites like that where I, I saw you bump into another guy who's doing exactly uh, what you're doing. Yeah. You both look at each other, and I think it's you. You go, wait a minute. <laughs> 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 no, we, we both, uh, the, yeah, that guy's called Nat. He can do, oh, I think I talked about it last His time. girlfriend is scary good. Yeah, exactly. He, he can do this perfect fucking like yeah, woman. From, he has like way back hair, and it's really cute. Yeah. It's, it's like, not, I, it's, I can't do anything close. close to what he can do. I, I don't know, maybe a little bit, but but his is perfect. Yeah, like you wouldn't think it would like he could do one of those things where like if you didn't see his mouth move, you'd think someone else was in the room. Like you, you wouldn't think it came from him. Yeah, he's so fucking good at that. But that clip got hundreds of millions. Of views. Like it was everywhere. It's on mm. the front page of every on on Reddit on Nine Gag I Funny all that. It, it just got on TikTok. It's on TikTok. It's got like seventy million views on one person's upload. <laughs> and then yeah. yeah they, <laughs> That was a semi plan. We both were like, I'm on a, because we knew each other beforehand roughly, but we both mm -hmm. went like, I'm on Omegle. I was like, okay, cool. And we didn't know when we were going to, if we, if we were going to see each other, but then. Was, uh, oh, so that was semi plan. Ah, semi, semi plan. pulled out. the curtain back a little bit. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. But I don't, I, I, it was, it's still such a good moment because neither of us knew what we were going to say. And he, <laughs> he opened it up with like, I was quiet going like, I don't, you know, we're we going to say something. And he went, why are you so fucking ugly? <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, he was clearly the the worst looking of the two. Uh, oh, much better looking. He was, he was self conscious about it. That's yeah, what I'm... yeah. Oh, well, he got work oh, on that my... voice though. That's why he leans <laughs> on the voice. Yeah. I love. I. I and that's so funny. He um, because he's like a esports guy, like he, a proper gamer. He plays Fortnite. Mm -hmm. He's that. I love this thing so much about him. He's um, he would very clearly rather be doing Fortnite gaming. <laughs> He's doing. It. <laughs> We've talked to him about it, but like he got, he could do a girl voice, and then the natural like progression. As I said, this is a downward spiral. I put on a yeah. little bit of makeup one day, and now I'm fucking in Ariana Grande's outfit. <laughs> he had the same thing. Like it was just he could do a girl voice. He was trolling people on Fortnite, and then it like he was like, "Hey, put on a wig next. <laughs> you know, go on a Meg will do it." And now that's what he does. Yeah. <laughs> now I mean, it's a show. natural career path. So yeah. so had uh, is there fan fiction? Yes. Oh, well, there's there's tons of fan fiction. There's a lot of uh, do you know what a cum tribute is? Yep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm very familiar. We're, I, we're in my... the jizz biz. We're <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I heard I was I think I was listening to this or something else, but I was it might have been like Joe Rogan. Someone was talking about a cum tribute that I was listening to, and I went like, I mean, there's got to be one of me. There's got to be one of me. Someone's got to have done it once. I was a bit a bit of an ego thing. I guess I guess someone's got to have done it once. <laughs> So I go and look for it, <laughs> and there are where, there are forums specifically dedicated to it. And I find I find a couple. I find a couple in this forum thread, and then I see like that side scroll bar is really small. Yeah. This thread <laughs> goes down. After three hours, I just had to stop looking. The <laughs> <laughs> it took that long, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Were you looking like, at yourself like critically? Where you're like, well, why would they even use that photo? That's not a good one. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, no. Found it. oh no! No, it's not you. Oh, oh what? no! <laughs> oh look at what this! What are looking at here? This gets weirder the more you look at it. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the that fact is... that there's a condom present is a little confusing. I think is maybe that two condom? Is that a condom or a ribbon? Looks like a ribbon from the bag. Oh, what? I, yeah, I'm it's a bag on top. Hold the bag on the head, and oh, oh, it's just oh, the yeah, it is. bag. That's all. It it's is. one of those sparkly mm -hmm. handles. Yeah. yeah. Well, in any case, yeah, everybody. I'm gonna not look at that anymore. That's my that's my picture, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only way I can finish. It's the only way I can finish. <laughs> I wish the audience could see it now. It's funny if you see what I'm. Oh, Dude, you, you you can only get off by coming on a photo of your own face. God, the guy from fucking American Psycho. Right, stick with me. I'm a little kinky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! No, I remember that was a thing for a bit. People like tweeted pictures of me with that all over. <laughs> I think I'm I like, asked man, for... you you must have just ruined your own gasm. No, by having to look at my fat, ugly face. <laughs> no, we literally asked for uh, come tributes. I think specifically for lock and low, but but you know maybe not. You know, but uh, but we love you guys come tributes. We want as many as we can get, um, all day every day. Since, I've had um, some. It's an only honor. good ones. It's an only honor. It's an honor. If um, you look at it and you know it's not your best performance. You know, that don't use that one. Yeah. You know? I, I, here, here's a little tip. If you use a mirror, put the picture on a mirror, 
you'll be able to see every little fleck of jism. Okay, you'll that, mm-hmm. that way we don't like. Maybe you came on a towel, dude. I'm gonna only be able to see the largest of globules then. Yeah. Okay. Even if they are incredibly <laughs> pearlescent from your lock and load <laughs> supplementation, but if you yeah. use a mirror, I'm gonna be able to really tell that you meant it, that you meant it, and that <laughs> you love this. <laughs> what point does that become weird? <laughs> that you, I want to see more when, you, when you start when when they close. when they start showing up in the mail. I guess. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> oh someone, dude! Today, someone sent me a ring to my actual address, a wedding ring. Oh, what what are you yeah. gonna say? What the fuck? He has, he knows my address. I'm leaving, <laughs> moving. <laughs> well, he's gonna need to if you guys. Are <laughs> yeah, I, I, fuck up. You're, you're in trouble. 650 square gone. feet. You'll need more right. room for the yeah. two of he's you. He's gonna have right. no trouble finding your hiding spots in that little house. <laughs> 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 hmm, where could he be? In the room or the bathroom? Could it be? <laughs> <laughs> Might be that curtain over there with the bunny ears on. There seems to be a tall woman in here. <laughs> mm. these gi- yeah. I've got a house rule that everyone's got to try on these, like, gi- I can get them, but like, they're these giant pair of heels. So, everyone that has ever stepped foot into my house has tried these on and tried walking with them because I can't. They're so tall that I'm good at walking in heels. I can walk in five inch heels easy. I can sprint in five inch heels. I can't take a step in these. They're like nine inches and like be so your foot's almost like that. Have you given any thought to competing in um, any sort of female like athletic competitions? Oh, I'm definitely not allowed. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm come to America. You just want to win the Olympics and something? They're, they're not open minded like that over there. No, <laughs> I, I'm. Uh, well, you don't have freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm everything, dude. I got like I'm fully. I, I haven't taken any pills and I haven't done any surgeries. I'm fully, dude. I wake that up and matter. put the makeup on. None of that matters. You can just be. Yeah. Are you I feeling? Think that matters. It, what matters is what are you feeling more at this very moment while I'm writing it on this paper, ma'am? I'm feeling I, girly, and you're in. Nah, to do anything, like to, that, you've got to do welcome to ladies boxing. Yeah. You got to you got to do so many tests in order for that to fucking work out. You can't just be like, ah, yeah, I'll I'll be here now. I'm wearing I'm showed up wearing my skirt. I can come compete. I don't think I, <laughs> I don't think that's how that's works. I don't think they're gonna let you compete in a skirt. Not in, in what? Unless it's a skirt some athletic wear. Ice skating? Mm-hmm. Bikini. Mm. There's, there's some stuff that, like, uh, aren't women just, like, way better at biological or something? Like, golf is a weird it's one a, like that? Like, you don't actually need... Women are not better at golf um, well, by a long like shot. Uh, they're pretty good at a couple different kinds of gymnastics that require... Um, yeah, like the the hip, uh, It's hip flexibility in particular that women have over men. Um, it's part of childbearing. Um, and... Um, and there's a couple other things we looked into it, like like the sports that women can just do things men can't. But even in figure skating, like the 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 mm-hmm. most women can only do like, and I'm wrong about the number, but it's like three rotations when whereas men can do four or five, um, mm-hmm. like, like like every like conceivable way to like track performance in like all the sports. It seems yeah. like you know the bigger, stronger, What's faster people that- are better. The bigger, stronger, faster people. Sure, if we're talking about figure skating, gymnastics, ice hockey, whatever. What about pool? What about um, chess? Like, why are you would you would think that? But like, they have women's leagues in chess and because yet, I guess they can't compete in like the men's leagues with all those sixty-year-old Russians who live, breathe, and die why? chess. There's, why? A, there's, I I no there's a good, you know, uh, so you know, League of Legends, the game. Yes, mm-hmm. there's the video a games. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so League of Legends is like, there's not even like a women's team. Like they're they're like, there's not a single woman in any of the pro stuff. Cause it's so it kind of just and they, there's no reason why they shouldn't be either. It's one of those like sort of chess like there's just biologically there's no reason why. It's just how like what people are into it. You know, you, it's the same sort of thing as like you can't say ah women are dumb because they don't know how to play chess as good as men mm-hmm. because then you're doing the whole thing of like you remember the whole like pay gap thing where like ah people make different choices. Yeah, men yeah. make different choices. They're into fucking League of Legends and chess and nerdy shit like that. Women aren't. But there yeah, are women who are, though. There are women time. who make it their life's goal to be chess grandmasters, and they but fall for it time and time again. There's a lot observation. more men willing to do that, though. It's my observation that there are more guys who get deep, deep, deep into shit, who just get, like, obsessed over a thing. That thing mm-hmm. can be chess, that thing can be sports, that thing can be whatever. And I just don't see women putting their sometimes, but there aren't as many women who put their full everything into it, and it shrinks their talent pool. Yeah, I, 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 I think 
I think that female and male brains probably work a little bit different, and uh, especially, well, specifically, yeah. specifically with problem solving things like chess. Um, I would imagine that there's probably if you told me there was a board game that women were just way better than because they can. I can uh, think of things that women are better at, like SAT you. and ACT scores, grades mm -hmm. in high school. You know, these mm -hmm. are things that women beat men in. It's not like they're mm -hmm. stupid. Yeah, uh, they're they're less likely to get disciplined through every level of educate like women are better at like sitting still and doing what they're told i don't think that's because good. yeah yeah i don't think that's because they're being disciplined differently for the same behavior i think they just get into fewer fights they just get into they just better at uh i don't know staying in between the lines better at reading like, uh, the room socially and doing the approved thing whereas <laughs> boys are like oh, 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 like running around with a lighter or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, did you ever do this in high school or any school you think where you take a gum wrapper you put one in in the fucking socket on the wall <laughs> and then you bend it so the other end is pointed toward the other slit in the socket and then you kick that bitch in I never no, did you never did, that. <laughs> did it just short the entire thing and start a fire? What would it do? I, I'm so tempted to do it in my fucking home. <laughs> you do it in your house. It's terrible. Like a fork where you just make the two. Yeah, if you want, but then you get electrocuted, right? And it's a fork is heavy metal, so it, it could eh, it'll hold that current. A gum wrapper is thin aluminum foil, thinner than regular aluminum foil, so it explodes with this quick blue flash. It goes pop. Oh my God. And uh, it won't flip the breaker in my experience. I'm sure it can. Uh, but 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 like that's the worst of it because you kick it with your rubber sole. You're not grabbing onto it. You're not burned. But it is a big pop and a flash of blue lightning that you can create in any classroom or anywhere you want. Really, we did it all the time. Do yeah, kids, go do I'd that. See, I'd love to see you try. Don't, you can. I, I mean, if you want them to, Fencer, but I think it's very dangerous and no children should try them. <laughs> but, <laughs> but if that's what you want. <laughs> but I, I condone it. You can put on my name. I quote certainly me. Finster don't. condones. <laughs> They're going to try you as a man, you know. <laughs> You're not weaseling your way out of this one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, and you'll be quite a treat. <laughs> You're going to be going to the same barber as Woody before that stint in prison. Like, make me look terrible. <laughs> Line me up. <laughs> Square me up. Yeah. Square me up. Oh, I can't wait until, like, there's a part of me that, like, really. um. Uh, what's it called? Re really likes the idea of when I when I do stop doing this, like going full, like get a buzz cut, you know, shit like that. Really, really mm -hmm. go the complete opposite direction as soon as I'm like ready to retire. Yeah, that be like seems fun. become like beyond normal levels of masculine, like absurd mm. beard. <laughs> what what are masculine things? You are always armed. Yeah, <laughs> always, always, <laughs> got, like, always. Weapon strapped to me. You have like a cool. It's a lot. Yeah. You always have brass knuckles on something. Tight. It's, <laughs> it's, it's defeated by the too. chew tobacco. That no, that's not <laughs> that's, that's gross. gross. It's gross and it's manly. You don't see almost. I've only ever seen one woman one woman chew tobacco. When I saw when I uh, like worked at that movie rental store when I was eighteen or whatever, um, the girl that worked with me was cute and maybe three years older. She chewed, I think Copenhagen. I think she dipped because she would like, like 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 after work we'd be like. I don't know, there was like busy work to do, like getting the, the returns in and everything. And she'd be dipping into a fucking Mountain Dew bottle while we like ca counted the money. That's what it was. We were counting the money. That's disgusting. Oh my God. Did, anyone using dip is bad. Just mm -hmm. like you could start smoking cigars. That's manly and it's less gross than, than dip. Cigars are still pretty gross. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't see the appeal. Every time I've tried... And like had somebody I, give me a cigar. I always go into it optimistic, like trying to enjoy it the correct way. Never, never works out. I agree with everything you said, except as a secondhand smoker, cigars might be my favorite. They do smell the best for sure. Depends yeah. on the cigar. I've played poker with inconsiderate pieces of shit who have like it smells like a smells like a diaper is is like <laughs> smoldering. That's nice. Gross. And they're chawing on it, so it's all like unraveling oh. in the mouth, and it's like 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 it's just disgusting. I, I would much prefer a cigarette or dip or chew. I grew up with people that chew, so like because like, like my cousin and my uncle they chew. My my dad's never been in that stuff, but like both like that Levi Garrett chewing tobacco mm -hmm. that you like grab like a little pinch of. That's the the long yeah shavings, but also you know dip fucking Copenhagen and skull and that stuff like. That's the cool thing to do if you're that's from not, around here. That's not fucking worth it, man. The masculinity gained isn't worth it. It's You've completely, never... dude. It's it's completely offset. The uh, the whole like do all this masculine stuff. It's completely offset by the fact that I've now just developed feminine hobbies. Now 
like or oh. at least like i've developed <laughs> like tastes to it like there's some stuff that i don't mind about this like weirdly enough these acrylic nails great you know what the amount of shit the amount of times i've like knocked something on my nail and then got a, that weird bruise under your nail these things are like a protective shield i am completely now against armpit and ass hair and shit and and, and back there's no reason for armpit and ass hair to exist oh, doesn't armpit hair work as a lubricant I don't. You don't care. need it. <laughs> I don't care. You don't it. If you live without, it's one of those things that you you mm. you're okay with it because you're used to it now. You live without that shit for like two three months, you'll you'll start shaving that. As soon I run as my beard trimmer up there. Just get it all. Yeah, it's quick. The, the Phillips one blade, dude. That shit. Hey, great. that's what I yeah. use. Yeah. Do you, are you gonna Are you gonna keep doing your legs once you're all done with it though? Because that seems like a huge <laughs> bitch of a. That's task. what I used too. The Phyllis one blade, yeah, it, it it does not get clogged. That's no. its magic trick. I, I had a different one, and it it is possible to clog it. I didn't like it. It's not the one. This thing, it just it's it's I don't know. It's like a hedge trimmer, dude. I've had a Manscaped sponsorship before, and they do like the bzz thing. I don't know if you mm-hmm. know about them. Why yeah. so I don't use that stuff. <laughs> it's not as good. No, the Phillips one blade. I like their nose trimmer, but the the one blade is. Um, yeah, that shit's awesome. You could, it's like, it gives you the effect of like the day after you shave with a razor, at least for me. Yeah. Like the, yeah, day after you shave with a razor, that's that's what you get with a Phillips one blade. They're great. The, um, all right, I, I ordered, might, huh? I ordered the one blade thing just yeah, now. Mm. The, the Norelco oh, one blade, it's like a little green thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, they're the, good. I think I like bucks. I, I continue to shave my legs before I get bored of it. A different effect than armpit hair is though. Why don't you use uh, depilatory cream? Uh, depilatory cream. Doesn't that shit like if you do it wrong? I don't know. It takes equally as long. I'm good at shaving though. I'm not. I, I'm not afraid of that. Fair. And I don't want to. Like, with the with isn't that the sort of thing you need to like suit to the area? You can't put the regular one Everywhere. in your fucking asshole, dude. That's they make a get... sensitive skin mo- mode, but you just want to set that five minute timer. And you want you... this isn't cookies, okay? You go to six and we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like it takes like a couple treatments like like maybe seven minutes is what does it but like mm. one two separate five minute treatments will not ruin your life but like <laughs> one seven minute treatment will like dissolve most of your butthole so yeah. uh so you, you gotta you gotta walk a fine it's line a terrible trade-off yeah i use that nair mm. stuff i put on like gloves before i use it and i put it anywhere i want the hair to go away and i like I, like I, I jump in the shower get wet and then i rub it where i want the hair to go away from take the gloves off and then like my timer's set and I go about doing out anything else I need to do in the bathroom like like brushing my teeth and stuff before I get in the shower and then rinse it off as fast as I can because I'm now melting <laughs> no no you know it's more masculine you leave all the my asshole have you ever seen the movie platoon yeah <laughs> it's like a thicket a forest of oh. shit. yeah a jungle a a jungle of stuff. The, the humidity it's, down there alone. I've, will get I've you. got Viet Cong hiding out. <laughs> in, in <my> ass. <laughs> a, you got a punchy pit in your asshole. I got one of those guys who refuses to acknowledge the war's been over for fifty years. <laughs> <in my ass. laughs> he's, he's just smoking opium out of a shotgun barrel. Get out of there! I'm not going to fall for your American trick. What's <laughs> this? <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude the ass hair has an interesting effect of it being like a, a silencer for your farts yeah it, like, the gasket <laughs> yeah. Yeah. now forevermore it's gonna be like you're farting on one of those school desks you can't sneak one out in a school <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pops and squeaks <laughs> you can wear a thong I've heard that works as a silencer uh, or a butt plug <laughs> there was this guy in, in here. I wish they made a butt plug that had like a valve. <laughs> <laughs> like like a button you can you press. A butt plug just, uh, in. Can you fart around a butt plug? I'm sure. Only one can. way to find out. On uh, on Impractical Jokers, they had a bit where they're like product testing, and one of the guys had a butt plug that made your turned your farts into pleasant noises. So every time <laughs> you farted, it was like a bird going. Wait, wait. <laughs> I, I knew someone in this reminded me of two different fart stories in, from school but there's this i was we were sitting on this hard tile floor seventh grade so we're like 13 or whatever it is and i'm sitting with my buddy and he's so we're both sitting down and he's like i gotta fart so bad and i'm like okay and he's like five more minutes go by and he's like i can't hold this i'm like okay whatever and then a few more minutes and he goes listen to this 
and he was going to do like a silent fart to show that he could, but it hit like, like dropping marbles onto a tin roof, like verberating Ooh. off of the, the tile, just like that level of fart, like quick, you know, <laughs> pitter patter. <laughs> Very funny stuff. And I remember like being mortified, like, oh, I'm close enough to him. People are going to think I farted and I'm 12 or 13. So I have no confidence. And so I just sold him down the river. I like scooted away on the tile floor and I was like, oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just just sold him away. Oh, man. I, and there's this other kid I remember in, in I think it was that same math class that I would cheat in sometimes that he was like proud, like high on himself, like. If you want to fart in class, you just cough at the same time. And he thought that was brilliant. And one, one, one day he went, <coughs> and then it goes, <laughs> and it was it was like two seconds of miss. And it was so, it was so fun because all he did was draw all the attention to himself. <laughs> And then he farted, and that like I was laughing like all week at that. That was so funny. <laughs> Such a stupid thing. To I had a so friend funny. who did the same thing, except he would try to like he'd be like, "Woody, I'm gonna cough, cough with me, cover it with." Me. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not gonna get on your scheme. Covering fire. Suppress <laughs> <laughs> fire. Cover me. <laughs> That's hilarious. The stupid thing. I remember like being young, like in middle school or whatever. And like, if I had to take a shit at school or something, I'd go in there and be like, I don't want people to know that I poop and like, try and be quiet about it. And it wasn't until like, like later that I became like a true alpha pooper. Where like when I go in there, I'm making noise. I'm doing what I got to do. Like I uh, just fire it all out. You know, people will respect you, I think. And I have I have a friend who used to troll people in the bathroom like this is he would if he saw someone was shitting in the, the high school bathroom, he would like take forever in there. So they're just like holding their shit. And he would tell me like all the time he did this. And he's like, and then what I do So I walk over, I flush a urinal. Then I go turn on the faucet and then I go open the creaky door. And then I let it close. And then I always hear them go, oh. <laughs> and then I go over and I go, ah, oh, I heard you. I heard you. I heard you pooping. And I'm like, you still don't know who it is. Like, who are you owning? Like, at, at this, other than just making someone self conscious about shitting. This, this yeah. How, much, how are you uh, guys? In your, in, your, in, your, in, your, in, your, in your pooping. In your, are you, I are you, try you to be shitters? quiet, but I don't, um, I don't totally hide and run from it. I get, Look, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a mammal. We do these things, mm -hmm. but uh, but I also don't. Ideally, no one knows I'm there. Yeah. No, there's yeah. a there's a there's a narrative I don't like about school shitters. I I, I was a school shitter. I'd shit at school. I'd do it. Yeah. Okay. There's a there's a there's a uh, there's something that people have against it, but I don't know. I, Kyle is not a school cool. shitter. He would hold it until he got home. I think I remember that. Oh. Finn and I were both school shitters. Mm. I've only shat at school. One time I know for sure, because it was a, but I had had a panic attack. What do you mean for and, sure? <laughs> well, I remember like specifically because like when you have a panic attack, you need to shit pretty soon after. And I'd had a panic attack and I was like, um, all right, well, today we're shitting. <laughs> like, like this, is, it like makes your bowels like turn to liquid. It's like, like diarrhea is coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Look at the stupidest thing I've bought in recent memory. Is that that really expensive water? Yep. You don't even like Wait. seltzer water. It's not seltzer water. It's mountain water. Uh, is it, I, I it's just water? It's just water. Uh, From a me, can. It must taste a little canny. Well, cans have like plastic on the inside. Mm -hmm. Why so is it called it liquid tastes, death? What's cool about it? Well, because it, it... I hope that light's not too bright. I need to read this. Uh, it's weird text. When a group of teenagers set off into the mountains for a weekend of drinking regular water in plastic bottles, they have a can... They became hunted by an aluminum can of mountain water that was dead set on murdering their thirsts and recycling their souls. Once cracked open, no thirst is safe from liquid death. 
<laughs> after Ooh. ritually dismembering it's th- it goes on like this for another paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> after ritually dismembering, there's no way it says after ritually dismembering. Well, that would be hilarious. All right, I, I, here, all right, oh, it I'll does finish. say murder alone. Oh, this marketing after for ritually a- dismembering its thirst victims, this brutal can of water <laughs> used the severed body parts of dead thirst to build itself a flesh suit, <laughs> which it used as a disguise to get a job in marketing. But liquid death never took the job. It just <laughs> murdered a bunch more thirst instead. What the fuck? Dude, this is really expensive for water. A 12 pack of what you're drinking is $15 for Option. water. What you. I, I saw it and it looked cool and I wanted it. And it was, <laughs> and it was $17 just so we're paying. <laughs> <laughs> and they're oh. tall boys, you know? So. Yeah, they are tall boys. Oh, no, oh. I mean. Was it worth it? Will you be a, a liquid death guy? No, now? I wanted one case of them because I think they're a conversation piece, and I literally thought we'd have this little fun here. And also, like, yeah. I drink a lot of water, so it's like, why not? It'll make me drink more water because it's silly. And I Does it, let me ask you this, Kyle. Does it make you more aggressive? I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> little things like that do work for me mentally. Like, 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 like that. Um, what's the effect I'm looking for? The 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 um, placebo placebo effect. Like the placebo effect is incredibly effective. And even if I know like in the back of my head that I'm allowing myself to like partake in the placebo effect, I still think it's effective to some extent to like make you feel better or perform better at things. I have yeah. a relatable story. So mm-hmm. someone in my family has COVID and uh, like they tested positive. They have COVID and we, we knew they were sick and it was like, eh. and then the instant they tested positive, I'm like, ah, oh, I've got kind of a headache and I'm fatigued <laughs> like <laughs> that. And uh, now another one, Colin is the other one. Uh, he says food tastes funny. So it's, uh, mm. I'm suspecting that he has it too, that he's like lost his sense of taste. And it could smell. be. That's rough. And, Not uh, everyone gets that. Not everyone. Right. Gets that. Yeah. But it is I a just... symptom of people who get it. And mm-hmm. also Colin uniquely like, hasn't read up on COVID or anything. Yeah, yeah. So uh no placebo it, effect there. He just right. knows the symptom. Yeah. So um anyway, it's gonna be rough to dodge COVID around here. We'll see. Well, you. good luck. I, I I haven't had it. I'm the I'm one of the very few people I Me know too. who have not had COVID. Um <laughs> I attribute that to not only like just a crazy regimen of like st- sanitizing myself, but also just staying the fuck away from people. Like I've had girls who'd be like, Yeah, I I, I had COVID last week and I'd be like, oh well, I'll see you in maybe a month. <laughs> like, I'm not dealing with this. I didn't. I didn't want to expose my my uh, my parents. And uh, man, I, I every day I read another article, whether you believe it or not, about the long term effects of COVID. And and mm. I saw one about 20 percent diminishment in mental acuity. And I don't know how you test that. And I but 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 that's a scary headline. 20. I can't lose a fucking decimal point. <laughs> I'm barely yeah. functional as an adult man. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I uh, I worry about all that. Now, I am vaccinated and boosted, in case anyone wants to know. So yeah, if I get it... Not, I, I see Fisker <laughs> just her titties. I could just sit here doing this. Yeah, <laughs> fucking pop them. Let's go. Yeah, like that whole like elbow trick thing uh-huh. completely yeah. works for me. No. He's not wow. a slut. I am. <laughs> okay, like the definition of a st- no. This, yeah. this, dude, this exact outfit's a dangerous one. This this skirt is held on literally by a piece of tape because it's too loose for me. So like, I lost weight. It's too so I, I lost some weight. I had to tape it together, and then um, I stood up on stream. And there's a clip of it. It's got the just the clip has like a couple hundred thousand views, where it, it falls immediately, and it did. Nothing got shown, and it was live on Twitch, but I checked afterwards. I turned the camera off. I was like, I got to make sure I didn't just show a ball popping out. Yeah. <laughs> I, someone smiled down upon me that day. That shouldn't <laughs> Let me ask you a question. What are you wearing in that instance in particular underneath your dress? I'm, well, this thing is like a, so this is like a bodysuit thing. So I, I, mm. I, I would show you, but again, I don't want to show you my balls. So I, I like, can see it now, though. So it's like a women's bathing suit. Uh, yeah, kind of. It's a bit like that. <laughs> I've got yeah. one picture of it where I don't have the skirt on. Um, but the where I'm, you know, where I'm normal. To, <laughs> but yeah, it could have gone either way, man. I could Twitch could have as soon as it happened. What ha- as soon as it happened, I turned the camera off and just mentally was like, okay, like started prepping for the future. I was like, all right, I can delete the vod. I can 
if it, if it yeah. got shown, this is the day that I start the OnlyFans. Like, I'll just go. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was just oh, oh, deleting the VOD usually it okay. fixes it. I don't yeah, know. but I knew that someone. Oh, if, yeah. if I showed that, then someone's gonna. It's on the internet, you know. It's there forever. But mm-hmm. oh, 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 oh. We'll, we'll fucking tuck your balls in better next time, Jesus. It's a thing. <laughs> I'll sh- hold on. I'll DM you this photo. Of what this thing is. <laughs> Link it in uh, the chat. Just a photo so. of of uh, tucking form. <laughs> yeah, like the, what this should actually look like. This is uh. Link it in again. the chat. I gotta see this. Hold on. I'll find it. I'll find a photo where it's not that <laughs> you gotta give me a second though so carry on mm-hmm. for a minute yes yes my virgin eyes don't show me anything too bad no <laughs> I, I think he's more worried about like not wanting you to see <laughs> i don't think he's worried about like hurting your uh, virgin eyes he's like no i just don't want you to see my cock bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wait to see my balls hanging out of my <laughs> my katie perry dress or <laughs> ariana grande ariana grande yes another famous singer Hold on. Oh, you cannot show this. <laughs> but uh, I'll, show I'll, it. I'll, I'll put it in Kyle. I don't know what group chat you guys have together, but put on the next to the uh, chat here. But okay. Oh, hold on. I've sent it already. Hold on. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know how I can link a photo. I've just taken like a screenshot of it. But yeah, it's like if you if you do everything right, like I had in this photo, then it looks fine. It's great. The um the only why is that not sending? The only uh <laughs> the only scary thing about it was I hadn't prepped for this situation occurring. So, oh mm-hmm. my god. There you go. <laughs> god, I just want to see what oh god. <laughs> I just want to see his reaction to the thing. <laughs> hmm? Is it his balls? No, god no, it's not. No. Um <laughs> it's it's exactly what I described. It's like a women's yeah. bathing suit. Yeah. Yeah. Except made out of like PVC. I've been I was like looking at my like the reflections in my like you can see everything going on in the monitor. <laughs> Just doing that for a minute while Taylor was doing the ad reads. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. <laughs> Interesting. Do you need a new topic? <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> if you were trying to plan and get away with a murder, how would you do it? Oh. Oh fuck, that's a tough one. Who are we taking out? Is it like a yeah. is it like a politician? I that's me that's what... anyway. Here, here's my actually claim. no. You're not allowed. To I talk would about find that. someone where there's already a suspect, like like a like a a, a, a divorce situation, a separation, right? Like oh, yeah. like somewhere where they're definitely gonna look at somebody else. Mm. Like like oh, do you, it, maybe here's... she already has a stalker. I see what you're saying. So like like this is like a plot to kill so me. The goal the goal <laughs> is just the goal is just like it's to get away with murder. You really want to feel that feeling of taking a life. Yes. <clears throat> well. You definitely don't want to be in like one of those major cities, right? Because like I remember that guy in New York, that psychopath was walking around. Ex- There's no other way to put it. Executing homeless people sleeping on the street with a pistol. Like he'd walk up, make sure the coast was clear, and then like n- kick them a little so they woke, and then shoot them in the head and walk away. But he was caught like a day or two days later because there's so much CCTV. How do they actually find people? I always kind of there's I'm missing a step in how the police do it, which is why it's hard to answer because I don't know what methods they have. Like it, surely if you've got if you just leave your house with a mask on and you go like oh ages and ages away, then that you never just show your face and then you just go ages and ages back. Like there's no way you're gonna get caught. It, I, I, th- I think it is. It, you, you think that, but then like if they can track you enough then all they need to do is find when you interacted with something. Maybe they could find your fingerprints off a doorknob, or th- maybe you swiped your card at a gas station, or you maybe mm. rented the car that you were in. You got on the bus. Well, you must have had like a, a bus pass, right? Let's let's look at everybody who was on that bus. Like, like when I they guess. really want to get somebody, they they don't they don't stop. It's, it's all about picking the victim, right? Find someone who's like already being stalked, someone who maybe has a drug issue. And then you kill them, and they'll never look at you. Oh, someone was telling me about a serial killer the other day. He yeah. lived he lived in like Alaska or something like that, and he would fly into Chicago with legitimate business stuff to do, rent a car, and drive to the East Coast and like do a random spree type murder. Like no one in particular. He'd go kill someone, like what you're describing drive back to Chicago, continue his business, and then be ba- be back in Alaska before like anything had ever even been thought of. So like like he's he's not even close to like I don't know how they caught that guy actually. Now that I'm, 
Oh, and I mentioned mm. how the fuck did they catch that guy? I guess the ones that you you you'll never be able to hear a good story about it on how someone got away with it. Because or what if uh, what it. if it doesn't look like a murder? That's the real way to do it, right? Like 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 the thing in Australia that just happened. There was um a, like, like a thirty year old case of uh, an American man, I believe, who had fallen off a cliff somewhere in Australia, and just recently it came out that. A man either had came forward and admitted, or his wife had ratted him. I don't remember which, probably the latter. Um, that he had pushed that guy off the cliff all those years ago, like, like, like oh and, and and it you know it been thirty years. They just wrote it off as a suicide because he'd fallen off a cliff. You could do that. You go to the Grand Canyon and shove somebody. There's a lot of good ways to murder people. Now you think about it, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just the, wherever the person happens to be. Hmm. No, Getting... of course, that's always how you have to kill someone. You can't kill someone where they're not. <laughs> um, well, yeah. <laughs> that's what yeah. guns, that's what guns it's are dependent, for. It's dependent <laughs> on where they are. The, I would, it, it would be harder to get away with someone that you know. Like, someone, like you know, yes. you said, like, yeah. it depends. It's not like another state. Like your wife. Yeah. Like, like, like getting rid of your wife how? is pretty much impossible. Yeah, how do we, exactly. how do we yeah. kill a wife? How right? Do we go about it? Finding a wife that, are, that has marriage problems who's not... Like in your universe, that'd be the trick. Mm. Oh well, that's not. Yeah, because they'll look at her husband. Like, like if you want to take Jackie out, like that, I can't do that. It's hard, right? <laughs> but if I wanted to take someone else's She's wife, too out, strong. You know, just pick the right one. Who you know, maybe they're already looking at the husband for being a creep, and then offer. Oh, an abusive husband. Yes. If you could find like that scenario where it's like, like when the cops show up, they're like. What did he do this time, Alice? Oh my God! Where's Bill Alice's wife, <laughs> husband? And like, you know, maybe maybe something like that. I still mm. think that like, and I would I, like like when I heard that that guy flew from Alaska and, and and maybe I'm getting like states off or something. But basically, what he did, he flew from like all the way to Chicago and then rented the car and drove another. It's like ten hours to go like <clears throat> do a random murder and then. Like, like, like he's so separated from from that crime. How does it work with countries? Like if you flee the country or some shit, I don't know what people's like thing is. It's got to be a lot easier. Though. Various countries have different extradition treaties with, with others. Like the United States probably has extradition treaties with the most, you would think. Um, you'd think it'd you be would, a big network. People would want to be on our good side. Like our banking network, I would say it's, it's a similarly impressive network of countries that are like, oh, you want him back? We'll have him. Um, <laughs> But, but there are, of course, like places that you can go. I'm always shocked that <clears throat> the famous criminals who are about to go be- and the, 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 um, uh, the Harvey Weinsteins of the world, I'm shocked when they actually go to trial. I'm like, wait, wait, how much money does he have? $37 million. And they didn't seize his assets yet. So why the fuck did he not go to island of whatever the fuck yeah. where they can't yeah. take him and just live out his days there is there something disgrace. we don't understand about that there must be a decent country without it i know the great the, like probably your first choice is the australia's Russia. the uk's where no one went where does roman polanski live somewhere in europe Good one. That's... i couldn't get france? a list france comes mm-hmm. to mind but i don't know exactly i but but the thing about roman is like mm-hmm. they're not actively after him they applauded him at the fucking oscars mm. well they should be after him he, he did some fucked up shit sure what did, did he do is it pedo pedo stuff i'm trying to remember yeah he it did depends pedo stuff. on your definition of pedo stuff i i, I think i i, I saw she was a 13 day. year old girl just because she's hot it. kyle doesn't make it okay you tell me that <laughs> and i wonder yeah. why <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna i'm gonna have that stone into a throw pillow for you <laughs> that's the first of cross stitch yeah that's some, that's some cross stitch. Uh, i was i was that's in the over. fucking reddit comments the other day and they and they were they were arguing about the different kinds of philias they were the, the pedophilia is is specifically girls who are prepubescent but then there was like infantophilia for like two to three year olds and then there were like at least two or maybe even three that were above pedophilia like something like 13 to 15, 15 to 17, and then 17 and above. There, there was a, there was a different uh, phrase. Yeah, there are. Analogy. <clears throat> I, I don't know. I'm going to get myself in trouble. But there are girls who are knocking on the door of 18 who look like grown women. Like if you find them attractive, you're not being attracted. To Someone kids. tried to make that. That's actually, it's so funny you say that. That is what the point of the thread I was in. And I remember it now was. It was someone had, it was in not how girls work or not how women work. And someone had said something like, 
they had won too far with them. They're, they're like, there are 15 year olds who look like grown women, and I can't tell the difference. I, I, I have to, I, would, I, I can only go on their word. Like they said something like that, but more crass than that. Mm -hmm. um, and they were getting their asses handed to them and not how women work. Mm -hmm. Because I guess women can spot the difference between a, an overly developed 15-year-old and a, a, a standard 21-year-old. Brooke Shields woman. was famously like that. You know, she looked like a grown-up at some stupidly young age. I won't name it. I don't because I'll get it wrong. But Jody uh, Foster, Jody Foster did as well. That way too. Yeah. Uh, was the guy in that thread? Because I think that matters a lot. You know, like sometimes after you grow uh, up a bit, you yeah. stop being able to sit like that. Just like. Eight-year-old, fucking fifteen-year-old. They look like the fucking same thing. That's but they're, they're just a kid. They're, you know, you just kind of lose thing for that. Yeah, that's the thing too. Like when I was thirteen, I could easily identify what a fourteen versus a thirteen-year-old looked like. Yeah. yeah. At today's age, I can't do that at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I, I'll do that with like kids. Like I'll see a kid in public, mm -hmm. and like in my head, I'll be like, "Is that that's seven, four, eight? Yeah. I don't. It can talk." Like, <laughs> like I, don't, I don't know the age for and, and I don't know how to interact with them properly. I, I treat all kids like adults anyway, and until they prove that they should be treated otherwise. Want a cigarette, I, bud? Yeah. <laughs> hey, what you doing tonight? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you say you treat children like adults, but it's just a, a sly pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> you drive, hey man, we drive me to the liquor store. I'm not feeling so yeah. hot. <laughs> <laughs> He's in his little jeep. <laughs> you're, you're crunched up in there. I'm get, yeah i'm getting in with him <laughs> man those things were fun <laughs> no see like i don't have any like friends with kids and uh you know and if i did then i would quickly not have friends with kids <laughs> <laughs> i'd fix that problem right away yeah and, i'm um, out taylor you're fucked shortly well no, you don't have <laughs> like i mean like children that i would have to fuck like children children as long like, as they like, keep the kids away from you it's okay well, yeah. even like, not necessarily like, like it's like <laughs> dogs, right? Like, like mm -hmm. I'd love to play with dogs. I just don't want like a dog licking me in the face all day, every day and needing my attention and love. Like, mm -hmm. like you can own a dog and live with me and then I get to hang out mm -hmm. with the dog, but don't expect me to clean anything up mm -hmm. or like, dry, like, like, like help That's with fair. vet bills or anything like that. At um, best, I might open the door now and then. <laughs> yeah, I can hold the door. I'm good at that. Yeah, yeah take him out, but that's about it. I get all the way out of the way the and door, still... I'll let it in. Yeah, no, I, 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 so I have no idea when I see a kid like what they're capable of. I don't know if that that little tyke's getting ready to learn how to drive or how to wipe their own ass. I can't tell, dude. Like the the yeah. varied level of development in like my friends' kids like is weird too because like like there are some three year old, two year olds, three year olds, whatever. You try and get them to talk and they're like barely talking back, like little bits, like pieces here and there. Then there are other three year olds where you can like ask them like like what do you think about that movie? And he's like, I really didn't like the part where she switched to the blue shirt. I don't like the blue shirt. And it's mm -hmm. like, how did you even like know a point of comparison to like make there that you didn't like that? Or it's interesting. Like how, yeah. like, how kids develop differently. The, the mirroring. Movie. I'll tell you, another, but, but, but like when I hear smart kids and I, and they're smart kids, but I'm a smart man. So we don't match up well. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and I, I'm like, I want to be like, you're clearly mirroring everything you're doing right now, right now, little man. Maybe try to develop your own thoughts. Maybe your own, maybe even your own personality. How about that? <laughs> but, but then it's like, dude, he's seven. He, <laughs> what, he's doing his best to do those things. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Imagine wow, you like Power Rangers? <laughs> Loser. He, he's like, that's what I'm doing, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. You could give yeah, a kid I, a complex if you taught them that. <laughs> Like everything oh, yeah. you're doing is just copying things. I feel like that could sound down a thing. Yeah. Remember that Eric Andre bit where he talked about how they like cured the girl with Down syndrome? Uh, uh I haven't seen they, that. They, they, they uh they gave her a ton of acid and then they all got in a circle around her, and started screaming, <laughs> "This is real! This is real!" or something like that. Oh, nightmare, 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 nightmare. Exactly what it, nightmare, 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 nightmare. <laughs> Maybe I have seen that. Yeah, cured it. Cured the Down syndrome. It was nightmare, <laughs> nightmare, nightmare. nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a weird show. I haven't watched a lot of it, but the bits and pieces I've seen. Of you Eric see when Andre the bear came out and just randomly tore the set apart? And yeah, it seemed mildly dangerous. It was very uh, Tim and Eric, -y, which is, oh, which is I, not a bad thing. I liked Tim and Eric a lot in in high school. Who's um Who's the black comedian um who uh who called out um what's Will his name? Smith. Chris Fuck! I'm I, it's, what's the call out? You want about Hannibal? Oh, uh, you're going Hannibal for... Burris. Hannibal yeah. Burris is who I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Hannibal Burris is in the new Spider-Man, 
and uh, he might be the funniest part. Like, like, like he's a really he, funny dude. He might be because, like, it gets revealed that Peter Parker's Spider Man. So then, when he goes to high school, it's fucking awkward. And like, the principal is like, "Hey, Peter. Hey, hey, just feel free to look. We're gonna treat you the same. So you want to swing around the hallways? You, you do it, buddy. Look, look. Everybody got together and put together a Peter Parker Day like memorial thing here for you. Like, like, like a tro- they put him in the trophy case. And Hannibal Burris is like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, he did that all on his own. We don't want you here, killer, <laughs> murderer." <laughs> You a murderer, we know it. <laughs> like, like, like every time, like the he's just like this counter, this foil to the the principal's like admiration and full blown like love and support. And he's just like, Mm-mm, not all of us, killer. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched any of his stand up in a long time. I haven't either. I like him though. I like his uh, I don't know, I like his voice. Whatever. He's got he really. Has, I like his vibe. This like don't give a fuck vibe. He, he his, kills it with that. He has a very di- uh, distinct cadence to to his voice, which is good. You ever seen pop his glasses off? No, why? Looks like a ninja turtle. Does he? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure he isn't one. Hmm. I mean, that's a cool thing to be. Well, it depends which one he is. Which one does he look like? Donatello. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> well, then it's not that cool. <laughs> Donatello, well, wait, Donatello had the, the staff, right? I, I, no, the, the the joke is you answer immediately, like you like you've got it well yeah. thought up. They asked that because like Tony Ferguson has this famous famous bit where he's just like rambling and he's like, "My favorite, my favorite Ninja Turtles, Raphael. What what's yours?" And, and they're just like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> this, is press, this is a press conference. I saw his press conference today. The man is unhinged. Um, he, 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 he's blaming everybody else for his last, his previous losses. And he's coming to this and he's like, I'll tell you, I'll tell you after I, after I win, after I win. So I'm, I'm excited to see Tony Ferguson's next fight. Um, I really hope he does have more in the tank, but it seems to me that he is just dead man walking. I don't, I don't want to get too deep into UFC, but when I started relooking at his record, it seemed like all those missed fights and stuff kept the Tony Ferguson, Ferguson is elite myth alive longer than it otherwise would have if he had faced khabib any of those times he would have got rocked there were a couple fights he pulled out of and you look at it and you're like man see like he kept getting hurt for the hard fights and then winning cheesy ones i'm not gonna let him i i i I choose not to believe it until he loses one more time okay because as far as i know he might he's a crazy ninja man literally a crazy ninja man and I like that. Anyone who kidnaps children and jumps fences, if you can jump a fence while carrying a small child, you are a fucking athlete. Yeah, you earned this that. This is true. Game. Yeah. No way I can jump a fence while carrying a small child. I couldn't jump a fence without it, with a child helping me. <laughs> like, I couldn't I, jump a fence that was made of a chain that went from post to post. <laughs> <laughs> if I tried to jump a fence, I'd embarrass myself. <laughs> you get back in, do you ever get uh, You know a while ago when parkour was a real big thing? Yeah. I got into that shit. That's so cringy to look back on now. Like, Are there any videos? Do you have any videos of you like parkour and like? No, but I had a really <laughs> bad moment in real life. Okay, so this was like before I did YouTube, right? Like mm-hmm. when I was into doing this, so I could do, I could do spins and shit. I was good at it. I was like I was pretty strong back in the day, so I could, I was doing pull up. My only exercise was like pull ups and shits, but mm-hmm. I was really strong. I could even do that thing where like you know you sit sideways on a pull up bar, like your body's just horizontal. I was like a strong yeah. dude. And I was into. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I wasn't big, but I was, you know, I could move my body away, but all right. So I was mm-hmm. okay, parkour. So I've never had a situation where that hasn't worked out for me. Any wall I try and jump, jumped over, it worked out fine. And then I did YouTube for like three, four years, and I've ne- and I just stopped exercising and stuff like that. So I was hit with the reality that I couldn't do it anymore in Spain because there were a bunch of there were a bunch of dudes like we were walking on the street uh, that, down the beach thing. There was mm-hmm. a bunch of dudes like one of those like monkey bars and everything. And Marisa, the girl I was with, was like. I can do that. And I was like, so can I? I can do monkey bars. She was like, prove it. <laughs> monkey, <laughs> bar, <laughs> monkey bars are hard to fucking do if you're not used to it. And mm. so I, and there were a bunch of other guys there as well, like working out. These are like bodybuilt. Nah, you know what I mean? Like really, really strong dudes. Yeah. Like people that you look at and be like, oh, fuck. So I failed that in front of them, but tried for way too long. Like, like a minute. <laughs> where everyone knew you couldn't do it before you did. Yeah. And they, and uh, it's so just I my grip. The... That's all it was. We got a little yeah. dirt on here. And oh, I, the only, my problem was I didn't stop. So, what I did was I dropped off that and I was like, 
Okay, because you know, have you ever been to like a beach? They've got like the uh, the stairs leading down into the beach, and they've got sure. like the railing alongside. It's like a six foot up or so, seven foot up. So and there's railings on top of it. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll win a little bit bit of my masculinity back here. So I tried to. This is fucking awful. So I tried to do that like running up the wall thing and grab the grab the railing and pull my no. Yeah. <laughs> and again, I tried that for way too long. To the point, like I did it four times. I could try to do it. Get jumping it. up this wall and trying to pull my, I can't do a fire pull up anymore. To the point where my friend, who is female, had to pull me up after that. And then those other guys went like that. Like a, qu- a quick little, like, you know, <laughs> you're a fucking idiot, like little thing. That's they, the worst memory I have. You. <laughs> and then you're, and your masculinity never came back. No, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm like my palms are sweating telling that because it was just like, oh my god, I fuck oh god, that's an embarrassing story. I hate that. Oh, <laughs> I, I know what you mean. Those those palm sweating stories where you get like nervous even telling it. Well, it's, it's terrible. That was, but you, that's one you, of those things that in, in night, like a bed, a, 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 when you're trying to go to sleep, you just flashback. Remember. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> where you have to be like, oh, that was a different guy. <laughs> that wasn't me. That's me remembering something cringe. It's not this me. Was, this was 2022, yeah. dude. This was <laughs> God, this is three weeks ago. Yeah. yeah, that can be rough. Any yeah. any stories of me overflowing toilets? That's the way I feel when <laughs> oh, I tell those. Just like, oh, I just remember your story. And, it's horrific, and and, and and that that hurt me. I, <laughs> the, worst, the worst I ever did is that, like I had I, I like took a smelly shit like at a girlfriend's apartment, and I think they smelled it. And uh, yeah, it's and, nothing. And, yeah, it, it's <laughs> nothing. It's mean? nothing, right? Like, like like it's no big deal. No, <laughs> no, just, crushing my diet Pepsi like a man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you do? Taylor took a shit in like one of those like half baths where it was rooms. It's just like a sink and a toilet, to, like mm-hmm. in the hallway. And he decided to shit in there at a girlfriend's house. And when he flushed, <laughs> it overflowed shit and shit water and the toilet paper <laughs> all into the floor and out into the foyer of their home. Uh, I'm, pretty <laughs> sure, I'm pretty sure. I think it was hardwood flooring. And then oh, maybe there God. was a rug in the foyer. And, and so like he has to be like, I have shit on your floor, Adam. <laughs> And there is big, big man poop everywhere. It was a rough <laughs> one, of course. That's why I shit your three foyer. days oh. of Chipotle burritos in a row. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And it was, it was, it was really. It might be the most. It's, it's actually not even close. It's the most embarrassing moment of my life. Far like, nothing, <laughs> nothing else even sniffs it. Having to like walk out of that hall bathroom with my own shit on the ground and be like, oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> shit on the ground. That was, oh. I, I, wouldn't wanna, have, I'm not I would not have dealt tonight. with it. I, I, I know we've talked about, this, but talked about this before. I would love to like go back and see what my previous reaction is. But today, as I sit here, my my reaction would be to bail. Fucking. B- b- I, I would literally yell, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then I would run. And then I would Don't run. worry. If I had money. I'll never I, do it again. I'll, I'll never see me again. I would take all the cash I had. If I if I had two or three hundred dollars, like like whatever it was, I would I would like put it, throw it, throw it on the ground. Water. Not into the shit water. No, but like, no. make him earn it. I'd make sure he got it. Make him earn it. I, I, I would mail him a, you know, I would mail them a check or something, like like for a significant <laughs> amount of money, enough to get it professionally cleaned or whatever. But oh, I, yeah. it, but in the letter, it would say, "Please, for the love of God, let us never speak of this." I'm so <laughs> sorry. Here's five hundred dollars. You never have to speak to me. Please don't acknowledge me. Please don't tell people. I know you've already told some people. Don't tell more people. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was it was horrible. Those people, whole, horrible people a voice like, whole, made me better. <laughs> the whole family was home. <laughs> it was I'm, it was horrid. I'm <sighs> missing something. How, so you were old enough to like go to a girl's house, like just be. Yeah, just I was you. like 17. Yeah, that's too old to get away with that. (laughs) Yeah, I was old enough that I I drove myself there. We were like doing something that day. (laughs) And like, oh, 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 why'd I do that? I wish I could go back and change that. (laughs) Just just go back and stop myself and be like, hey, number one, start lifting weights. Number two, don't (laughs) use that bathroom. Go home. Actually, you shouldn't be here at all. This whole endeavor is a waste of time. You need to go invest in Bitcoin. <laughs> you need to go invest in Bitcoin and start lifting weights. I, and fucking retard. Diamond hands. 
If you could go back and <laughs> back in time, I, I, Bitcoin's not even my one. I because I that is a good one, but yeah. I've followed the stock market since I was a kid. Like I used to read the Wall Street Journal and stuff as a preteen, and uh, I just know the big stocks, the ones to hold, like basically when to buy and sell IBM, basically when to get into Microsoft, transfer from Microsoft to Cisco to Cisco to Apple. Like that's the that's basically the run. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, you, you could you could, could turn so ten thousand you could turn ten thousand into a billion, like like no sweat. S- mm. Multi billions, you'd think. Yeah, yeah. When, it, when, when you involve like like all the silly ways to make money that you know more about than me, but I, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm it sure. goes crazy. Oh now I would have done a really inefficient way. I would look up the la- the buried treasure found within the last twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> get in the get in there ahead of the game. Find the treasure. I think I prevent nine eleven. I think I think I let the first. I, I think I want to say I, I double it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you say that because then because. I immediately wanted to go back. Whoa, 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 not prevent, lessen, because I want the credit. I feel like if I completely stop it, they're like, "Oh, it's a non-event." That, thanks you for that anonymous. S- thanks for that call, buddy. We got him. Like, like nobody you stopped one plane. Nobody you knows one. what I did. But if I could, like, <laughs> if like the first plane hits and I'm on the second plane and I brought on, you know, like a gun, like, like, like that, I guess that's what I'd need to do. Seems like it was pretty easy back in the day. You brought a yeah. box cutter to a gunfight, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I, I you know, I, I saved the day. And they're like, "Why did you have the gun?" I'm like, "Does it really matter anymore?" And they're like, "You know, it really doesn't. It really doesn't." <laughs> like, I feel like you could say that. I'd be like, "I saved one of the World Trade Center towers." So, <laughs> how about don't ask that? Yeah. Gun rights I'd, for life. On I'd be plane. okay with that. I'd be okay with that. I think, I think that's what we do. Of course, were the you time, 14 years old? 15. It'd be weird to bring old. a gun on a plane and save the day at 15, but I'll buy it. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I feel like that would really propel me into a, in a, into a kind of like stardom that that's hard to, hard to purchase. You, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's like, that's like Zelensky stardom. If you, if you save half of nine 11, dude, you would have gotten like a, what? the key to the city and they would have given you like a medal of honor or something. You would, yeah. You would have been I, set. You would have been I, a hero. You would have been part of the never forget. I would have. I would have been the one who tells you to never forget. I'd have been yeah. the guy. I'd have been Constantly all the memorials. Too. You they, never let it go. They'd be saluting yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> or even better than that, you call the Pentagon that morning. You threaten them with that you know information. You to give them the, your exact location, okay. and then profit. <laughs> and they're like, "We know we're launching missiles into our own building." Or, <laughs> or I mean, if we, or we could, or we could just like play the stock market that day because I'm sure there were some pretty big dips. Uh, mm. You know, just just forget about saving the day. I was and, talking like a senator. Probably you need to buy the airline stock or whatever the fuck. Well, you just need to do whatever Hillary Clinton did that day. I'm sure she made out. She. I bet they they all made out. <laughs> yeah, she's done that. I, I, Hillary Clinton cannot be an expert in cattle trading, yet she trades like one. She oh, turned yeah. 10 grand into like 120 grand, something like that. Yeehaw. <laughs> That's she, so gruff. <laughs> and it wasn't like she predicted a rise. She predicted like a rise, fall, rise, fall, and did like the bet that it goes up, bet that it goes down, bet that it goes up. Like there's a couple of those. Yeah. Uh, but, I you know, it, some people just know their cows. I'm yeah. sorry yeah, to change some people stuff. really know them. <laughs> yeah, she's an expert in heifers somehow. <laughs> My titties just broke. <laughs> He <laughs> just broke. <laughs> yeah, like, the, the, like the, you know the thing. Like, so now there's not as big of a thing in my chest. I got something under this that like pushes my chest together to make it look yeah. like boobs. It fucking just broke right now. The strap. Yeah, it's getting too big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you gonna go big with it? Because Kyle showed us that image of you yeah, with the rubber. Do you want to? I I have new ones. I was contemplating wearing them today, but I didn't like have an outfit that went for it. But it makes me uh, look like Jack the Ripper. Like I've got like just female body parts laying around. I can show. I could maybe put tape over the nips and show them, but I don't know if you want to risk it for YouTube upload. Like, but I can show you them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh wait, no, know. I've got a picture of them. I'll put it in the chat so you can Perfect. see. And I even covered the nip just in case you can make the decision on it. But yeah, I'll grab because I personally quick. wouldn't want what to see a bizarre conversation. <laughs> this is weird. 2022. At some point, we went too far. As mm. humans, <laughs> the whole the, the streaming. Not we yet. started streaming. No, not yet. We got to get wilder with it. Yeah, get familiar with it's it. Dirty. 
I feel like we're are, are we about to have like a are we about to go back the other way with conservative uh, values coming for another Ronald Reagan ish like swing of morality through the country? I don't think I, so. I don't, I don't think know. so. The reason I don't is that we're just currently doing a weird minority rule thing, and there was a odd happenstance of like. It, 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 people know we have more Republican senators because the tiny states without people in them tend to be Republican. They had that slim advantage and they used that to deny Obama a Supreme Court justice. And then they granted Trump one under the same conditions. And Trump mm -hmm. won with this weird fewer voters thing. Um, but he had more electoral votes, but he had fewer votes. Well, yeah, and we never do popular vote. Oh, I don't think any I'm of that just matters. saying that the country like we have a minority rule thing that's what's happening right now because of the way the electoral college is set up i don't think the country is moving conservative you just got a lot of people who were kind of excited about the concept of taking a molotov cocktail and throwing it at washington dc all the people that matter seem to be heading the other way though all the people with power um the people in power want to go mm. the other way and i think that this time next when will it 20, 20, 20 before, after the next presidential election it'll be the entire supreme court and it'll be the, the um, House and the Senate, the and House of Representatives, the Senate, the presidency, and it and and in another four years. I I don't know. I, I look at the Supreme Court. I saw a photo of him the, the other day. I don't know which are liberal and which are uh, right. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but the like, young ones are Republicans. But if There's you give uh, if you give Donald Trump four more years to potentially grab another Supreme Court justice, then you've got an. <sighs> Uh, we're going like to make at least one of them is always like uh, like death age. He just how at many did one. Trump get? How many did three. Trump get? It's three. Yeah, it that's really wild. good for four years. Who's the it's oldest guy two. right now on the Supreme Court? Clarence Thomas. He's probably in his 70s, right? It might be. Yeah, but he's uh, right wing himself. Oh, so I know. I was just thinking who's the. Is he just looking at yeah. who's going to be replaced next? Yeah, because mm -hmm. he would replace the oldest first, obviously, unless like one of them dies in a different way. Yeah, I send you some titties. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> All right, let's, let's check out the. I'll cover them. They don't look like much else, but you can imagine with that. <laughs> oh, I've seen that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're so fucking uncomfortable to wear because they're basically a rubber, uh, a silicone top, like a silicone crop top. <laughs> oh, do you like, put some talcum powder or something on so you just don't like sweat <sighs> into it? I feel. Yeah, I know it's gross. I've worn them once, and apparently you're supposed to, but. God, that's fucking nasty. I don't know. Did you stink afterward? Like nah, a rubbery not, stink? Not as bad as you'd think. The bad side of it was that it catches your hairs so badly. You mm. lose 50 hairs putting that thing on and off again. It's terrible. Workplace but, hazard. Yeah. You, you, you need your... Well, you know how it is when you're putting on your mm. silicone <laughs> bodice and your long lady hair gets a little caught up. I'm just like any other guy. Put my breast on one at a time. <laughs> your breasts on one at a time <laughs> they're jiggly too they're filled with like uh the same shit that like fake boobs are filled with so it's like so, like the silicone gel stuff so they'll yeah. jiggle and shit there's a <laughs> that's, mm. they're great they're, well, i mean um, i'm sure they were pricey too like you probably went top of the line fake boobs. listen you can get yourself a solid pair of fake boobs 250 bucks 250 bucks these things they Whoa. they don't work in real life, I wouldn't say. On camera or on photos, yeah, they'd be fine. But ugh, real life, they don't look you real. You get a whole body suit with a, with a mask and everything. That's creepy as yeah. shit. And that, it's the same people that make that. That's a good idea. There's male oh. masks too. Do you remember the movie Driver? Remember how he had that like Hollywood stunt, that mask he put on that was just like mm. generic white man number four? And it was so creepy to see him wear it because like, it's expressionless. Like, yeah, they make, because the eyes are sunken back in it. Yeah, they, they make like full on <gasps> suits for like women to transition into men and vice versa. There's like these whole like, like, like you can buy like pecs and like abs that look as real as her fake titties, his fake titties do. <laughs> <laughs> you can't blame y'all. <laughs> I come can't talk to this person for three and a half hours comments. and keep the shit straight. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to read the comments on this one too. The, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the, it's the only thing is I've, I so I asked people about it because it was like I have a I've made friends with a lot of porn stars weirdly. It just that's my circle now. Like that, I've just mm -hmm. made a bunch of friends with people that do that, or at least OnlyFans people. But um, yeah. the 
apparently so i speak someone i spoke to someone that's really quite smart and they are actually like oh, an ex porn star or something so they're really familiar with like a bunch of different kinks it's a it's a fetish like the uh so there are definitely some people that like i think maybe they did what i did they're like ah it's to look a bit more realistic but the people that buy those full fucking body suits and face masks yeah no that there's like Industry, people that are into yeah. yeah there's people that are into like becoming dolls so they'll like Ooh, put the, mm, that's kind of mm. cool like, like, like that made it less weird for me. If you're trying to become a doll, like, yeah, like, <laughs> that, made it, that made it weird. less weird. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, like at first I thought it was like being a furry, and I was like, Ew. oh, yeah, but, a doll but, but, is is nicer than a furry. Yeah, yeah. But, I, I a mean, doll's I would, at least smooth. You an know, inanimate a, human versus a some sort of trans I think that might be on team furry. Hybrid. Yeah, I, I was gonna, I, I was gonna make the point that I'm, I'm more on the side of furries because they're just cringy this is like weird <laughs> no, I, so i don't judge any of them i just think about which one i'd rather snuggle with and i think it's the you know the stuffed animal one not the plastic counter, counter argument <clears throat> they say they wash those things they don't wash them. i don't think they do enough often enough like can you imagine what it costs to get one of those things like actually clean i saw a guy on like uh the <laughs> the, the, the home gym subreddit who had who had like reupholstered his like his nice weight uh, weight bench with cloth. It was like it was like it was like velvet or something. And they were like, "That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in <laughs> yeah. my life." Right. You're not gonna <laughs> like my carpeted bathrooms either. Then, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've got a great video idea. Like you were saying, is buy one of those female bodysuits and take it to a dry cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> to see what they do with the fucking thing. Oh, car please, wash, probably. car wash would work better. Mm. Just no, you gotta get the insides. You said. I went through a car wash yesterday, and I felt like I was traveling to fucking outer space. Have you been in one lately? <laughs> Not in many years. There were so many flashing neon lights and different kinds of foam. Uh, I uh, love it, the rainbow foam. There was <laughs> there was there wasn't the rainbow foam. It was it was like blue, and it was like monotone, like like in in waves. What level did you buy? The twenty five dollar one. I, so I never no, what was the name? Fine. Super. I extra. went to a car wash when I sold the Tacoma a little while ago, and uh, it's like the, the cheapest one was maybe eighteen in my area, and then it just added on like different coatings and suds and stuff like that. I'm like, am yeah. I being ripped off? Is that really an eight dollar soap? I feel yeah. like that. I it, you could buy a forty dollar car wash, but I think you'd be better with a couple of seventeens. I think probably so. Um, I don't know. I know my car's really shiny. Um, I don't know mm -hmm. if that's from the ceramic coating that I paid extra four dollars <laughs> for or not, but uh, uh, it worked out. Ceramic I, coating—they just sandblast your car. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I don't know if I want a ceramic coating on the outside of my car today. A silica <laughs> coating at the end? Would you like that? The the one thing I do, I, like, like when we start, I'm like, I, they want to like rub that disgusting brush on your. I'm like, 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 no brush. Do not rub my car with that brush that you <laughs> out of your mind. But like, really, you don't want the gritty brush? No, <laughs> oh, should not give me that gritty brush. Um, but it worked really well. I hadn't been in one in a, in a little bit. I usually just wash my own car, but I was lazy yesterday and it was hot as fuck. They just got my air conditioning fixed today. It was. It's been out since fr last Friday night. Oh, that's uh, brutal. Wow. It's been fun. Yeah. There's been some hot ones in there. Today was hot. 83, 84, something like that. It's a hot one. <laughs> I'm in the hot one, Wally. <laughs> I used my swimming pool today for the first time. Ooh, nice. This year. It was Ooh. nice. And I, I want a pool, but I know I wouldn't use it that much. Like, I would really, I just I wouldn't use it that much. A hot tub, I've been thinking about more because I would use that all the time. I love hot tubs, so that, uh, I mean, those are not that expensive. Post really weightlifting like is a good time to jump in a pool. That's yeah, true. I, I nice. realized that there was a there was a so I've been. I don't remember if I was talking about it last time, but I was looking to buy a new house. I was looking to move because, again, someone sent me a wedding ring to my address. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, would, <laughs> I was looking to move to a bigger house. And um, I've, and weirdly enough, the seller died two weeks away from sale. We were about to close and I got the phone call again. That the house has gone. Did that the break the deal, though? Died. Yeah, the house. Um, so when um, uh, uh, um, what wasn't happened? escrow, right? What did they die of? Well, we don't know. So the the story's uh, not as interesting, but uh, besides the conclusion, but I was trying to buy this house for a while. And I just texted them one day, saying like, you know, your your solicitor needs to send my solicitor something for this. You need to send a document. And they went, mm -hmm. can you call me? And I said, I'll call you in five minutes. Called them, and they went, 
just immediately, yeah, the person that owns the house, like on pay, it was like their granddad or something, owns the owns the house, died and didn't have a will. Oh, so, and it's dude, this is like a it's like how's in the UK expenses? This is like a substantial asset that this guy owned. That well, how do you not have a will if you're like 70, 80 or something? So, yeah, I don't know, but. I can't be a dick about it because obviously I'm not the most wronged party in this scenario. <laughs> no, it's the it's the guy who died. Yeah. Well, maybe but he I, wasn't wronged. Maybe he was killed in self defense while trying to assault someone. Or maybe the same fan who sent the wedding ring didn't want you moving out of that place. <laughs> oh my god! Went and took care of a little business, mm. and you stay right where he wants this you, so that he can sense. watch you from across the street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you can't escape. Because he can see the whole place. <laughs> <laughs> it was just straight from across the road. I was, uh, but I was only going to say it because I was, look- I was just looking at houses and there, were, there was one with like a nice pool and it had a gym in it and it was, it was an outbuilding. They'd made a separate building that had like a, a sunk, like an in-ground pool, a gym mm-hmm. on the other side of it, and then a sauna at the back. And that seems fucking mint. That seems that great. would be awesome. Those yeah. those home saunas, you can get like a two-person sauna for a few grand. I haven't done a sauna enough in my life enough to know if I even like them. But I got you can. So if you, you get a one-person one sauna for seventy nine ninety nine. <laughs> Did I, I've told you about this thing, right? That you I just, bought. Yeah, I used to be AC break. Oh my god, it's PVC tubing that you like bend into the frame, and mm-hmm. then the material is like those bags that like DoorDash puts food in. Mm-hmm. It's the, it's that like thermal bag material, and you get into it, and then it zips up. It, you you put a chair in it. You get in and you're like enveloped in like this person sized takeout bag. And then and, and it, <laughs> and, and that's it. No! That's it. And then and then there's a little like what steam that? thing that like pumps. <laughs> that there's a hose that, that goes in but with, and it pumps in this hot, steamy air. And and in, it, like like that's an expensive one. That says infrared. I'm talking about the Amazon uh, uh, model. It has like this little steamer pot that looks like a rice cooker that you plug into the wall on one end, fill it with water, and then a hose goes into the the heat bag that you are now existing in, oh and it God. steams the fuck out of you. So your head just is never steamed unless you want to like turtle into it. If you went in there, you might not survive. It's rough. <laughs> <laughs> this looks terrible. I thought I, I always figured that have you seen the ones for cold? There's like these like cryogenic chambers. Yes. Oh, they yeah, seem yeah. they seem cool. I don't know about a sauna. They're more than one. cool. They're freezing. <laughs> <laughs> so ninety nine, ninety nine. Look at there that! I can go. play on my phone wow. while I'm you know experiencing <laughs> I the, do. the fire hazard. <laughs> <laughs> like you see that little bucket next to her? That that's like the steam thing. It's pumping steam in there. Yeah, this is going to look great. similar, but for beds, and that's been tempting <laughs> to me. They can cool your bed. They can yeah. heat your bed. They can give you whatever temperature you That'd want. Cool. I think we had a guest who said it was a great investment, that it made him mm. so happy. But the good ones are really expensive, and I don't know. I've bought things in my life where like a good one of these is $1,000, but they do make them for 200 well, now you have to spend twelve hundred to get the good one because because you mm. made that purchasing mistake to buy it nice or buy it twice. Mm-hmm. I don't know where I land on these things. I, it, it's hard. You can't see them in stores, as far as I know. You just get them online for some stupid price. Do you want a whole new mattress with it? I could probably use one anyway. I think it's time. Uh, Another grand. I, it, all of a sudden, you're in like thirty two hundred dollars for this super mattress that's heated and cold with air blowing through it, and I'm like. Eh. Like I've been good with money. Am I thirty two hundred dollar mattress good with money? <laughs> <laughs> Am I no longer good with money if I get a thirty two hundred dollar mattress? I don't know where this. Where I'm this with you. I have the exact same thing. I've considered every time we bring this up as a topic. I strongly consider pulling the trigger because, mm-hmm. like, I get hot in bed and sweat. Like, wake up all sweaty sometimes. I'm like, would this cure it? Would this mean I don't wake up sweaty? Probably yeah. not. Probably it probably just means I die of hypothermia because I'd sweat and then this would freeze me. <laughs> so there's a similar thing. Like this room has a mini split on the wall. You can't see it, but it's super quiet. I have any temperature in here I want. So it can be January in the winter. And if I want to wear shorts and a t-shirt, easily accomplished. On a related note, in bed, I like a heat uh, weighted blanket. Feels good to me. Mock me if you will. Love my weighted blanket, but it's warm, super warm. I could have an air conditioned bed that let me use a weighted blanket all summer. That sounds nice. Yeah, 104. What a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Just Red leave flag. her. 
<laughs> There's no way that You're that is the t- there, that, is that is that the most heat sealing blanket on earth? There's no crossover. There's not a a, oh a huge amount God. of hot air going. If you're sleeping with someone who wants it to be 104 degree, like what's the, a hot tub? 102. It's 104. You wake up in the morning and the dog was under her side. Now it's dead. <laughs> you wake up My every God. morning like. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> why did i buy this uh, i feel like i'm not getting my money's worth unless i or, or on the other hand that. maybe 104 degree air is what you like right like it doesn't make it 104 degrees what's the temperature of the air coming out of your i, I assume you have like central air that blows mm-hmm. i bet it's 104 ish that oh, uh, maybe, what's like the temperature of like a hair the air from a hairdryer i've had like oh. a I've, I've had a friend who just did that like they get they just get cold so fast so they fucking probably just like blow 150 so 160 140 oh, this is the perfect Damn. thing for them then i googled it, it that's what it said 140 yeah so 140 it is good. you can get the shrink wrap uh blow dryers that are they go even hotter though those are like 700 <laughs> that's what mine will do i used to yeah i have a set i have a little it, it'll uh it's take gone. paint off the walls i think that's its primary purpose it but melts lead i use oh it to melt God. lead yeah I, I, you can buy, um, you know, the little heat shrinks that you might put on wires as you connect them. Mm-hmm. Well, there are some with lead in the middle of them. Now yeah. it solders them and it shrinks. And that's what I use it for. That's wow. cool. I've never seen those. Oh yeah. I it's love tough. how you're like, you know, those little pieces of metal you solder together. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I, I know of them. <laughs> I know something has to keep all the electricity, you know, buzzing along. Mm-hmm. Yeah, send it along, usher it uh, to the could, to the final thing. You got to do a little bit of electrical work in your life. You haven't lived, you know. Yeah, connect two <laughs> Some wires. People together. only make it to a little bit of electrical work in their life. <laughs> 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 Just one yeah. fuck up. <laughs> I've been zapped a few times, like like, like yeah. messing, like, like I, if you work with it at all, you will, you know, like like and uh, I've grabbed two forty before, and I've grabbed one twenty plenty of times, um, and it it, it really hurts. It, you grab it with your hands. Tooling. Having a piece of a piece of metal, usually a tool that I'm holding. Got That's what I've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll use that. In particular, this is a mistake I've made more than once. Imagine you're installing like a socket. You know the receptacles you plug something mm-hmm. into, and it's not. It's just a little crooked inside the hole. And you use a screwdriver to just sort of like boop, you push the box over. You push the box over mm-hmm. until it lines up straight, oh. perfect. Well, it's possible to hit the wires with a screwdriver while you do that. Connect them and. Sparks go everywhere. It's embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. I've I've I've, I've, uh, I've I've been pressing like the reset button on an electric motor with uh with a piece of metal, and maybe I went behind the button into the wiring or something, and that was rough. That yeah. Hurt. Chicken wow. related. Yeah. 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 It was a, it was like a two horsepower electric motor or something There's like that. There's a lot of big electric horsepower. motors involved in chickens. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You get sucked into them, <laughs> electrocuted. It's always a good time. We I remember when I was those. talking to uh, an electri- electrician friend of mine, and I was just asking, we were just talking about it, and he's like, it came up, he's like, yeah, if you're messing with something, you always put your arms out like that, like close up. I'm like, why? He's like, well, if your arms are straight and you hit something and it sends electricity through, it's going to go to your heart and it's going to kill you. But if you go like this and it's a huge surge, it might just blow out through your arms through your elbows because it wants to go the path of least resistance and it's so powerful it would eviscerate this area and i'm like that's that's a horrible safety tactic (laughs) (laughs) is that true that's what he told me and what they learned like apparently it's only if you're like tinkering like he's not doing this shit at people's houses like he's working at like i think i read something i watched a video i watched a video about like if you were going to get hit by lightning or something like like Maybe you wanted to rock back on your heels or something. They, they had you wanted little... to minimize your contact patch. To me, it was the balls of your feet, but heels makes the same. Oh, thing. I know what it is. You put you your feet jump. together. You want to put your feet together, I think. So they're hoping it'll go in one heel and out the other instead of like going the, the length of your body and out the other heel. It doesn't mm. start in your head and reach the ground. That's where I thought we were doing. I, I, I don't know how lightning works. I no just one does. Know, I, yeah, I, I'm not, not sure where thing. thunder comes from. I'm not, I'm not sure electricity is real. Are they connected, really? I've never seen Because that. I've heard loud noises sometimes. Could that have been thunder? <laughs> <laughs> and like, it's like those, those like 4chan posts where it's memes, and it's like, plug-in TV, show comes on, 
you guys buy this? <laughs> <laughs> it, our technology, it, it really is like magic. Like, like a lot of it is. And we just accepted it. All of I, it. I, I, all of it. Um, I so do much not of it. know how anything I have really like works. Mechanical things, mm -hmm. like, like combustion, uh, like a standard combustion engine, computers removed. Do you like, know like, all of it, though? Carburetors are a little confusing to me. <laughs> well, I know the concept. I, I probably couldn't name yeah. each and every part in like what order, like 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 rings and pistons are moving around. But I understand the concept thoroughly, like like how we get from like gasoline vapor to like wheels turning. Like, like, like I, I I I'm sure I'm missing a part or two. I'm no Wings of Redemption. I'm not a mechanic, but like <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I I know like ninety five percent of how a car works. But like this motherfucker. I'm clueless. Dude, I, I, I'll take it a step further. I don't know how this shit works. <laughs> dude, I don't know how it, it like, like, like that. Like, it, are there lasers in them still? Like, 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 or have they gone to some sort I of. I heard like, it said that no one on earth knows how a mouse works. And I was like, that's ridiculous. Somebody knows how a mouse works. And I looked into it. And it's generally accepted that nobody knows how a mouse works. <laughs> <laughs> They're just people who understand different parts of the system. Some people get the little ball or laser. Other people get the software. Some understands how the operating system talks to the BIOS. Some understand how the BIOS talks to the hardware. But no one knows the whole thing. <laughs> like, 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 nobody. <laughs> like, like, like a cell phone is, is absolutely more difficult to like wrap my head around than nuclear fission like i watched a video the other day they took a piece of uranium and they put it in this other medium like a, ge a gel or something and you can see the electron you can't see the electrons because they're too small but you can see the path they're leaving through the other material mm -hmm. the, i that's it's fissile material i get it now I, I get it how they're creating heat from that making steam oh we're back to something I understand a steam engine great yeah, I understand. Turn a turbine, spinny things are energy. Got nuclear it. power plants easy to wrap your head around. It sounds like the most complicated thing, when it's really one of the more simple things. It's it's not that much different than a grain mill that our ancestors would have used. We've just found a different way of heating thing up. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to this fucking cell phone or anything truly electronic in my house, I'm fucking clueless. I don't under, I don't know. I don't know the. I don't, I don't understand the difference between Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I know how they how to use them both. Of course, I've got a fucking phone, but I don't know what Wi-Fi is. I don't know what Bluetooth is. I don't either. There are electrical signals moving through the air. I don't know what the difference between the two of them are and how they're <laughs> generated, how much power it takes to generate that. That I don't know how like my thing knows what it thinks. It, it's magic to me. I know whatever science there it's is magic. with Bluetooth, it's still not there yet. Like, <laughs> I know, it, it I fucks know that up it, so much more. Than the problem with Bluetooth is it's not error correcting. So when you send information over Wi-Fi, on the other side, they have some clue of what they're supposed to be accepting. And they're like, no, mm no, -hmm. nah, nah, resend a thing. I missed it. When you send it over Bluetooth, if it doesn't get there, it just drops. We all pretend we didn't mean to send it. And that can cause problems that are a pain in the ass. Okay. But it's much lower energy consuming. So like, if you were to do Wi-Fi earbuds, they'd run out of battery power quickly. Okay. okay. Hmm. Didn't know any of this. I know a little bit more, but I still don't know what they are. They're ma <laughs> It's magic. It yeah, it's just yeah. different kinds of magic, as far as I understand. Ask me tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it's literally magic. It's no different than like a like like some shit that Loki would do on TV. You know, taking a stroll through the park and wonder how the fuck they got <laughs> Wi-Fi out of this shit. Just the <laughs> dirt and wood, and we made all this. Good lord, and figured it out. Smarter mm. people than us Smarter figured it out little us. bits at a time, little, little little bits at a time. Yeah. What's what? What little bit would you say that that you in your lifetime might have contributed to the the, the like mind? the desire for heat? I made some nachos <laughs> one night and uh, they were. Dude, you stole mine. I was gonna be like, ever dip onion rings and ketchup? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> People thought it was just for French fries, but it's, you can oh, do more. Must have the change in the game. <laughs> oh, I meant that this this bra thing—that's something I. I, I did. That, that thing fucking broke, proud. so it's not that good. But <laughs> that was just uh, that was phase one. Yeah. Now, now the, the man's ears. Would you look if two. if there were temporary breast implants, like if they could like inject some of that like uh, like like um, oil into your into your chest? Would you do that? Depends how long it lasts. And what it what the effect would be, but yeah. probably <laughs> mm. I did for a bit. There's that so there's like oh 
the, the, so the 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 pill that like uh, trans women take, like HRT, it basically just reforms your fat distribution into being a woman, right? All mm. of it is like weirdly positive changes. Like you get like uh, you're more like you get slimmer in like the in your waist. Your skin gets infinitely better. Your hair gets better. You if you've got a receding hairline, it'll just boop, come back. But then the downside, well, <laughs> if you're a dude anyway, is like I think most guys could cope with having just a slightly bigger ass because that's kind of all. That's mm -hmm. all another. Yeah. But most, I fuck. If you had to have tits forever, they don't go away. If you if you do that and you and they don't go away, you can also just make yourself sterile. Maybe surgically they could go away. Yeah, but, but it's then gonna you gotta have surgery. Scar. Yeah, and you get that yeah. scar under, underneath. Yeah. Yeah. So fun. that's yeah. that scar could be significant. The 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 boob surgery scar. And um, it's surprising to me because I, I don't know why boobs are hard to sew up. I've seen plastic surgeons do work and the scars are amazing. Just tiny little, like little white. It looked like someone took a white pencil and just made the tiniest of lines. It's not visible. But on a boob, like they're big purple angry scars for mm -hmm. some period of time. And I don't know why. Like, it what are they taking out? Is it fat? In In this case... Maybe it is fat, what you're talking about. And I'm talking about implants, things I've seen on the oh, internet. Oh. Yeah. When they get I, implants, that scar can be significant. I was thinking of mastectomies and or more yeah. specifically, oh, like, um, like, like when they're changing gender, uh, like, like, like the, the mm. thing that um, the mastectomy that you, you get if you're becoming a trans man, um, that one leaves an unsightly scar, in my opinion. It's like this underwire scar that looks pretty rough. But with breast implants, yeah, like, like all the girls that I've known that have had them, um had right. gotten them often through their implant their their uh their um what do you call it oh, their armpit armpit yeah. <laughs> no one knows that word okay. it's okay I, no i got distracted because i thought i did i was he had this prop over there and i was like well, did you just pull that out of your chest what is that <laughs> where did that come from yeah. i'm just playing with shit i got so much stuff on my desk i'm playing with the oh dude this little watch thing I got I, I got a watch for my birthday and it's like got the clear back and stuff. I'm just like oh. autistic or something. I just watch it go around. <laughs> is it a, is it, I like I like to uh, take my automatic watches and like like flick them so to get the the automatic thing going and then just listen to them. You can you hear all the yeah. workers. Yeah. This one's uh so this is the I don't know if you like watches or not. It's the Omega Speedmaster. So it's a chronograph which means you can just click a button and just tight you can listen to it going like, Yeah, yeah, I've got a couple chronograph watches. Dude, yeah. I mm. I started watching some watch videos on YouTube, and then YouTube, of course, starts feeling this guy likes watch videos. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's the watchman. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, dude, it is. I, I, I don't have any really high end watches. The watch I wear is kind of functional. I, I need an altimeter. Um, but it tempts you. It tempts you. Like a, a Rolex Submariner or an Omega Speedmaster, or there's a new. Um, Swatch partnership with someone that looks like an with affordable. Omega. Is it with Omega? It's it looks like an. Oh, you we have it. Oh no, sorry. This isn't the Swatch one. This is actually the one that it's based on. The okay. Yeah. This, so the Speedmaster, the Moon Watch. Yeah, so that, yeah, that yeah. Whole thing is like, mm. That looked like a starter good watch. You know, if you were into it. Um, mm. But dude, I'm like, I have to stop watching these videos before I'm out five or ten grand. You can't. Do, okay, if it makes you feel any better, I dare you to go try and buy a Rolex. It's I've, hard. I've read, I didn't read it. I watched videos. But yeah, I heard that yeah. they're pretty much out of stock now. So I've done it. So when I got this, I went to... A, so here's the thing. If you can buy a, like a Daytona, right? That's people's grail watch. If you can buy a Daytona right now... the de What the fuck? If you can buy a Daytona right now, you can walk into a reseller same day, sell it for five times what you pay for it. You, they're originally 10 grand and they're going for like 50 right now. Wow. Damn. It's Most of Rolex is like that currently so if you can that people get really wealthy off that off watches because that if you think about it like imagine you had the sort of money where you could put it into real estate but instead you put it into watches Woo. my my uh accountant i went to see him the other day has a patek <laughs> philippe nautilus which is incredibly hard to get and it's something like he said he paid 30 grand for it and now it's worth like 120 and it's sell. I think I, <laughs> yeah. think I think they're the ones who make like the World Series of Poker bracelet, Patek Philippe. Could be Maybe. wrong about that. They they do some they do some sort of prize um for, for something I watch. 
but they're, they're, they're crazy they're, they're um they make i i know it i did the same thing you did by the way Woody, where there's a guy that i bet you that there's a, he's like scottish or something or where he just do you know I the think, guy did you do like, a face reveal fairly recently maybe i don't know nico okay. something nico? okay i don't In know what his case. name was but he does like a lot of re watch react stuff like he looks at other celebrities watches and talks about them I got into those and screwed up my YouTube homepage, and then I gave myself a fucking expensive hobby. <laughs> right. I watched a video where it was, I forget which watch it was. Maybe it was a Samaritan. They compared that against a really good Chinese fake. Mm. And then suddenly it made me care deeply about differences <laughs> in the font you can only see under a magnifying glass. Like, yeah. is the, like, you know how. If the second hand goes like it moves once a second, it's probably an inexpensive watch. But if the movement is really smooth and goes through, it was really smooth. Both of them, it, it looked really good. I like I could not tell until he zooms in super close, and then like I, I don't even know how to describe it. The the way the paint, like on the high quality one, the paint sort of arched into a stop. And on the low quality one, it almost did the opposite and like spread mm. at the bottom. You couldn't tell, like you really needed assisted vision to be able to see the difference. But suddenly I deeply cared. The way the swirls on the face were looked yeah. identical. And then you realize that they probably used a slightly different machine or a slightly duller machine to make it happen. And suddenly it's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> if you think I want a $300 fake, you are out of your mind. Call yeah. up the other 29,700 <laughs> to get this one. Yeah. There's a, uh, I've got a long, long time ago. I figured out that Chinese, but like Alibaba and everything, DH gate existed. Mm -hmm. And I bought, me and my dad were both like fascinated by it, by the fact that you can buy all these. Fa and we found a watch that was five pounds. It was a copy of, a, I now know that it's a copy of a Rolex Daytona, but you kind of go like for five, for free shipping from China, five pounds for a metal watch that how is works. The profit? Exactly. You kind of go like, how is that even yeah. possible that they did that? And it, it's a thing like, and you almost yeah. like, unless you held it, you wouldn't know because what they're just, you know, I mean, I'm and sure I, someone would. You almost yeah. need the real one next to it to know. Yeah, I, I, it, it's stuff like the the writing's all fucky, but that for f like ten ten dollars or whatever. It's a Rorex. <laughs> <laughs> if you go a little more high end, like you mentioned, a five dollars. It just says it's time to work. <laughs> <laughs> the only one time, time to work. <laughs> but there are better copies coming out of China that are meant to be harder to tell which is the copy. And I mean, they're a couple hundred dollars, but gosh, they're so close to the $30,000 one. What you're buying really is heritage and overhead and they're better, you know, these Swiss watches, but not a lot better. Functionally now, like it's more oh, like, yeah. you know, it, it's like the difference of buying a house in real life and a house in the, in fucking the VR world order. Yeah, you can't really, uh, you can't tell the difference. They work the same way. The only thing is when you go to sell one of them, you'll get your money back. <laughs> one of them holds their value and the other one won't. I was starting to right. uh, another thing that will also appreciate in value is machine guns. I, I, I say it a lot. Yeah. If you guys are into guns, if you like machine guns, even go buy a machine gun. You say that, but Republicans run the world and they're going to be fine soon. Um, if the Republicans ever legalized the machine guns, it, it, the, the market would, would go it would be destroyed, but 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 that ain't gonna happen. Um, right. the, the limited supply, you can get one for five thousand. Oh, we looked at ten thousand now. They've doubled in value in the last five years, so I doubt they're gonna double in value again. But uh, if you want like a little Mac Eleven machine gun, like eight <laughs> nine grand something like that, everything's doubled in value. <laughs> what? Yeah, what is that? Have you ever have you noticed that like everything you go and buy now, it, it just feels I'm buy, like I'm building a home time. gym right now. I've noticed. Yeah. yeah, like if it I, was two years, like you, I feel like I'm just at any new hobby I find that I'm. One year ago, it was way easier to find them, and now that that every every, I used to look at things, and it was how much does it cost versus how much like how good it is. That was the equation. Now there's a third thing: can you even get it? Mm -hmm. You know, if you wanted a motorcycle or a tent, like things I'm into, it, you have to seriously consider how many months you need to wait for this item to come. You might want your second choice instead because it's available. You just missed out on all the shit you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Uh, rap, I guess. Yep, I think yeah. so. Uh, Finn, is there anything you want to plug? 
Uh, no, I'm solid. I'm, I'm good. Just go uh, go look at my titties on different sites that I'm on. <laughs> Vince is the name. Great ahead of you. All right, PKA, 594. Been wanting to ask him that for a while. <laughs>